Alrighty. And with that, we are live. What's up, everybody? Uh, real quickly, just gonna do invites here, so give me one second, ladies and gents. Alright, with that, I will say hello to everyone that I see here currently at this time. Uh, hello to Zach, hello to Yoshi, and hello to Billy. How is everyone this evening? So yes, with that being said, welcome everybody to another edition of the Gaming Geek down here tonight with uh, TGBD Sports. Yes, our first TGBD Sports stream in over two months, so it has been a little while since we last did uh, some sports streaming here on the channel, but this was the perfect opportunity to finally bring it back because uh, we are now vice versa every Monday now with uh, Leftovers and TGB Sports, and uh, this is the game that I decided to come back with, and it's uh, NHL 22. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the PlayStation 5 version, yes, the whole new next generation version of NHL. Uh, like the last couple that we've been doing for TGB Sports with uh, the old gen, basically. We are now in new generation and whatnot, so yeah. And uh, I kind of wanted to do a, a another franchise mode uh, when it came to uh, NHL. Uh, the past ones we've done, it, our NHL 21, we did my favorite team, which was the Flames, and we uh, ended up making them uh, quite a mega dynasty. Uh, in the last few years of the, of the file. Uh, we did a uh, custom team last time in NHL 21 with the Seattle Kraken, which are now an official, actual, real-life team now. So uh, they actually do exist IRL, but uh, we did a custom version of them uh, before the entire like expansion draft and all that loveliness and such. So yeah. Uh, and we ended up winning, I believe, three cups with them, I believe. So not a bad, not as, not bad, but not as, uh, good compared to the Flames one, but I think we did win the cup earlier uh, in our run. I think it was like, what, our fifth or sixth season in the league or something like that we ended up winning a cup, so it was very, very uh, not as long compared to uh, the Flames one where it took to like the last five years of my file to basically do it, but uh, yeah. And uh, now we are here at NHL 22 and we are going to be doing a new uh, franchise mode here, and uh, I decided to put it up on a, on a poll for the team that I will be doing here. Uh, I decided to pick, check, uh, choose five teams in particular uh, that are teams currently IRL right now that are just, I don't know, they are stuck and not over the hump yet or they just, they just need a full rebuild or just need fixing and retooling to become truly, truly elite, as they say. And um, yeah, the, and the team that got the most votes uh, was the New Jersey Devils. Yes, that's right. So we will be doing... Uh, Billy's favorite team, uh, the New Jersey Devils. So that's the team we're going to be doing our uh, file this time around here. Uh, the other, if you're curious what the other um, candidates were, um, I believe the other ones were the Ottawa Senators, which was another choice. Uh, I think the Arizona Coyotes was another one. And then I'd like to say maybe Montreal or somebody like that. So I'm not, I'm not I can't remember exactly the other ones, but uh, those three in particular. Uh, were the teams that were on the poll, and New Jersey had the most votes here for this one, so yeah. Uh, and I kind of wanted to do something that wasn't the Pacific Division this time, or the Western Conference, because the last two were in the, in the same division uh, and the conference. Um, so I wanted to do something a little bit out East this time, um, and do some Eastern Conference uh, teams uh, and whatever, right? So yeah, just so then I'm not having to see my favorite team more often and such because I like to see the AI try to make them good, but uh, because this is EA quality, uh, they they never they they never uh, make the Flames good. They always make um, everybody else better. So I mean, is what it is, unfortunately. So I'm I'm just not trying. I'm just just saying. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we're going to be taking the new Joyzy Devils for the next little while here and try to making them, uh, pretty gosh darn good. Maybe we'll see if we can do that. I would have been good with anybody else. Even, heck, even Arizona, I would have been okay with trying to do because that's a team that's like, would have been, would have been quite the project to do actually. So I would have been interested to do that one, but everyone was saying New Jersey. So I will be, uh. I'll be doing it. Andy, Billy is happy. Please make him stop. Um, unfortunately, I can't. Unfortunately, sorry about that. I, I can't do nothing about that. Sorry. Um, so yeah. Until I play other games like that feature Teddy or Mr. Vile, then that's the only way I can. But this game does not feature that, unfortunately. So, yeah. 
So, yeah. So, I think with that, we will uh, dive in, shall we? So, let's get underway here with uh, NHL 22 franchise mode here. Yes, as you can see here, we are on the PlayStation 5 version of... Uh, NHL 22, yes, we actually have a next generation version of the game. The game came out a few months back already, uh, but I was waiting for the game to go on sale, and uh, I saw an opportunity to pick it up on sale, and so I do have it now. And uh, yeah, for the next little bit here for TGB Sports, we'll be doing um, we'll be doing some franchise mode and such. And like I said, the winning team for it is going to be the New Jersey Devils. And yeah, I, before I may start it off anything, I meant to make want to make sure that. Uh, I have the updated rosters currently right now. Yes, we do. We have the current current day roster as of March 1st, 2022. Uh, this is before the trade deadline IRL. So, unfortunately, we will we will miss a little bit of uh, the actual trades that happen uh, at the trade deadline for this file. But that's okay. That's okay. We are we are close enough here with with uh, the current day rosters right now. So yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing franchise mode here, so let's uh, boot up a file, shall we, here? I think we shall. Also, hello, Edge. How's it going? Billy and Edge are happy lately. These are dark times. Well, maybe just for you, that maybe that might be the case. All right, but uh, yeah, so yeah, as you can see here, the Kraken are in the game this year, as you can see here. But we did a file with them last year, uh, in last year's game, so we will not be um, uh, doing that again this year. Uh, we can do 33 expansion teams now, which is kind of interesting, which makes one division... Uh, have more than others basically so yeah, but we're gonna do classic uh, just because um, We are doing a team that already exists currently, so we're gonna be doing that. So yeah um, Yes, I'll enter my uh, my name here. So we'll do that uh, I want I'm hopefully the Luke is there cuz Luke we'll, we'll look at their roster when we start. That's what that's what we'll do We'll definitely look at that when we start so I want to take a look at the rosters and see what I'm working with here uh, in New Jersey and there's actually one thing I want to do um, when it comes to, uh, New Jersey, and I will talk about that, uh, in just a little bit here, so, um, just, I'll just stay tuned for that. And what's up, Uber? How's it going? H I hope you had a good, uh, rest of your Persona 5 cast. It seemed like you did a lot of productive stuff today, so I hope that went pretty well. And I would pick the Flames, but unfortunately, we've done them already. This is my team, but, uh, we, we've already done a fi file with them in NHL 20. Uh, NHL 21, we did the Seattle Kraken, as you can see. They have, their teams are called the Pacific Palm Springs. They have a pineapple. Is that actually... Is that, that's not their team, right? That that must just be a custom team, right? That has to be a custom AHL team. Because I, I don't remember this being a legit name team that they've had. <laughs> that's got to be custom. So, maybe next year's game, they'll actually have it. Alright, so we have the New Jersey Devils, as right here. They were the team that, uh, that won. It's a placeholder? Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> so, the New Jersey Devils, they have a team budget of 93.378 million. Alright, 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 seems good. Their top players are Dougie Hamilton, Mike, uh, Blackwood, and Heesher. He was not even a top player for them. That's kind of crazy to think about. <laughs> According to EA, he was not even a top player for them. So he's probably a bust. So we probably have to trade him, basically, is what they're saying. All right. Sounds good to me. Uh, we got spending at three, which that part doesn't really matter too much. Um, their age arena is only 14 years old. It's only 14? It feels like it was not too long ago when they uh, made the uh, their, their arena, actually. But I guess, yeah, it's been about 14 years since that building actually got built, so... Yeah, I guess it's not as new as I remember it being. But yeah, but yeah. Um, so they can see at 17,625, so that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. So yeah, so yes, we're picking the new Joyzy Devils here, the, the, the division at Relevant. Uh, nope, we're gonna pick the same, use the same divisions as always. We are not moving anybody here, we're sticking with the uh, d uh, actual divisions that the... Uh, the league actually has IRL. So yeah, who's the worst the overall team in the game? Yeah, Arizona's at 79. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying, if we ever did Arizona, that would have been a fun one to do, because look how bad they are. They're, they're 79 overall. They're the lowest overall team in the game. So I, like I was saying, if, if we ever did Arizona, that would have been a really fun one to do, actually, just because I, I, I could basically do anything with that. So yeah, I voted Arizona. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was, I was hoping Arizona won, because I think what we had on the poll, we had we definitely had Arizona for as one of them. Um, oh, Buffalo was another one. Yeah, that was another one. We had Buffalo on there. Um, we also had Ottawa. We had New Jersey. Those, so those, I think those were the teams that were on the poll, if I'm correct. I, maybe Detroit might have been on there, but I don't think they were. It might have been Montreal or somebody. Um, but yeah, those were the, for sure the teams that uh, that were on there. So yeah, but New Jersey ended up getting the votes. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. 
uh, when it comes to that. The only one I knew was the Devils, so I voted the Devils. I didn't mean... Yeah, that's fine. The Devils are pretty uh, well-known because of a little show called uh, um, Seinfeld and such. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, it, it makes sense why a lot of people know who the Devils are. Alright, so we're going to continue here. Career here. Let me just see here. Um... Uh, we're going to turn off the owner mode here. Fans draft for keeping off. Salary cap for keeping on. We're tearing off GM firing because we're going to keep that. Uh, head coach edit lines. Um, I, I'm going to turn fog of war off. Player morale we're keeping on. CPU trades we're keeping on. Auto owner mode. Uh, this setting allows the CPU control the all aspects of the owner mode. This includes finances, budget. Oh, um, I guess I can't turn that on. Okay. Unfortunately. Seinfeld and clerks. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was also in clerks. That's right. That's true. That's true. Hello, so what's up, Alano? How's it going? Uh, accept the re relocation. I mean, no, I don't need that. Uh, auto signing free agents determines whether or not the CPU will automatically handle free agent signings for the user team. No, I'm gonna turn that off. On auto staff management, hi this setting will ha uh, will have the CPU uh, hire and fire coaches and hire scouts. For no, no, that's fine. We're good. We I like the settings that we got on right now. That that's all we really need. So. Yeah, so we're good. So we're going to go with that here. So yeah, so yeah, we're going to be the Ninjozy Devils, as you can see here. Uh, a few things here before we get underway. Just got to switch a few settings here um, under quick settings and such. Um, I would like... Um, a discard. Okay, other. I would like it to be full sim. Um, I want the time to not be 10. I want it to be at least like 5 or 4. Yeah, 4 minutes actually will be fine. Uh, franchise limits to 25, yep, CPU trades, yep. I want the difficulty to be on Superstar, because I'm not playing, it's going to be all AI-based, so I want them to play as good as they can. Um, tree difficulty, medium, yeah, 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 that should be fine. Auto scouting and auto staff management, yep, that's fine. That is fine, that is fine. Um, advanced settings, I don't know if anything here I need. Uh, head coach edit lines, yeah... Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, yep, that's fine. We don't need anything there. Gameplay sliders uh, with the latest. Uh, I can probably change this if I need to in the middle of it if I need to. So uh, we're good with that here. So, yeah. All right, so let's uh, start the career with the new Joyzy Devils. And yes, we're going to uh, keep salary cap on because uh, it's just how things work. Basically, IRL, so we got to do it. All right. So here we are. Starting up a brand new fran uh, franchise mode with the new Joyzy Devils. All right, new to franchise mode. Welcome to franchise mode. Uh, you can now interview, hire, and fire your entire coaching staff in the NHL and AHL. I thought you could do that in past games. Uh, coaches have multiple effects across the mode, and combined with our scouting system, you now have full control to build the, the best organization in the NHL. All right. Uh, yeah, we, I already know this stuff right here. This is nothing really new. Yeah, that's old. Uh, scouting accuracy, that's old. Uh, we're not using Fog of War, so it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter either. Okay. So we're good. So yeah, we are here in the game here. So we're going to take a look at what we are working with here in this team here with on the New Jersey Devils here. So let's take a look at their roster here. The head coach can help. Uh, would you like to keep your lines up to date? The head coach will automatically keep up to date. Uh, yeah, sure, actually. I'll keep that on for now. We'll see what it's like. So yeah. All right, so let's take a look here. So what we got here? So on the top line, we got uh, Jesper Bratt, who IRL is doing pretty good for them, I, from what I remember hearing. So, uh, yeah, so he's and how old is he? He's 23, so he's pretty young. So, yeah, he will he'll be interesting. What's his? Uh, he's a top six four medium potentially uh, player here, so that's not bad. Um, that's good. That's good. We got Nico Heischer, who is the captain at 85 medium elite, so he'll still be growing because he's only 22 years old. So. He'll still be uh, growing here, so we want to keep him up here in the top line. Uh, Dawson Mercer uh, is a top six forward medium here at 82 overall. He's 19 years old, so he's very, very, very young. So he could be, he could grow potentially here. It depends where he plays to. Um, so yeah, and then we got Jack Hughes, the absolute meme, as you can see here. He is uh, also elite high. Um, but it's he's currently on the second roll for it. but it's gonna come down to these two who's gonna be the top guy on the on the first line center because I will say as we probably go on these two are gonna be our top two centermen for sure so we are good on the top on the center position here I will say so which is good 
But we definitely need to get him better line mates, I think. I At least I would think. That's the, the goal here is to get Hughes better line mates and such. So, yeah. Uh, Andreas Johnson is at 26, so he could just be bait to, like, maybe move IRL maybe for bad. Thomas Tatar could also be one of those players as well, potentially. But we could keep him if he does well. It just, it just depends. Uh, we got Pavel Zaka at 24 years old at 83, and he's going to be a medium toxic. So he'll still grow a bit, so that's good. Um... That name, <laughs> I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Uh, uh, he's 23 years old at 81 uh, overall. He's a top two forward. Okay, okay. And we got uh, Miles Wood, who's apparently pretty decent. He's a good little third line, third, fourth liner there player. So he can be somebody that we can use here. So yeah, we're rebuilding Billy's team. Yes, what's up, Brad? How's it going? Uh, Kukinen? I think that's how you say his name. Uh, he's 23 at 80 overall. All right. And then we got Nathan Bastion. Uh, 77 over, overall, 23 years old, so he'll grow a little bit. Uh, Jimmy Vesey, oh, Jimmy Vesey. I remember there was one point in the, uh, in IRL, in free agency, uh, this guy, there was the sweepstakes for Jimmy Vesey. <laughs> that was a thing one time. I think the Rangers ended up getting him, I remember correctly, right? Yeah, 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 the Rangers were the one that won him, won the sweepstakes for him. And then he went to Buffalo. And then he went to Vancouver and Toronto. <laughs> and now here he is in New Jersey. So, yeah. Here we go. So, that's currently what we got here on offense. On defense, we got Ty Smith at 21 years old. Damn, they are a very young team. Jesus. Uh, Two-way defender. First round pick. Yeah. Okay. So, he could be someone we try to build. And we got Dougie Hamilton. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. This was their big offseason player that they've um, they acquired through free agency. So, uh, we can try to build around him, these two for sure, because they got a they got potential here for line chemistry, which is good to see here. So you like to see that. Uh, we got Ryan Graves, App's favorite Colorado Avalanche player, right there. So um, yeah, he's 82. He's 26 over uh, 26 years old at 82 overall here. So he probably won't grow much more. So we could pay maybe potentially um, switch him out maybe. Uh, Damien Servinson at 27 years old. So he's at 80. He's at 84. Interesting. Not bad. So. He could be someone you keep around here and such, so we'll see on that. P.K. Subban, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend, the former NHL uh, 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 cover athlete when he was with the Nashville Predators right there. He's an eight, 83 overall here at 32 yeah, years old. I think he's on his final year of his contract, if I'm correct. Uh, we can take a look at the contract situation in just a moment. And then we got the... Uh, Sijin later. I, I, sorry, I'm bad with pronouncing some of these names here. But this guy was a prospect for the uh, the Capitals at one point, and they traded him to the Devils, I believe. And he's a defensive defenseman, so and he's 24, so he could maybe be moved, maybe because I don't know, he he could maybe not grow as much soon, but we'll see. And then in goal, we got Mackenzie Blackwood at 85 overall. Damn, they gave him a 85. That's pretty good. Uh, he'll still grow for a little bit. He's a medium starter potential, but. Uh, maybe we could look for an elite goaltender, too, if we find it. And we got Jonathan Bernier as the backup, eh? So not, not a bad backup uh, choice right there, I'll say. Um, so, not bad. Uh, in scratches, we got Christian Jaros. We got John Gillies. Oh, I remember this guy. This guy was originally supposed to be the savior for the Calgary Flames. He was a Flames prospect. Didn't end up being that way, unfortunately. <laughs> so, it's unfortunate that he never uh, became what he was supposed to be. And now he's a devil. So, yeah. And then we got Jesper Boquist. I've actually heard of him, actually. So, interesting. He's 22, eh? Uh, top six. This guy should probably be playing, honestly. Because um, he's 22. And he's 78 overall. Guy should be definitely be playing. But it looks like he's a center, though. Which is the problem. And I don't think he plays... Could he play... No. Oh, no. He can play left wing, actually. He can actually play left wing, so that's good. Um, let me look at the starting line here. Um, I'm going to do a best lines here for a second here. Uh, head coach preferred lines. Is he playing on here? No, he's not actually. Interesting. Or... Oh, can I not just... Oh, can I not do best lines? I guess not. No, I guess not. Is it because I have that one setting on? That's probably what it is, isn't it? Yeah. That's probably what it is. Uh, anyway, let's go to the AHL team, see what we got here. So we got uh, Nolan Foote. So yeah, here's another player that we want to grow because he's a good little prospect. We got Michael McLeod as well, and he's 23. Yeah, they got some players down here. Alexander Holtz. Now here's a guy we want to develop. This is a guy that we need to play with, um, um, with Jack Hughes when he's ready. This is a player we'll need to uh, make 
those two play with each other because this this guy this guy we need to actually develop here so we're gonna keep him in the ahl because i think that's probably for the best right now so we'll let him uh um season down here uh what do we have here we got frederick garthy at 26 okay he's just a whatever this guy's a whatever as well the leo 25 yeah he's a whatever player uh Fabian Zetterlund. All right, he's a top nine forward, 22 years old. Okay. All right. Tyce Thompson there. Uh, Thompson, okay. Uh, AJ Greer, 24 years old, 74. Okay. Um, 67, yeah. This guy's probably not going to be anything. Uh, this guy's probably nothing much either. And then this guy, top six low. So if he, de he could maybe develop into something for like a... Uh, Bottom two pairings from the offense, maybe. We'll see. Defense, what do you got here? They got Tyler Witherspoon, another Flames guy. Holy smokes. This guy was a Flames prospect as well at one point. <laughs> not a, not the best of them, but he was just a whatever. But I remember the Flames. This was also another Flames prospect at one point. All right. Uh, Robbie Russo. Uh, Mason uh, Geertsen. Uh, Colin White. A lot of seventh potential. Oof. Their defense here in the HL could use some working, I think. I think we need to, de we, de we definitely, definitely, if we're, if we're drafting, we're going to have to work on the um, the defense side, I think. I think that's what we're going to need to work on, it looks like. Uh, this guy has potential, actually. So, I think this guy's a good one. He's only 21. He's a top six. That's a good one. So, work on that guy. Make sure to see, get him to get going, actually. Uh, and this guy's also a top six. So, these two. These two you probably want to work around and then start... Uh, drafting better defensemen after that, I think. Uh, who's in their goaltending center? Uh, we got Nico Dawes, who's a medium starter potential. 20? Okay, not bad. Uh, and then Gilly Sane, or Sen, fringe starter. Okay. So this guy, we, maybe we can develop as well. So that's not bad. Um, Scratch, who's on here? We got Brian Flynn, 33, so he's just a whatever. Uh, Jeremy 7D, nah, no. Uh, Clark, a... Uh, 20 years old, top 9 forward medium. That's not bad, actually. Uh, another fringe star uh, starting goaltender. Um, top 6D medium. That's another guy you probably want to work on, too. Because top 6s can end up being top 4s in, in these games. So A top 4 low D. Interesting. Okay. Uh, HL top 6. No, we don't need that guy. Top 9 forward. Okay. Uh, and then this guy's 21. Bottom 6 forward. Okay. Irvin, HL top six, and Mitten. Mittens? Yo! <laughs> Yo, my man Mittens. He's an AHL starting goaltender. Yo, let's go. <laughs> all right, all right. So, okay. Uh, that's basically the NHL and AHL. But let's take a look at their... Um, let's take a look at this team's uh, actual other prospects they have. So what would that be under? Where can I check that? Is that under view contracts? Yeah, maybe. That's probably where it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, contract extensions. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I already know all that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. What's up, Kippy? How's it going? How's your stream? I was actually lurking a little bit. Hope that was good. Okay. Where can we find all that? That's under... Uh, uh, unsigned. Yeah, that's right. Unsigned players. Okay. So I want to see what they got here. Um, okay. Let's see. All expiring, maybe? Or maybe in the system? Do they have the other hues? Hmm. No, I guess not. Maybe not. Interesting that they don't have them in there. I wonder if there's a roster somebody's made that has them. Because I think he's in college. Ah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. That might make sense, actually. Yeah, I don't think you can have um, college prospects in your in the game, actually. Yeah, you can only have, like, uh, WHL, um, QMHL, stuff like that. So, and maybe, like, Russian prospects and stuff like that, or, like, Finnish, Swedish, stuff like that, right? So, it makes sense. Yeah, I don't think the college uh, players would be in here, unfortunately. Yeah, that's unfortunately, though. Okay. Um, okay, so we got some stuff here, for sure. Who's all, um... Who's all, basically, needing re new contracts for here? Oh, we're in defense. I mean, let's go off skaters here. So, PK Subban will be one. So, if we're doing bad, we can make him maybe be a trade bait. Uh, Vesti maybe could be trade bait. Uh, Boquist, we'd, we'd probably want to resign. Uh, Brat, we definitely probably want to resign. Um, Jaros, 
25 at 77. This guy could probably go, honestly. We don't really need him. Uh, Wood we can stay, and Zaka can stay. So we don't have too much to worry about right now when it comes to contracts after this season because we have a lot of cash on the main roster, so that's not bad. What's in our system? Um, Bob, Gar uh, Bob Gardner, okay. Flynn. Uh, nobody really too particular yet. So there's some players there. Um, let's take a look at the goaltenders. Are, are there any more goalies? Uh, John Gillies' is, uh, contract is coming up here, so but we probably might move on from him just because, yeah, I don't know. I don't see him really being in here. And then Sean or Sheen or whatever, so, okay. Yeah, not much to really worry about too much right now uh, when it comes to that stuff. So, yeah, so, yeah. Um, th there is one thing I want to do, though. I did say if I was to do the New Jersey Devils, there was one thing I want to do. I'm not going to do it now, though, but I'm going to wait for the opportunity to do so, and that is to trade for the other Hughes. Uh, Quinn Hughes, the one that's in, New, uh, in the Vancouver Canucks, because I want to bring over the Hughes bros and put them on the same team, because um, I thought that would be a pretty fun idea to do at some point here. That, that's something I, I would like to see if I can definitely try to accomplish, because like I said, the Devils need help on defense, um, so I, I think that might be a thing, good thing we can try to actually do. So you want to piss off Zeppa, buddy? That's bold of you. I, well, I mean, hey, I mean... It's my file. <laughs> it's my file. So yeah, I'm actually kind of curious to see um, what it would take out of curiosity as of right now. Don't trade Nico. Don't worry. I I I think I I'm not gonna do that unless unless I have to do so at some point. Then I I will. But yeah, actually his trade value is not that high. That's actually not mm -hmm, interesting. What will it take here? <laughs> uh, no, really. Okay, a foot for that. Interesting. Holtz. And that's that's not bad actually. If it, if if it's gonna cost foot, we could maybe make that work actually. That actually wouldn't be a bad idea honestly. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna trade Holtz though. He won't be going. But if it's gonna cost foot, that wouldn't be bad. But I don't want to give up my first though. That's the thing. Um, so we're not gonna do it just yet. Um, but that that's something to consider actually. So we will actually do that because it's this year's draft pick, and I don't really want to. Um, I don't really want to draft the, uh, or, uh, well, actually, that, that was 20, wait, was that 2023? Yeah, that was 2023. That's next year's, actually, yeah. That's next year's first and next year's second. So, yeah. I want to see what, where we're at right now after, during this season, and then maybe we could maybe do something, but, uh, I'm going to just stick with what we got right now currently, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, um... So we'll see here. But anyways, we're going to uh, sim up to the very first day of the regular season here. So let's take a look at how let's see, this is going to go here. Um, Preseason, we're 2-2, two 2-3, and 3-3. Two, two and, three, three and three. Okay, uh, yep, that's fine. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. Plays on waivers, yep, 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 that's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Actually, do I need to do I need to set my scouts this t this time around, or is it the same thing like last year, where it's just like it'll, they'll just do it? Let me just see here. I should probably check that real quickly here. Um, is it just automatic that they uh, they they do that they're doing something? Currently scouting. Yes. Okay. So they're actually scouting right now. Then. Okay. So we don't have to really worry about that. All right. That's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're good. Okay, okay, we're good. All right, so we are starting the year off against the Chicago Blackhawks, who are 1-0. They actually won their first game of the season. That's crazy. All right, so we're going to do a real-time sim here to see um, how this is, how our first game of the year is going to go here. So let's take a look right here. So here we go. First game of the season for the New Jersey Devils here. Let's take a look how this is going to go here. All right, so, so far so good it looks like. <laughs> Nothing too bad just yet, which is crazy. I actually would be surprised if this team made the playoffs in their first run, so, but I'm not gonna expect that though, so we'll see what happens here. Ooh, very tight defensive game here, no score after one here. Alright, second period here. Alright, let's see what we got here in the second. Is anything happening? Just a lot of shots right now, and uh, they score on the power play, alright. <laughs> and then they score again, alright, well... The team already bad because we're losing to the Blackhawks 3 0. <laughs> so, that should tell you something. If we're losing to the Blackhawks uh, 3 0, then yeah. Oh, we actually scored one right there. <laughs> alright, alright. So, we, we we didn't get shut out in our, in our season opener. But now we're getting wrecked big time right here. 
All right, all right. Maybe they will trade you to bring it like they did to me. Yeah, maybe. Kubli Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Wow, if this is how the first game of the regular season is going to go, this is going to be a long season for this Devils team. Let me tell you something. This is going to be a long season. Oh, boy. All right. Dougie Hounson gets the goal right there. All right. So, yeah, unfortunately, it was a blowout in our very, very first uh, game of the regular season right there. So, yeah. It's not even unrealistic seeing how the how the real Hawks are just dumb and shopping them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there, it's funny how the, the Hawks IRL won't trade, like, Kane or Taze or something like that, but they'll just trade, like, the rest of their prospects, but their, their younger players. It's actually kind of kind of silly. All right, so we're going to sim up to uh, the first day of the new year here. So we'll go up to Saturday here. So let's, uh, let's give some sims right here, see how it's going to go here. All right. And uh, we got a trade here. We got uh, a fifth and a sixth for Dallas's fourth and Andre Sekera. I mean, we do need defense. Let's take a look at the edit trade right here. So, is he how many years he's got left? Oh, uh, trade player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Uh, trading partner. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I've, I've done this before. Game menu. Uh, Sekera's at a 1.5 mil for whatever here. Let's see here. He's 35 years old. Top 60. Um. He actually fits a lot of our scheme here, so that actually wouldn't be a bad one. We're, we're drafting, like, we're, we're trading, like, low picks here for next year. Plus, we're getting a fourth uh, for next year, too, actually. So, I think that's not a bad trade. I think we're going to take that, actually. We will start with that, because if we're bad, then we can use him as trade bait, too. So, wouldn't be a, an awful thing to do. Jackie's I has some, has, I want to speak to you about my ice. Oh, oh, we're already, we're already, we're already complaining about ice time, Jack. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Uh, th yeah, I know. I think yeah, we're gonna we're gonna agree with you. I think you should be playing more. We will put you on something here. All right, I will move you up actually. <laughs> Jack Hughes is already complaining here. He already wants out of this goddamn team. <laughs> all right, I will move him here. Hold on. Let's see me. Let me go and do like they beat the Flames there. Hey, okay. Their first game, their first win of the season was against my team. That's that's some that's some sadness. All right. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna move up. Um, we're gonna move uh, Hughes up here. It doesn't mess with any of the chems, so that's good at least. Um, we'll do that. Let me just take a look at the power play real quickly here too. Special teams. Where's Hughes? He's up there. Okay. But the, ooh, this power play is kind of shite. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this power play is kind of shite. All right, uh, let's uh, let's fix this here and see if we can actually make this a little bit better here. Does anybody who we got here can make it better? Um, ooh, I don't. Ooh, ooh, ugh. I don't like any of this. Um, maybe we'll put uh, maybe we'll put Zaka with here. Maybe maybe that might help actually. Just so then we're not getting a minus on our top power play. Like, are you kidding me with that? <laughs> the second power play is better than the first. Oh, God. <laughs> this is bad. Uh, well, okay. That's actually not bad. The penalty kill is actually kind of decent. <laughs> but the power play is pretty atrocious. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I don't know. Ugh. 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 <laughs> All right. Anyway, we'll just go with that for now, actually. Anyway. We'll continue on here uh, with where we're at. Okay, so we're going to uh, this day here. So let's continue the sim here. Let's take a look where we're at here. So we got our first win. Jackie's very happy. Yeah, you're welcome, Jackie. Yeah, give me that plus 10. I want your morale to be high so then you grow to, grow to be like a 99 overall or whatever. <laughs> anyway, so we'll continue on here. 5-1 uh, loss to the Pens. Uh, Nico Hish. I'm not, ha I'm not happy with the team's performance. I mean, I am not either. This team kind of blows. Um, let's see here. Uh, what do you need? What, what would you like me to do here? Uh, we can improve our team or make a coaching change. You want me to, uh, I think we can improve, I think we can improve our team or make a coaching change. Okay. So you're saying I should just fire the coach already? I should do something they shouldn't, they haven't done IRL? All right, then I will do that. I will I will do something that the Devils have not done IRL, actually. Season just started to fire everyone. Yep, basically. Basically, yep, yep, yep. Let's, let, let's, uh, let's do that real quickly. All right. If, if we, uh, well, actually, what we'll do, we'll, we'll sim two more games here. And if we don't, if we don't beat the, at least the, the Sharks there, then, yeah, maybe we might make a, tra a coaching trade, or, or trade change here, excuse me. Uh, the Kings, we won. We actually, okay, hold on. We're actually on a win streak right now. Hold on, hold on. 
Okay, we lost. Okay, let me just see what we do here. Uh, we need a veteran presence in this team. I brought in a veteran presence. His name was Sekura. He's 33. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if I can find one. Uh, it's, if it, it is good, you agree. We need either a sign or trade for a veteran over 30. Okay. Um, I'll see if what I can do here. I'll see what I can do here in two weeks. All right, I'll 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 do my best here to see if we can find uh, uh, anybody here. Okay, we're actually winning. Okay, we need to find somebody with a with uh, with with some veteranness. So we'll do that. And can you trade yourself? This team uh, whines a lot. I know we should. Okay, I wish I could trade myself. Okay, so a veteran presence, hey? Eh? Let's take a look who meets that criteria. That's willing to be moved here. Uh, Anaheim. Who do they have? Nobody. Zegers' trade value is only that low? That's crazy. But I guess it'll get higher as the years go by. Uh, the uh, the Coyotes don't really have anybody that they're willing to trade. Boston? Uh, no. Buffalo? No. Calgary? No. Uh, Carolina? No. Chicago? Or actually, you know what you should do? I should do this, actually. There we go. There we there we go. Okay, okay. Maybe now we'll see people. Uh, Derek Grant. Yeah, there's a legend. There's there's a, there's a, there's like there's a, there's a veteran presence that we need. <laughs> there's a veteran presence that we need right there, right there. Derek Grant. <laughs> All right, let's see. But he fits nothing, so I'm sorry we can't take him unfortunately because um because he doesn't fit anything for us. <laughs> I would, but he doesn't fit anything for us unfortunately. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, why are you explaining this now? Uh, anyways, um, what were they doing here? All right, right. 42 years old. Damn, Patrick. Wait, Patrick Marlowe's on the Ducks? I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know this. Okay, that's news to me. All right, uh, Beagle, Boston, uh, Buffalo, uh, Calgary, Carolina. We're in stalls up there. Uh, Chicago. Okay. Colorado. Derek Helm. Uh, Columbus. Columbus has Eric Stahl? Oh, he's in the AHL. That's why. Okay. Pavelski, Suda, Radula. Ooh, here we go. Okay. Ryan Suter, hey? He fits all defense pairings. Hmm. Interesting. How many years he got left? Like four. Yikes. Okay. That's actually not the best, actually. Uh, Jamie Ben is actually available, hey? For how many years? Four at nine mil? Ooh, no, no, that's not. I need something a little bit smaller than Radulov. Interesting. Actually, does Ben fit our system? He fits our top six line. That's about it. Raffle. Michael Raffle. Ooh, okay. He fits a few things for us. All forward lines and all penalty kill lines. Not bad. And then Luke Lindenning here. First line and then penalty kill line two. So okay, so those are those are interesting choices right there. Interesting, interesting. I'll I'll come back to Dallas maybe. Detroit, Sam Gagne, 32 years old. Ooh, actually that's not bad right there. Sam Gagne wouldn't be a bad one to bring in. He's cheap actually. He's got a year left and he's 32, so that's a veteran presence right there. Could be could be one to go with maybe. Edmonton, who do you got? Duncan Keith. Uh, nope, they got nobody they want to trade. Florida. Joe Thornton there. Patrick Hornquist, though. Dustin Brown at 37 years old. One year left in his contract. Alexander Edler. Uh, okay, yeah, no. Minnesota. Goligoski. Zuccarello. Ooh, Zuccarello would be nice. Spurgeon. Nice. Uh, Montreal. Paul Byron. Hmm, interesting. Paul Byron. He doesn't fit anything, though. Okay, nope. Nashville. Uh, nope. New York Islanders. Chara. <laughs> All penalty kill lines. Uh, Andy Green. Okay. Zach Parise. Should we, should we bring back Parise for the memes? He's cheap. <laughs> he is cheap. We could bring back Parise just for the memes. We could do that, actually. Ryan Reeves, Ottawa Senators, and Holton. Okay. Philadelphia. Uh, I like all the effort you go in order to make them happy. I just tell them to suck it up, and, th and this is why you don't do well <laughs> in these fan in these in these in these NHL things.
<laughs> Alright, sadly. Brett Burns. Interesting. He fits nothing, though. And Eric Carlson's also available, but I don't think anyone's going to take that contract, though. Uh, Seattle Kraken. Mark Giordano, hey? That's a veteran presence right there. Interesting. Uh, okay. St. Louis Blues. Bozak. James Neal. Oh, no, you don't want to stay. You want to stay away from that. Uh, David Perron. Interesting. Just, just that Bozak doesn't fit anything for us. Tampa Bay. No, not much there. Toronto. No. Vancouver. Uh, Brad Hutt. Okay. Uh, Sutter. Brandon Sutter. No. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I gotta bring in the man, the myth, the legend, Nick Batan, baby. All right. I wanna, actually, I want to see what it takes to get him in here. Because maybe we can use him. He could be... He, I, I, I've had... I've had... Uh, I've had good... I've had good uh, stuff with him in the past. So I want to see if we can actually get him here. Where's Nick Batan? Where's Batan? Where's the Batan? I gotta... Bring in the Patan. There he is right there. He's 26, though. Uh, no trades found. Oh, they're not willing to trade him. Feels bad. Okay. Fair enough, then. We'll have to get him to, like, a free agency or something like that, because I know they're probably not going to resign him. Uh, the Islander... Oh, no, not the Islanders. Um, who was it after the Toronto... Vancouver. It was Vegas. Vegas. Yes, that's right. Vegas. Let's see. They're probably not going to trade anyone, because they're trying to win. Ovechkin. TJ Oshie. Interesting. Irwin. It's a 78 overall. All defensive pairings. Eller. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Winnipeg. Nobody really there. Uh, okay. I like what I saw in Dallas, though. Dallas and the Islanders actually have some choices here. Like, they have Zach Parise here, which would be bad. He could probably still do some stuff. I mean, fourth line or anything like that, but... You could, ha you could have some... Uh, he could be some sort of presence here, maybe. We just need some sort of veteran presence of some sorts. Uh, Dallas also had um, was it Dallas? Maybe yeah, I think it was. It was it was it was another team I saw. Hold on. Oh no, Gagne. That was right. Detroit it was Sam Gagne. Yeah, that would be a bad one. He fits a lot of things actually. I want to see what it would take to, to bring in Sam Gagne to this team here. I think that would be actually a pretty decent one actually. Let's see where Sam. Sam Gagne, where you at, buddy? Where you at, buddy? There you are. How and you're cheap too. So how much? Uh, Schnarr uh, for Gagne. Okay, who's Schnarr? <laughs> Schnarr. <laughs> Sounds like a Pokemon name. All right, let's see. Uh, Nate Schnarr. Oh, uh, you're on the Comets. 22 over, 22 years old, top six. Hmm, interesting. 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 Okay. That he does fit a lot of stuff for us here. Ah, you know what? I might do that, actually. I might do that. I might bring in Sam Gagne over there. I brought in a little bit of veteranness here. So, if they need it, so I will definitely do that. Alright. So, we, have, we brought in uh, Sam Gagne on the team. Is he on the lineup right now? Yes, he is. Okay. And actually, look at that. It brings some chemistry here on this team. That's good to see right here. Uh, bring you up here. Okay, okay. Yeah, we have Sam Gagne, Gagne on the team, excuse me. Alright. Alright, so anyway, let's uh, continue the sim here. We'll see how this goes. Again, we're going to go up till uh, January 1st, see where we're at. So we'll see if the coach liked the uh, the trade there. Alright. He's very happy you kept your promise. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. I brought in a uh, veteran forward here for us. Alright. Nico Hash, uh, he's, he's, he's upset you broke your promise. I brought it, uh, I know. Uh, hold on, I'll persuade you here. Give me a second here. I will suffer through for this team, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you will. <laughs> I appreciate it. I, I appreciate you will suffer through this. All right, I reviewed the draft class. In general, I feel it's a bit a good year for rookies. All right, good to know. Um, alright, Nico Hischer, I'm, I'm sorry for how I'm playing out there. Well, maybe, you know what, maybe you need to be better than is what you're saying. Okay, um, 
So that's what you're saying here, is what I'm saying. Maybe you're right, but I'm certain not. Okay. I believe you're the captain. You can do it. I believe in you, buddy. <laughs> I mean, he's the captain and sees the team improving. Yep. All right. Uh, Devil's third and Vessi for the Kings uh, third for this year, actually. Interesting. For 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 Jimmy Vesti, hey. So we so we basically trade our third for this or next year for and Vesti for a third for this year, and that's the Kings third. Interesting. But I'm pretty sure that the I'm pretty sure the draft will be better next year. It's good this year, but it should be better next year if I remember correctly. So uh, I'll, I'll just call that for now. I just want to see where we're gonna be at at some point. Vesti for our uh, for Carrick. And also, the Flames have just scored, so it's 1 nothing finally. <laughs> Alright, uh, Con is this Connor Carrick? Oh, Trevor Carrick, okay. Uh, he's a depth player. Does he fit anything for us? No, he fits nothing. No, I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna pass on that. We're up 3 nothing here. Scouting. Uh, okay. We're actually doing okay, actually, surprisingly. PK Subban for a third and a fourth. <laughs> Dang. Detroit out here just gonna throw some thirds and fourths my way for his PK Subban. I actually kind of wait until. Do I want to wait until the the? Do I want to wait until maybe the trade deadline and see where we're at at that point? Um. So yeah, I might do that. I'll decline for now. Maybe maybe someone will throw something crazy my way. All right. A uh, third, fourth, and Vesey for uh, a top six uh, forward and a fifth round draft pick for this year. How good is this guy here? Um, top six for medium, seventy-five overall. He's good for the penalty kill line. That's about it. He is young. Give him that. But now I'm gonna pass on that. Actually, we won't make anything crucial trade-wise yet. We're actually third in the division right now. We actually, we're actually in the running for the division right now. We're actually not that far off. <laughs> That's crazy. So we are 19, 12, and 4 uh, at the new year here, which is absolutely crazy here. Uh, yeah, we are currently third in the division right now. So we're, we are in the division spot. We are in a playoff spot as we speak. Actually, we have a kind of a lead for it right now too, actually, kind of, which is good here. Uh, the Flames are bad. No, no surprise there. They don't they ever make the Flames good in these games. Uh, the Jets are leading the Central. Blackhawks, Predators, Stars, Avalanche. Lightning, Panthers, Maple Leafs, Canadians. And the Hurricanes, Rangers, Devils, and Islanders are currently there. So that's interesting right there. <laughs> that's very interesting. Let's take a look at uh let's take a look at the stat wise here. So let's take a look here. So Jack Hughes is leading the team with 29 points. He's a minus five. Uh Jesper Bratt with 28 points. Dougie Hamilton at 28 points. Uh Dawson Mercer at 20 points. This dude at 19. Pavel Zaka at 17. Sam Gagne at 15 points. Is that since coming to us? Is that oh, it's the entire thing? He's got nine points since coming to the team. Wow, that was a good that was a good little acquisition right there, actually. That's awesome. Your team lost the race, that's unfortunate. How are the Canucks second in the division? I have no idea. Also, what's up, Lightyear? Uh PK Subban at five goals, ten assists, so he's playing okay. Uh Ty Smith at five goals, nine nine assists, fourteen points. Uh Miles Wood, fourteen points. A lot of minuses on this team, and we're somehow doing well. <laughs> Uh, Nico Heischer, three goals. Ooh, Nico Heischer, what the hell is going on with you, buddy? Only 14 points this season? That's not good. Uh, Andreas Johnson, seven goals, six assists with 13 points. Severson, 13 points. Graves, 10 points. Tatar at nine points. Ooh, that's not great. Uh, Kukukin, Vesi, Wolquist, uh, Sakura, Gate, two. Okay. Not bad. Uh, let's take a look at the goaltenders here. Oh man, Mackenzie Black could get lit up <laughs> at an 892. <laughs> Jesus. And then Bern Bernier has played better than him. We should just make Bernier the starter right now because he's playing he's playing way better than freaking Mackenzie Blackwood. What the heck? What the heck, dude? <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's 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 uh, that's kind of crazy right there. I g I gave us 20 minute advantage, but it wasn't enough. F oof, big F. You carried the team, but unfortunately the team couldn't pull its weight. That you hate to see it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move up to the 18th here, and we'll see where we're at here with this team. We lost the caps right there. Uh, third, fourth, and Vessi for no, gonna decline that. 
overtime loss against them, a 5-3 win, uh, a win against the, uh, the loss against the, the Lightning, a loss to them, the PK Subban a third and a fourth for Connor, ooh, Connor Brown in a third, ooh, dang, Connor Brown for PK Subban, that's actually not bad, he fits a lot of stuff actually, which is kind of crazy, and he's cheaper too. Damn, that's not bad, actually. We may trade our third or fourth for next year, but we get their third next year. That's actually that's actually not bad, honestly. And how much... Con He's got two years left on his contracts. That's not, that's not bad, actually. Hmm. Basically, Subban and a fourth for Brown. Yeah, basically. That, that's solid. That is actually pretty good, actually. Interesting that people want to bring Subban into their team. How good has he been doing this year, actually? 5 go 10? Yeah, he's got 15 points. You know what? Yeah, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna take that actually. Yeah, we're gonna take that. We are gonna bring in uh Connor Brown to the Devils here. I think that's a pretty good trade for uh, for us, I think. <laughs> that helps on the offensive side of things. Obviously, yeah, it's not good for the defense, because our defense kind of gets weakened a bit there, but. It's good for everything else there. Where's Connor Brown here? He's on the top line here. That's crazy. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Who's this guy? Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, I see. Defense, uh, defense with Ty Smith. Eh. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Our defense is pretty solid there, actually. How, how good's Connor Brown doing this year? 10 goals, 19 assists. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad, not bad. So Just gotta work on the uh, the chem on the offensive side of things now. That's really, really it. Okay. Okay, anyways. Uh, let's continue our sim here to the 18th year. Alright, here. Let's see. Um, lost the Maple Leafs there. All right, loss of the Coyotes. Loss of, oh, now we're, oh, okay, now we're on a losing streak. Oh, there we go, we got a win right there. Two wins. Uh, another loss, okay. We are holding on to that wild card spot right now. The Rangers are right behind us here. Okay. Uh, win there, okay. Uh, one nothing loss of the Blackhawks. Uh, a win against the, there. The Calgary Flames fire, fire their coach, oof. All right. They are not doing too hot, it looks like. Alright. Couple wins right there. We are out of the playoff position at the moment. Oof. Okay. We we have we have fallen off a little bit now, actually. Actually, we still are holding a wild card spot. Um, that's that's interesting. That's interesting. So we're 30, 26, and 5 currently, right the day before the uh our last game before the uh the, the deadline. Nice, and we score again, it's two nothing. Wow, Toffoli has two goals in this game. <laughs> Tyler Toffoli is absolutely a uh, wrecking house right now. Oh, you gotta love to see it. Anyway, let's take a look at the point leaders right here. Um, jo Jack Hughes at 54 points. 18 goals, 36 assists. Brad at 51. Connor Brown, how many has he gotten since he's joined us here? Uh, nine goals, eight assists. So he's been pretty good. He's, he's been a plus. So he's not a negative on this team, which is good. Dougie Hamilton at 41 points. Dawson Mercer at 34, this guy at 33. He's sure at 30, so he's kind of getting back here, but I think he needs to be a little bit better, personally. Uh, Andreas Johnson, 27. Severson, 24. Gagne, 23. Not bad. He's, he's had 17 points since coming to us, so that's pretty good. So that was a pretty good little pickup there. Miles Wood at 20 points. Uh, Ty Smith at 20 points. Zaka at 18. Graves at 16. Tatar at 16. Sekra at 12. Kukunin at 12, Vessi at 9, Boquist at 6, uh, Slinger at 4, uh, Gautier at 4, and that's about it. Alright, you remembered to put Toffoli on today? That's good, that's good. <laughs> Blackwood, okay, his, his save percentage has gone up again, so that's good. Uh, Bernier is still doing pretty well, so, okay, okay. I think maybe what we could do, what could we, I think maybe the one thing we'll do, we'll, maybe we'll trade Tatar, actually, and then try to upgrade uh, our offense here because I think we can do better with Tatar honestly personally I think we can do something a little better But the thing is we got some chem here, so that's good We got some chemistry here. We got Nico Heischer and Jack Hughes playing on the same line with Connor Brown at the moment So that's currently our top line right now. 
Uh, how is um, how is Holtz doing right now at the moment? 18 goals, 15 assists. Nice, nice. You like to see it. 33 points. He's a minus 16. Nice, nice. <laughs> all right, then. All right, then. All right, then. So, you like to see it. And our defense is still doing pretty solid on potential-wise. So, there's that. There's that. Okay, okay. Um, we'll sim our game with the uh, the Oilers here. And uh, we'll see um, how we do here exactly against them. So let's take a look here. We'll do a sim here uh, for this. So we'll see what we got here. All right. Oh, I should probably uh, times eight the speed here for this, actually. Let me do that, actually. <laughs> While we're at and Evander Kane will score for them. That's one other thing for the Oilers in, in the sim. Alright. It seems whenever I do these real-time sims with them, they don't really perform very well, it looks like. <laughs> Alright, so after one, it's one nothing. Okay. Continue on with the sim right here. Ten minutes left. We are getting some shots, but we can't seem to bury bury one here. It looks like we can't seem to put one by. That's two nothing. One nothing after uh, one nothing after tw two minutes or two periods of play. Third period. Can we can we get a goal here? No. Ryan Eugene Hopkins will score. And he had two nothing for the Oilers, and then he sure will score. Okay, he cuts lead the once. We finally got him on the board here. Ten minutes left in this one. Can we get a tying goal? I don't think we will. It's not looking like it. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we uh we unfortunately don't win that one, unfortunately. So it is what it is. So yeah, so now we're at the trade deadline now. So I'm wondering if we'd be buyers or it'd be uh in between. That's what I'm trying to figure out what we should do here. So let's uh come up to here. Um update trade status. Uh we seller, conservative seller, conservative buyer. I might be might be a conservative seller, actually, just to make sure. Because we, we never know for sure where we're going to be and when it comes to this. Johnny Goudreau is available, hey? Holy smokes. <laughs> That's crazy. Who else is available here? We got Chris, we got Malkin, Latang, Varlarmov, uh, Ekman Larson, Perron, Brett Rust, Toffoli, uh, Ryan Strom, and Kevin Fiala, hey? Not bad. There's some, there's some players out here today. In the trade market here, um, let's go, we're gonna first find a trade here. We're gonna see what we can get for. Um, I, I'm actually curious. Is the is it still? Are we still able to trade for um, Quinn, Quinn, Quinn Hughes? We actually can. Our first for this year and next year for him now. That's that's unfortunate. So the the the, the price went up a little bit now, unfortunately. So unfortunately, that's not going to do anything, but. I'm surprised they'll still be willing to trade him. Um, let's see here. Um, anyways, what I was going to do, I was going to trade um, Tatar here. Where is he? There he is. Wow, dang, his value's all the way that low. No trades found. Damn, okay. Nobody wants Thomas Tatar. Damn, he is he has fallen off a cliff here. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Nobody wants him. Nobody wants them. You hate to see it there. Alright, um... Let's see. Oh, it's Fiala got sold, hey? Okay. Uh, Varlarmov got sold too. Interesting. Uh, Tom, uh... Tyler Toffoli. Interesting. <laughs> Rip Tatar, yep. Rip Tatar indeed. You hate to see it. Um... See. Where's Calgary here? Does to fully fit our uh, our scheme at all? He's good on penalty kill. Pudro is good on penalty kill. Okay. The sense trade Subban. Well, that didn't take long. Uh, Blake Coleman. First line, eh? That's about it, eh? Just just that. Backlund. Okay. What the Panthers? Not sure how good the Panthers are right now, actually. They got nobody they're willing to trade, though. They got nobody they're willing to trade at the moment. Hmm. 
What does foot give me out of curiosity? Third and third. Second and a fourth. Butcher and a fourth. Calgary's third and Backland. Coleman and a fourth. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna try and see if I can work with something with new with uh with Vancouver here with Quinn Quinn Hughes. I wanna see if we can do something here. Let's see here. Uh Ducks trade something in Dostal to the Kings for an enforcer player, it looks like. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly who that is there. Oh, Nick Paton's available! Oh shit. Okay, hold on a second here. Nick Paton is available. Alright, it's our time, ladies and gentlemen. We can we can go for Nick Paton. Alright. Let's go get let's go grab him. Let's see how much it's gonna cost us to get him here. Uh a third and that guy. That guy and a fourth. Fourth rounder, hey. Who's this guy? Low D. Sure, I'll do it. We'll, 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 we'll grab him. <laughs> sure, why not? I will. I will take him. I will gladly take him. We'll bring in Nick Paton <laughs> on the the New Jersey Devils as a as some, as a player for us. All right. Um, anyways, now for the real thing we were trying to do here. I want to see if we can try and get Hughes here, if we can. If, if the price is too big, then we may have to wait till maybe, um, whatchamacallit, the, um, uh, the draft maybe to try. Or during offseason maybe. Because I know they want, uh, the, oh, oh. Uh, the third, third Gagne for Nick and a and third and a fourth. Uh, no. no. I'm good. I'm keeping Gagne on this team. He's actually kind of kind of helpful. Um, of course, they want to trade Ekman Larson. No surprise there. Um, oh, shit. Why, where was he? Uh, I missed him. There he is right there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, anyways. Uh, so that and Foot was one of them. Draft picks. I'll give up my second this year. And my second for next year. Or maybe I can get it with my third for next year, actually. Or Ottawa's third, actually, for next year. Let's see. Uh, I have a trade blog. You should check it out. Uh, um... Yeah, but I don't want to trade for any of those players. <laughs> I'm good, actually. Okay, maybe the third won't do it. Maybe two seconds, then? No, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Would just one first make it good, actually? It's hard to tell if exactly that's, uh... If that is a uh, even there, does he fit us? By the way, out of curiosity, fits nothing. Okay, interesting. No, okay. What exactly? They they want both of the first for him, don't they? Yeah, they definitely want both of the first with them. I'm pretty sure at least that's what they that they're that's what they're wanting. Yeah, they want both my first and foot for him. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Don't think we'll be able to get it done this this uh this season, I don't think. We'll have to wait for the next season or something like that. Uh Crystal Tang. Oh, third, Gagne, fourth, then Matthios, and a third. Who is this guy? Top six forward, medium. Okay. Oh, 
I'm good. I'm good on that. Oh, Malkin got traded. Ooh, where did he go? I wonder. I have to see where he went. Somebody actually bought Malkin. Hold on a second. I just want to see uh, what it would take for Latang. Is he a rental? Oh, he's actually injured as well. And he's got one year left. Interesting. First, second foot for Latang. Yeah, that's too much, actually. That's a little too much, I'd say, for that. See that Rodriguez is actually on there, actually. Evan Rodriguez. I don't know if there's much I could really I really want to do to be honest. Not seeing anybody. Oh, got a trade here. Uh Rom Romanov and Pitt look to the Winnipeg Jets for a Nick and a fifth and a and a 2023 sixth round pick. Interesting. So Calgary has been able to sell anybody that they uh, they got on the trade deadline at the trade block right now. That's crazy. Nobody wants uh, Goudreau or uh, Toffoli. That's crazy. How much is or how good is Goudreau doing? Fourteen goals, thirty six assists. Nah, so I expected. But he'll also be a UFA potentially after the season if they re-sign him or not. Or Severson Brat. Twenty two goals, twenty nine assists, damn. He's doing pretty good actually. Just curious what we could get for him. Ooh, like I can get a Vegas second round pick for foot. Anaheim second as well for this year. A second and a third for next year. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. There are some choices. Hey, it's the guy that uh, Billy wanted to draft in the 2020. 20 draft, I think it was? Yeah, the 20, 2020 draft. <laughs> but then the, the Rangers took him. <laughs> That's funny. And they're willing to trade him to me. That's crazy. Also, somebody said something in the chat. Somebody, and I mean somebody, said... <laughs> Actually, don't really need Gillies, honestly. We're actually okay. It's not really much I can do here in year one, I would say. I don't know. It's not much to really work with. Since I, I don't really know what we're going to be, honestly. It's hard to tell. Because we'll either make it in, or we won't make it in. So it's it's really hard to, to know what I want to really do right now for trades. 
Ryan Rust, hey. He doesn't fit anything. Yeah, so not, not, that's not a player we're needing. We don't need that. <laughs> Capo Caco is also available. <laughs> Imagine. Greet uh, Grice is on there. Malcolm Suban. We trade one Suban and bring in another one. <laughs> as like a as like a little goaltender. Uh, what's his overall? 81? It's not bad. Would you take him for a 7? No? <laughs> not even a 7? Okay, how about a 6? No? <laughs> how about a uh, Columbus Blue Jacket 5th? Would you do that? No. Okay. Then this trade is not worth it. Then <laughs> I tried. I tried great making a uh, some sort of crazy uh, low trade there, but I guess not. Oh, uh, a third Gagne in the fourth for Ratcliffe. Fourth, fifth, set. Jesus, Philly, you're just giving me the whole prospect system, aren't you? For next year, who is this guy? Seventy-five. The top six forward doesn't really fit anything for us. They, people really want Sam Gagne, eh? That's crazy. We're fourth, a fifth, and a seventh for next year. Well, I'm trading my third away? Hell no. <laughs> Calgary got Jacob Truba? Ah, uh, did they end up trading, uh... Did they end up trading to Foley? Oh, yeah, they did. I wonder where he went. I wonder where Toffoli went. But now they, I'm gonna guess the Rangers because Toffoli has Trubas here. That's what I'm gonna guess. That's what I'm predicting at least that he went to the Rangers. Let's take a look here, quickly, before time runs out. Yeah, he did. Yeah, they traded him to the the Rangers. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, okay. That is an interesting little pickup right there. Alright, trade deadline is complete. Let's take a look at all the trades that happened here. So, uh, the, the Rangers acquired uh, Toffoli and Coleman. Oh, dang, they got Toffoli and Coleman. Uh, and a third round from Calgary for Jacob Truba and Brandon Sh uh, Schneider. Interesting. That's interesting right there. Uh, we traded uh, our seventh round pick for... Uh, or no, we, we acquired a 7th round pick that was Anaheim from, from Tampa Bay for John Gillies. Uh, Evan Rodriguez goes to the Capitals uh, for a second and Oscar Magnus, Magnuson, I think I said that right. Montreal acquired uh, Nikonin, a 5th and a 6th round pick from Winnipeg for Alexander Romanov and Rem Pitt. Like, what are you doing, Montreal? You're trading Romanov away? That's a, that's something. Alright. Uh, Toronto acquires Athens to see you and a 3rd round pick. From the Kings for uh, Kokkinen, a third and a fourth. Uh, Boston acquires Nick Letty, a third, and T. Stetcher from Detroit for a second round pick and a third round pick. Interesting. Uh, Penguins acquire a first round pick and a fourth round pick uh, for Evgeny Malkin and Jeff Carter, the fucking Predators. Holy heck, that's a trade. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's a crazy trade right there. Uh, we also acquired uh, Nick Paton uh, from Vancouver for Nikita Okyatin and then a fourth. Uh, the Blues get this guy and that, some prospects. And Toronto acquires Perron. Tyler Bozak's back on the Maple Leafs and a fifth. Oh, okay, then. Also, somebody said something in the chat there. Um, somebody has said please. <laughs> <laughs> you missed that? Well, don't worry, you won't miss this one. <laughs> you can catch this, Dolan. Alright. 
Um, anyways, uh, uh, Anaheim uh, acquired Alex of El Falo. He's probably a good Kings prospect, isn't he? I think so. And a six-round pick. Uh, and the Kings acquired a third, a third and Dostal from Anaheim. Interesting. That might that's an interesting little trade right there for the Ducks. What do you think about that one there, <laughs> uh, Mister Apparition? Uh, anyways, and also the Minnesota Wild acquired a second. B, B. Tracy and a fourth from Anaheim for Alex Goligoski and a third round pick and two others from Minnesota. Interesting. Anaheim was busy today, let me tell you. Um, uh, the Rangers acquire Aleski Hep Heponemi and a third that was originally from Florida. Uh, and the Florida Panthers acquired Ryan Strom. Damn, the Florida stack. They got fucking Ryan Strom. Holy shit, Florida. You're fucking tanky as shit. Jesus. <laughs> that Florida team is scary good. <laughs> no. Holy smoke. So if you take their freaking... Um, Oh yeah, Ottawa acquires uh, Jay Perot fourth and for the and <laughs> the Ducks got fucking PK Subban. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. The Anaheim Ducks fucking took PK Subban. That's incredible right there. Holy shit, that's incredible. And they also got Zach Sanford. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. The Islanders acquire Kevin Fiala and Nick Bugstad. Uh, and Minnesota got Varlamov, a fourth and a seventh round pick. Okay, and then the, the Hurricanes got Drake Kajula and Vinny Historza. Um, Buffalo got Ryan Suzuki, a second round pick, and Jay Dr Whoa, Buffalo, that's crazy for you. Holy shit. <laughs> that's actually kind of good for Buffalo right there. For, for Drake Kajula, that's actually kind of good. Jeez, Buffalo could be on the, uh... A good little rebuild right there. Holy smokes. I know it's not the Kajula that was on... Or no, the... the, the uh, not sorry, what am I saying? It's not the... Um, uh, the Suzuki on Montreal, I don't think, right? Let me, let me just make sure here. Because if that was him... That's actually kind of insane, actually. Uh, go back here. Hold on, see here. View lines, right? Is it this one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Buffalo... Ryan Suzuki. So it's his brother, basically. Dang, that's actually kind of good for Buffalo. Dang. Damn, that's pretty good for Buffalo, actually. Not gonna lie. That's actually kind of solid for them. Dang, Matthew Kachuk's an 83. Damn. Poor, poor Calgary and the, and the EA students. They never have, have good luck. They never do. Let me, look at this Florida Panthers team. Look at that. Huberto, Barkov, Reinhardt, Ryan Strom, Lundell, Duclair, and they also have, I think, Bennett, too, I'm pretty sure, right? Is he injured, maybe, right at the moment? Yeah, he is. Bobrovsky's... Or, no, no, he's just scratch. He's not, not even using him. Bobrovsky's hurt, though. Holy heck. The, this Panthers team is stacked. Good God. <laughs> that 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 Panthers team is very stacked. That, that's a, this is a good player to pick up too. Ryan Strom. Holy shit, man. That, this Panthers team is going to go places in this file. Um, yeah. And let's look at Anaheim for a minute here. Oof. Well, the good news is in this universe, they didn't trade Raquel. <laughs> so, apps probably not mad. <laughs> but they ended up getting P.K. Subban. So he's now a duck. That's kind of amazing. That's kind of something right there. And they also got a uh, this guy here. <laughs> I trade Raquel and yours. You did, yeah. If I was controlling the ducks, I probably would have as well, just for picks and whatever. Did Vancouver implode? Let's see. Vancouver. Uh, they're looking like the same team, still actually. They don't look much different actually. Yeah, no. Brad Hunt. They brought in Brad Hunt <laughs> from Minnesota. Oh, actually, he's. I guess he was on there already. Yeah, no, not, they don't look any different, actually. Vancouver looks kind of the same, actually. The only team that looks like that's kind of imploded was Anaheim, which is kind of incur kind of kind of quite quite a situ situation to see. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's kind of that's kind of amazing to see, actually. They're kind of like the only team that kind of went wild in the in the trade deadline there and kind of imploded on top of that. Uh, and they're somehow in the wild card position or trying to get into the wild card spot. They're they're still in a playoff position hunt, which is kind of crazy to think of. <laughs> Meanwhile, we don't know what we're going to be at, so we're just going to sim the rest of the season here and see where we're where we're going to be here. So let's take a look what happens here. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, Billy, I asked that. I'll ask you, Billy. What do you think we should do, Billy? Should we claim him or should we decline him? Should we take Derek Grant, or should we let them still keep him? The man- No? Alright, we'll decline him then. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Carl- so Damn, the Ducks are just putting everybody on freaking waivers. Uh, Carl Solderberg. Ah, uh, no, I don't need that. Alright, continuing on here. Thomas Hickey. Hickey, hey? Interesting. You know what? I'll claim him. Sure. He's only not going to be here very long, so I'll do it. Yo, we're in last in the division. Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby. That's actually kind of that's actually kind of good. That means we can maybe get a good draft pick. It's kind of what I was expecting to happen, actually. <laughs> Alright, all AHL season's done. Alright, I'll stop the simulation for a second. I want to see where... Did our AHL team do good? They did not. <laughs> All right. All right. So we are in the basement here, which you know what? It's probably for the best, honestly. It's probably the best outcome, honestly. But now we're winning. Never mind. We were in the base. Then we ruined our tank. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Oh man, we were in the basement of the of the of the, of the uh, Metropolitan, and then we went on a fucking win streak at the end of the year, and actually almost made it into the playoffs. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> My goodness, that's actually kind of hilarious, honestly, to think about. But damn, imagine if we win the draft lottery because of that too. That'd be kind of amazing. But yeah, so we end the year. Unfortunately, uh, we were what 42, 34, and six with 90 points, and we almost made it into the postseason. Actually, uh, and let's take a look at the point leaders on this team. Jack Hughes with a 73. 73 points, he led the team, so that's good to see. Brat, 68. Hamilton, 59. Connor Brown had a good year for us when we got him. He had 29 points in the 41 games that we picked him up for, so that's pretty good. He did pretty good. Uh, this guy did pretty well, too, actually, so that's good. Um, he's sure, 45. That could be better, honestly. Uh, Mercer, at um, is this his first year? Yeah, it was. 41 points in his first year. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Andreas Johnson, 40 points. Uh, Severson, 35. Miles Wood, 32. Ghani at 31 points. He was actually pretty good. 25 points when we traded from, so he did pretty good. He's a good little, uh, veteran presence to have in the room, so I think we'll keep him around. Zaka only had 30 points this year. Patan at 29. Uh, Ty Smith at 26. Graves at 25. Uh, Kukkanen at 17. Vesti at 14. Sekera at 12. He's probably not going to come back. Uh, Slender at 7, Gauthier at 7, Boquist at 6, he, he didn't really play too much, but uh, we'll see what happens here next season. Uh, goalies, uh, yeah, we got a 900 per save percentage, but yeah, unfortunately, we uh, ran out of gas, unfortunately, around the end there, so unfortunately, um, we did not uh, do well, unfortunately, to make the playoffs. Uh, let's take a look at who's in the playoffs exactly here in this, this year's playoffs here. Uh, the playoffs. Uh, in the in the West, it's the Avalanche and the Blackhawks, the uh, Jets and Golden Knights, the Ducks made the playoffs, and the Shark. Wow, the Ducks actually made it into the playoffs. Uh, and then the Oilers are playing the Kraken. Uh, so the Kraken made the playoffs in their very first year of existence. Pretty crazy to think of. Uh, Islanders are playing the uh, the Hurricanes. The Flyers are playing the Capitals. The the Leafs are playing the Panthers. That potentially could happen IRL. Depends who wins that division IRL. Um, and then the Tampa Bay Lightning are playing Boston. So basically the team's IRL in the in the uh, Atlantic would actually probably play each other. Or, or actually the actual playoff team's IRL. So that's kind of crazy. This bracket is drunk. Yeah, it really is. 
Stockholm beat the Gulls. Uh, the ring, the... Okay, yeah, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, so we'll just sim here. Next couple days here, just to see how... Um, the Just to get closer to the draft and whatnot. Uh, we'll sim up to, I don't know, the 18th thing? No, the 15th, actually. We'll sim up to there. See who, who does well in the playoffs and who wins the cup. Uh, okay. Oh, Blackwood was injured? Oh, that's probably why. The Jets won the cup. <laughs> the Winnipeg Jets won the cup, and the Henderson Silver Knights are the Calder Cup champions. Okay, then. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, then. Let's take a look at the uh, awards here. Who 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 do they play, by the way? They played the Hurricanes. Ah, uh, the Panthers lost in the East Final to the Hurricanes. And then the Hurricanes got ass blasted in five games. The Ducks actually made it to the West Final, actually. That's crazy. So, the Ducks looked like they imploded in the, uh, the, the, um... The Ducks imploded in their trade deadline, but they ended up almost making it to the, uh, <laughs> the Stanley Cup Final. That's pretty crazy. In year number one, that's pretty crazy. Okay, then. This game is drunk. Let me tell you something. All right, awards. Let's take a look here. So the Winnipeg Jets won the Stanley Cup. The Philadelphia Flyers with the President's Trophy. Sure. Yeah, sure. Whatever makes you sleep at night. Uh, the Winnipeg Jets were the Clarence Campbell Bowl Trophy winners. The Prince of Wales were the Hurricanes. All right, the individual awards. Pasternak was the Art Ross. The Hart Memorial was Pasternak. Makar was the James Norris Trophy winner. Pasternak was the Lady Bing. Zegras was the Calder Trophy winner. That's probably why the Ducks made it all the way to the West Final, because of Trevor Zegras. All right, Andrew Kopp uh, was the Conn Smythe winner. Olimark was the Vesna Trophy winner. Okay. Uh, Vasilevsky was the William M. Jennings Trophy winner. The Bill Masterson was Josie. Boucher was the Jack Adams. Uh, O'Reilly uh, was the Selkie winner. Ted Lindsay was uh, Pasternak. And Austin Matthews was the uh, was the Maurice Rocket Richard winner. So there you go. That was that. Uh, in the AHL, this guy won that. 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 And this guy won that. So there you go. I actually kind of want to see something real quick. I want to see... How well PK Subban did with the uh, with the Ducks? Actually, I'm actually kind of curious. He he went to three teams in one season. That's kind of a that's that's crazy. Where's where's uh where is he here? There he is, right there. PK Subban here. Um, two goals and eight assists. All right, how did he do in the playoffs? Yep, just as I expected, pretty much. <laughs> just, just as I expected, pretty much. A whole two points. How did that uh, Zegras do? Sixty-nine points, and then playoff points. Dang, he went he went on a tear in the playoffs. Six goals, eight, ten assists. Yeah, yeah, that's the reason why they went that far. Actually, he's probably gonna get a big bo boost here in uh, overall too, because uh, of that Calder Trophy. Because that's what I've noticed. If you win trophies when you're developing a player, they actually get a skyrocket uh, in overall and such the next season. So. That, so that's pretty good. All right, so let's take a look here at the draft lottery. Who's going to win the draft lottery? Let's find out here. Uh, the Montreal... Wow. Calgary could have won the draft lottery, but they traded it to the Montreal Canadiens. <laughs> uh, I cry at night. <laughs> I cry at night if I was a Flames fan. All right, and New Jersey is got the 16th pick. So we did not win the draft at all. We were we were drafting at number 16. <laughs> Andy has pain. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Um, go here. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the retired players here. Let's see who retired this year. All right. Uh, we'll do from team here. This way here. Uh. Nate Thompson, Ryan Kessler, and Patrick Marlowe retired. And then everyone else was free agent. It looks like. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, goalies? No goalies. Okay. There's nobody really important re retired there. Okay. Draft class interviews. Yes, let's go here. Alright. So yeah, Shane Wright is the number one pick. 
So Montreal is going to get Shane right. That could have been the Flames who got him, but they, they decided to trade their first round pick. So, oh well. <laughs> but you can't move to first anymore. I could if I wanted to. I'd have to trade a lot to get the pick, though. That's the thing. But but that's if they also are willing to trade for it, trade it away, right? So I could if I want to, but I know I won't be able to, though. Okay. So we are picking at number 16, right? Let's take it. I meant the lottery. Yeah, no, I can't. What, what, where I am is where I am, basically. Yeah. Okay, Jack Little. He is a uh, left wing. He's got three years in development here. Ward, three years off. Volkov. Uh, Fro Frolov. Okay. The winner of the lottery. No, 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 no. So if you trade, so if the winner of the draft, like so, let's say I traded my first, and we ended up winning the draft. Whoever has my first gets gets the pick, basically. So that's how that works. <laughs> that's how that works, basically, because because in this situation, since Calgary traded their first to Montreal, and Calgary did bad, Montreal gets the first overall pick because of Calgary's pick, basically. That's that's if that's what you mean. I don't know who to interview here. We've got a right-handed defenseman here. Eight, he's uh, one goal, six assists, so I'm not doing too particularly well. Uh, Jansen. Uh, what's, this guy's a defenseman, eh? Offensive instinct, foot speed, a heavy slap shot. Interesting. I wonder if this year they'll actually have defense, uh, offensive defensemen. Ooh, this guy could be interesting. He's a the Denton, Matt Matichuk. Interesting. He looks like he's got he's a uh, offensive uh, defenseman kind of player. Caught. Lyman. Ooh. Teammate utilization, that's his weakness. Oof. Okay, I don't want that. Hmm. I think. This guy's the best defenseman in the draft. Wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I read that one. I thought, I thought this defenseman was good on face so I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Weaknesses must bulk up. He's too small, apparently. This guy could be interesting if we can maybe get him. He's similar to Patrick Kane. He's another centerman though. Can he, can he play other positions or he's just center? He's just center. It says, okay. Where was that guy I was looking at? He was a defenseman. That no, wasn't that guy. It was this guy here, I think. Um, can I put a star? Yes. Or right, looking. I'm going to interview him real quick. I just want to see more on him real quickly here. Um, I want to know everything for sure. Your strengths and weaknesses here. Uh, his skating is his strength. His weakness is his uh, physical game. Okay. Could use more physical based defensemen. Uh, play style, I think, right? Was that what it is? Readiness, yeah, yeah. Needs a few seasons, okay. Okay. Physical is his weakness, okay. Then maybe I will unpin him. 
Ludwig Jansen. Two assists. 32 pally mints. He must be like an enforcer defenseman or something. Volkov. One goal, six assists. Uh... Salisman. Hmm, this guy could be interesting. Um, I'll... Well, let's see here. What do we need to know about him? I guess his player style, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, I'll ask for his play style here. Uh, he's a two-way defender. Okay, that's good. I need to know your readiness. Uh, few, at least a few seasons. Okay. And then... I guess your strength. Guess he's got he's good at he's good at skating, yeah. <laughs> well I guess as a defenseman As a defenseman you gotta have good skating, so that makes sense. So he's three years off, eh? Okay. And then I'll interview this Jansen guy as well. We have nothing on this guy, so. Uh, new topic. Um, play style. I would like to know your readiness. Uh, a few more seasons. Okay. So, none of these defensemen are NHL ready, unfortunately, which is too bad. Not really. It's not really a uh, defensive player draft. It looks like. It looks like it's going to be more. Um, offensively heavy. This guy could be good, but I don't know if we'll be able to get him, though. But he needs to bulk up, too. Plus, we need some... We need more defensemen that are, um... I mean... I mean, this guy wouldn't be bad, but we definitely need more defensemen that can play a physical game. That's... I think that's our problem with the Devils right now. They they are not a very physical defensive team right now. They, they have good little defensemen, but they're not all physical-based defensemen they're more they, they seem more like they're better when it comes to like moving the puck and stuff like that rather than uh defending going back the other way really so we need to probably um look into uh um getting that to be better i think so and yeah this is probably the best defenseman that's there which i have not much on him exactly so he could be he could have been the best one there but i don't really know exactly how good he is Plus, he's too high to be probably get picked by us, so we probably won't be able to get him. All right, so let's go to the entry draft here. Montreal has the first pick. That's Ottawa, Buffalo, Minnesota. And, yeah, we're drafting at number 16. The only pick that's willing to be traded is the Rangers' 15th pick. So, we can't... It doesn't look like we can go any higher, really. So, and with this draft, it doesn't really surprise me too much that we can really... Um, get higher it's because this is a pretty good draft for players here so it doesn't surprise me that we'll we will be able to do much here um for the meantime though i'll see if um if we can um move on to some players here that i don't really want to keep around that are still under contract here i wouldn't mind moving some players here all right uh let's see Andreas Johnson, you're 27, 83. And how many years do you have left in your contract here? Two years? Okay, well, I'll keep you, actually. Sokka, we're keeping Gre Graves. Uh, 25 points? That was, that's not bad. I might keep you, then. Bullquist. Um, let me look at, uh, what, what it will take for, uh, Hughes to get moved in. Will, 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 is his price lower now? Uh, his value went up, though. Yeah, he's not, they're not willing to trade him. No surprise. 
No surprise there. Uh, Ty Smith, Severson. Fisher. Galchenyuk. Second. Yeah, no. Yeah, not, I don't think we'll be able to get much really that I want here. Ball. McLeod. Michael McLeod. Okay. Sakura. Yeah, he's uh, he's already uh, on his last year here. So, well, actually, can I get something for him? Maybe. Yeah, I can get seven. Braden Holtby for a year. And how good is Holtby? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. And Montreal's about to take their pick here. And they did not take Shane Wright. Okay. <laughs> Alright. They did not even go for Shane Wright. They went for this guy instead. This right wing winger, I think. What he is, right? No, left winger, left winger. Interesting. I'm surprised they didn't. That's crazy. That dude's pretty good. He is good though, but Shane, Shane Wright was the first uh was not was expected to go first overall too, so that's interesting. Uh Sid pick. There he go, there he is, Shane Wright. Uh, I guess he's at 78, so maybe that's why. Okay, fair enough then. Jane Wright's only a 78 overall. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, we'll sim to our pick here. Alright, we're going to call a timeout here. Just, to, just so you can see what we got available here. I'm not really seeing too much to really pick here. We got Ward here. He's the best there is, but we don't know much on him. Three... Volkov. I have nothing on that guy. This guy's a left wing, right winger. That's not bad. Hmm. I should have got more on that guy, but I didn't. And the defenseman I kind of wanted got taken, so I kind of, I kind of expected that. This was just uh, normal. So, what the rosters are currently right now is what I, I'm using at the moment. What's up, what's up, uh, King Higgins? By the way. Uh. Could just use him, maybe. This guy's got no no weaknesses, though. Maybe Jack Little might be the be better one to take. Was he a left wing? Yeah. Not seen much when it comes to defense. So I think we might just take the uh, forward. I think. This guy's a playmaker as well. I think we're gonna go with this guy. Top six medium, sixty-six. Okay, yeah, could. Not sure what we could have really gotten there. Did they pick the other guy? Oh, they picked Volokov. He was sixty-seven, top four medium. Okay, so that guy was actually top four. Interesting. 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 Rolov was sixty-six. Okay. Ward was 67. So we were one overall off on Ward, exactly. But yeah, I think I think Little would be the one we go with there. I think they're the actual prospects. I'm pretty sure, at least, because uh, Shane Wright was in this draft. 
but he went second overall though. So I'm I'm pretty sure it was it is. So I I I'm thinking it is, but I'm not 100 percent sure. All right, we'll sim to our next pick here. Um, let's take what we got here. Ooh, this guy's available here. He's a sniper. Medium elite, but it's a one bar. We don't know how legit that is. Um, Wither Spoon. Camper. No weaknesses on that guy. Interesting. Uh, Hunt it. Five years off. No, I'm going to stay away from that guy. If he's that long off, then I don't want to bother with that kind of player. Reach and or lacks reach and lacks size is his weaknesses. It's got agility and offensive instincts. That's really about it. Hmm. Camper. No weaknesses. Hmm. Puck protection, size, strength, magic hands, and none. I kind of like this guy, actually, because at least I know what, what to expect out of this guy. He's three years off. He's actually kind of tall, too. I don't know, really know if that Lazowski guy is uh, as legit as it says there. I, I don't really know for sure. I think we're going to go with uh, Barnett here. I think this is who I'll go with. Uh, top 9 forward medium. Okay. So it can be like a whatever after that. Uh, this guy was 63 at top 6 medium. Okay. Uh, Witherspoon. No, he definitely is. He's definitely not the player he was when he was in Montreal or early Nashville. <laughs> he's he's definitely not that player anymore. That's for that's for certain. And yeah, I, I I traded him off my team. He's not on my team anymore. We ended up getting uh Connor Brown from for him from the uh, Ottawa. Victor Zubov, five years off. Oof. Four years off. Donovan. Ooh. Two bar medium elite. It's got no weaknesses. His physical is B minus. Hmm, interesting. Del Bell Bulls. That's a great name. <laughs> That's a name. Do I go off the board here? Since I don't really know much on a lot of these other guys, really. He has no weaknesses. I feel like that would be kind of a decent player to pick up, I feel. But I don't know where else what else he's got there. We don't really have much else on him. I might try it. We'll see. 
we might go off the board a little bit this time, just to see. He's a top six medium, okay. Okay, you know what? That's fine with me, honestly. I'll take that. Could have been way worse, personally. Let's see who else we got here. Top six. The offensive defenseman. Lang Louise. Jeremy Lang Louise. Hard wrist shot and no weaknesses. I'll try this guy. Top six D medium. Okay. Again, a lot of these players can end up being um, what you might call it a uh, bait trade bait as well. Who else we got here that could be good? Not seen much else really here. You know what? Can't take this guy. Medium top six. Okay. Oh, actually, no. Top six D low. Okay, I thought that guy would have been better. Uh, round five. George Seabrook from Italy. It's four years off. Magic hands, one on one skill, skating, no weaknesses. 17. I'll take this guy. Top nine forward low. Okay, that yeah, could be better. Need better scouts here, and I think on our team too. That could, that'll help with these drafting as as this file goes on too. Not see, see much here. This round six. Um, I think uh, oop. I'll offer my picks here. I'm not seeing much here that I'm seeing here, at least. How many rounds is this draft? Seven. But I'm not. I'm not seeing much here. Actually, I don't want to do that. Let's uh, find trade for it. If I can get pick for next year. That's fine. I'll do that. Not seeing much here. A six for next year and a seven for this year. Take a bunch of picks for next year. Alright. Yeah, I'll do that. So I think next year's draft will be pretty loaded. Don't see much for the seventh round either. Eh, I'll just pick a random player, I guess. There's not much really given me here. I have to pick take a pick anyway, it looks like. Uh Well, I'll 
gamble on this goalie here. Fringe starter, yeah, whatever. It, that was just a whatever at that point. Oh, I meant to go uh, sim draft. Yeah, there we go. So, eh, could have been a better draft, honestly. Uh, There's just hard to see what, exactly what these players were, really. Okay, Columbus got a first. Minnesota got a first and a third. Dang. Okay. Uh, Dallas got a first. Minnesota got a first. Dang. Minnesota getting all these firsts? <laughs> it's crazy. All right. Soon to re-sign phase here. Okay. Uh, our head coach, associate coach, assistant, and NHL coach all are on contract years. So, let's see here. This guy's the associate coach, right? Yes. I will uh, resign you. I think we can just go as much, really, if I remember correctly. With this, Winnipeg won the damn cup last year. Yep, the 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 the, the playoff bracket was kind of drunk looking. I will just say that much. Assistant coach, yes. Indeed, indeed. Do that. Goalie coach. Continue with that. Okay. And then I... Our staff chemistry's at 65. Well, maybe I'll keep it. I'll, maybe I'll keep him. If we do bad, uh, uh, maybe I will look for a better coach. But it looks like we're okay. Our, our staff chemistry is pretty high still, so maybe we'll keep that. Uh, perfect. Okay. Uh, is our scouts anybody here scout wise? Uh, an amateur scout. UHL. I will resign you. Actually, what was your overall? C. I think actually I'll drop you. Now look for a new um, QMHL. Or not QMHL. Uh, OHL, right? Was it OHL? Yes. Yes, it was. Uh, I also will get rid of my... Um, my AHL scouts. So then we can get more scouts for scouting prospects and such. <laughs> for drafts and such. Alright. Resign phase. Alright. So if I remember correctly, we didn't really have too much we had to worry about this year. Which is good. Um... Let's bring up our uh, all expiring here. We have Brat, Zaka, Wood, Gagne, Patan, Hickey, Sekera. I think Sekera is the one that's gonna we're gonna release Sekera. Personally, I think we can do a little bit better on the fence, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, Brat, we're going to sign. Jesus, that's a lot. Let's see if we can get him to six mil for three. But he did have a pretty good year, so that's fair. Zaka. Uh, let's see if I can get him for 4.5. 4 Miles Wood. Let's try it for 3 mil. Uh, Sam Gagne. That's a lot for you. Nick Paton. I go 1.5. 1, 1. Uh, Hickey. Uh, we're not gonna keep Hickey. Got the. Uh, Twenty-seven. Four goal series at that. We'll go, we'll drop you. Both quiz. Let's see. Not not sure uh, who the free agent is. I have, I haven't checked. <laughs> I usually don't check that until after I do my resign or after it's free agent day. Uh, yeah, I think we'll give him that. That's fair. 
Jimmy Vesey. Uh, okay, look at that. Uh, DeLeo. Uh, let's see, bottom six. What's his overall? It's a bottom six high. Bottom six. And how many points did he get? 15, 29. Is he, can, if he signs for, let's see. Signs a uh, two-way, I'll mind that. Yeah, actually, I'll do that. Can you trade Hughes for the Kings for a seven? I'd greatly appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, everyone wants me to trade Hughes. <laughs> Shane White, all right, and I'm at the start of my second season, but it won't let me play him because it says he's still in the CHL. I'm not sure. I, I, this is actually my first time going through uh, GM mode for this game in particular, so I'm not too familiar with any of the glitches or anything like that. There's, if there's stuff going on, uh, no, I, will, I will probably uh, release that guy. This guy I will keep around. Bomb going in. Top 60, yes. We'll sign you. Also, nice. Good job, Goudreau, getting that goal there. Uh, which taunts is Tice Thompson? Um, sure. He's a medium, so could be something. 70. The future Ducks scored? Yeah, yeah, okay there. He ain't going to the Ducks. I'll drop this guy, actually. This guy will drop as well. This guy will drop as well. Sunderland, I will sign. Here, I'll sign. Let me have dreams. No. Your dream will be if you make the playoffs this year. Because <laughs> you're still not, you're still technically in it. You can you can you can sell all you want, but if you go on a bit of a tear, you can probably still make it in. You're not te your team's not technically out. Him. And I'll sign him too. Just for uh, the prospect team. Uh, goalies here. Sean. Or Scene. He's a high backup. Sure, I'll keep him on. Why not? He could be something. All right. Advance a day. Okay. 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 Oh, somebody didn't want to sign. Uh, Conway, yeah. Zaka, Jaros, Boquist, Miles Wood. Yep. Bratz, yep. Paton, yep. DeLeo, yep. Greer. Yep. 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 I think everybody resigned. I'm pretty sure, at least. Let's see. Oh, Sam Ghani didn't sign. That's right. I haven't signed him yet. Uh, how much uh, cap do I have? I have 10 mil. Can, how much does he want? Can I sign him for a, le a little less? 1.9 for 3? If he takes that, that'd be kind of nice, actually. Damn it. Okay. Um, 
me, all right, two mil will be at the, my last offer there. And I won't. And then if I don't get him there, then it is what it is. If I if if he doesn't want that, then I will look for somebody. I'll just I'll just I'll just use that cap space for other things. Okay, he took that. Perfect. That's actually a good contract right there. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good contract at 1.9 for for 80 overall. That's kind of nice, honestly. All right. Indeed. What's up, Palin? By the way. Okay. Anyway, uh, just an FYI, I dropped it out. Fine. Yep. Yep. Okay, contract limits. Yes. Okay. So let's see what the free agency has to offer us here. What? Who is the best free agent available? Nazem Kadri. No, Goudreau's on there. Ooh, Goudreau is up there, and Malkin's up there as well. Ooh, this is an interesting. Uh, this is an interesting um, free agency here. Do we bring Johnny home to New Jersey? Because he doesn't fit anywhere here for us. But we could use the fence, though. I think that's something we can definitely need. John Klingberg. Vincent Trocek. Interesting. Top four. Mark Giordano. But I don't know if I'm going to keep him get, signing him just because he's old. <laughs> Ryan Strom. All penalty kill lines. Brendan Russ. Nothing there. Palat. Andrew Kopp. David Perron. Rodriguez. Keith Yandel? No. Ricard Raquel? No. Manson? No. Tyler Ennis? No. Evander Kane? No. Radulov? No. Mishkinen? Anushishkin? I can't know how to say his name, but no. Goligoski? No. PK Subban? How much is he asking for? Four mil. So. A lot better contract now, more reasonable one for him than it once was. Uh, Alexander Edler, 36, old, 36 years old, excuse me. Nah, we'll go for him. Instroza, Letty, Nick Letty, interesting. Olsen, down the kill line. Getzlav's on there. Duxton resigned Getzlav. Ristolainen. Uh, Paul Stastny. Bon Japane. Ooh, interesting. Dang, they couldn't resign a lot of players over there in Calgary. Jesus. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen IRL. <laughs> Any, anyway. Uh, uh, Ryan Murray. Ooh. Interesting. All defensive pairings and all penalty killing. Ooh, that's actually an interesting one right there. Dustin Brown. Uh, Travis Boyd, Kubalik. That'd be an interesting one. Chara. Gustafson. Eric Gustafson, eh? All defensive pairings. Uh, Justin Schultz. Uh, Jen Crook. Interesting. No, nothing for that. Nemestankov. Okay. Uh, Riley Smith, first line. Dahan. Uh, Jamrick. Braun. Uh, Colin Miller. Interesting. Uh, I think the Canucks are, will loosen their grip on Quinn. Maybe, yeah. Uh, actually, very quickly. Let's see here. Speaking of Vancouver. They don't want anything to do with it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think so. Hmm. I do have how much cap? 9.1 million in cap.
Jack Campbell is available. Uh, Mark Andre Fleur is also available. So there's there's some, there's some decent goaltending that's available. All penalty kill lines. Kill lines, none. Third line, all penalty kill lines. Kubalik would be an interesting one, actually. And we can we could bring back Subban, except he's on a lesser contract, which is funny. Ryan Murray's actually a good one. Actually, I kind of want to get Murray. Honestly, I think that'd be a pretty good one. You know what? I think we're going to sign Ryan Murray. He'll be one of our players we'll go for. Perform for 4.750 mil. And then another one we'll try to go for. Maybe is Dominic Kubelik. Because I think he fits a lot of our stuff, right? Yeah, third line. Third line and... Uh, well, no, he's not a full meter, actually. Never mind. I don't know how for sure, but Ryan Murray for sure is. Japani doesn't fit us. Doesn't, it's not not official there. Um, Rodriguez. John Klingberg. Andrew Kopp. Vincent Trocek. Evgeny Malkin. Olsen. Tyler Ennis, Giordano, Subban, all four lines of this guy. Inostroza. Vinny Hinostroza. Also, big pog. We, we got the win against the Oilers. First time this season we beat them. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Love to see it. All right. Hmm. This is an interesting guy. Maybe we'll consider him, but yeah, Ryan Murray for sure will be one. Well, he's three meters, so he could be okay. Just for one year. And if it doesn't work out, we can... Uh... Oh, what's that? Uh, oh, he's a restricted free agent. Ah, he's an RFA. Okay, that's why. That makes a little more sense. Yeah, this is now the second year. Yeah, all forward lines. I think I think ooh, Nito Nino Rider would be interesting. Go for four point four fifty. Let's we'll see if he takes that. All right. We'll see what happens here. Oh, right. I was need to go check my scouts and such. A coaching staff in that. Uh, hold on. Where was that again? That's under... Did all my coaching staff resign? Yes. Yes, they did. Okay. Um, hire staff. I want to check my uh, the scouts and that. OHL, was it? Yeah. I think is what we need. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Wait, who's this guy? Oh, he's B for OHL, I see. Yeah, we'll take him. Uh, 
Um, we'll take another OHL guy. Well, this is the only best one right now, so I'll stick with that, actually. Um, the Q. How much there? U.S. No, not really much there. In the U.S., how about the Europe Scouts? Not much there, really. Not seen much, at least. That was like the only good scout, really. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with that, I think. Okay, we'll see if we get our, uh, our players here. Connor Brown in a fourth for Dean and a third to climb. Alright, we got our scout. Gagne, a fourth and a fifth for a third and a fourth. Nope. <laughs> Nino Nina Rider has signed with the New Jersey Devils. Alright, that's a that's a pretty good little pickup right there for offense. Because he can fit on all lines, so that's that's a nice one right there. And uh, Ryan Murray also signs with the Devils. Very good. So we got both of our guys right there. That's kind of nice. That's pretty good right there. Alright, let's look at our defense now, actually. Alright, so Brat, Johnson, Wood, Tatar. On the right wing, we got a Mercer, Brown, Niederreiter, Paton, and Holtz. <laughs> Holtz is still developing, so we're not going to bring him up just yet. He'll still be a little bit, it looks like. He hasn't really grown too much yet. But we'll see. Uh, defense, Hamilton... Oh, we could use a defenseman, actually. Um, we could use a defenseman, like a, a sixth defenseman, for sure. So let's see what's there. Let's see what's there, actually. Uh, defense. How much cap do we have? We have two million cap, so we have to sign something a little cheap here. Actually, what's this guy's meter? Oh, no, he's not full meter. Shira ben Sherat, the legend. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. Ian Cole. No. Caleb Jones. No. Ruda. No. Strawman. No. Uh, uh, Troy Stetcher. That could be our guy. See if he goes for literally two mil. We'll see if he takes the two mil, and then we'll—that's all our cap basically that we have. <laughs> Gagne and a six for two fourths. No, we're keeping Gagne for now. Darn! <laughs> the Capitals came and took him from us because because we offered him less money. Okay. Uh, what else is there? Kempi? No. Nikita Zadorov. Kukan. Matt Benning. DeKaiser. Mata. Uh. Hag. Jack Johnson. <laughs> uh, Brad Hutt. Uh, on this Hickey. You know what? We'll take Hickey. That's a cheap contract right there. He could he could help, and he looks like he fits our system, so we'll take him. Brown and Gagne for a Chris Tanev and a third. Nope. Uh, Gagne and a thir third to the Oilers for a second and a six for this year's draft. Interesting. The Oilers want Sam Gagne back. <laughs> I decided to reject your art. My goal is to win, and I don't think this team's going to be in the position. 
you well, fuck you. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna try offering you a little bit more. All right. J just just a tiny little bit more. You know, that's all I'm gonna ask. Just 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 a tiny just a tiny little bit more. All right. How about one one point six mil? I'm offering you two hundred more uh, than I was. Oh, I see Vat. Uh, I see uh, a certain defenseman that was on the Ducks and Devils before there. Uh, Brown. Dang. Is Connor Brown like my big trade block guy? Alright, there you go. Thomas Hickey signs. Alright. Everybody wants Gagne and freaking Brown right now. Well, we know who to trade if uh, our season doesn't go very well. We can get a lot of uh, draft picks for said players. All right, we'll, we'll sim up to the 15th of September here. Uh, Gagne, nope. Mm. Man, Sam Gagne is worth a second round pick. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, fourth and a fourth for a third for next, or, or fourth for this year. That's Dallas's, and a third for next year, and Smeek. Or Sim Simic? Simic? Is that his name? Random Simic. Needs some fists, so no, I'm gonna pass on that. Uh, Gagne, fifth and a sixth for Dahan. Nope. Uh, fourth, fourth. Sammy Vatnin. <laughs> Sammy Vatnin, hey? They. We have a reunion with Sammy Vatnin. He doesn't fit us though anymore, so. No, we're good. Uh, Brown, Tanev, fourth. Nope, that's good. Uh, nope. Uh, two second round picks. One this year and one next year. That's kind of interesting for both of them. Nah, I'm good. Uh, nope. 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 I'm gonna stop for a second here. I want to see if maybe uh, if Vancouver is willing to trade for trade uh, Qu Quinn Hughes now. Let's take a look here real quickly. Maybe now is the time. Maybe now he wants to join his brother Jack over here in 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 uh in uh on the beach. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Damn it! He does not. All right. If they ever made a dark mode for this game, you face that'd be great. Yeah, I don't even know if it does have one, honestly. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, Jesus. Why am I giving up the most for that? <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, set captains and that. All right. Let's take a look here. Okay, Patan, yo, Nick, Patan, let's go, he made the team, <laughs> alright, we're gonna give him, uh, we're gonna give him number, number 88, Nick Patan, alright, let's see, uh, Connor Brown, 31, Holtz, oh, Holtz is on the team too, interesting, we're actually gonna play him, eh, that's, that's crazy. Uh, Murray, we're gonna make you number number eight, actually. Um, Hickey can be. Uh, what is his number IRL? Let me see here. Fourteen, or is it fourteen? Hold on, I can't see. Yeah, it is fourteen. Okay, uh, you can have that. Okay. Yep. Let's look at. Let's add the lines here. Let's see what we got here, and we got some chem on this team. And Holtz is here. Alexander Holtz is on the is on, has made the team. It looks like he's on the fourth line though. We got Jack Hughes, uh, Nico Heischer, uh, Connor Brown. <laughs> All right. 
Nita Ryder, Mercer, and uh, Jesper Brad. That's actually a pretty good little line right there, actually. Not gonna lie. It's a pretty decent little line right there. Now, if Holtz can develop and get up on here, that'd be pretty good, too, actually. So hopefully that can happen. It seems like he's got Chem with them. So that's good. But I think Brown fits here a bit more right now, so we'll just stick with that. Smith, Hamilton, Severson, Murray, Graves, and Hickey. Okay, not bad. And then on, let's take a look at our special teams. It still sucks. <laughs> our, our special team is still pretty pretty ass, so no surprise there. <laughs> uh, still no surprise there, unfortunately. But our penalty kill is pretty decent, though, so it's kind of weird. This team is weird. But alright, so yeah, and then Mackenzie Blackwood's there, so, yep, okay. Sounds good. So we'll see if we do good uh, this season here. As we'll sim up here. Uh, Thomas Tatar in a fourth for a fifth and a seventh. You know what? Just to get rid of Tatar's contract? Fuck yeah, I'm taking that. <laughs> Just to get rid of his contract, I am, uh, I'm taking that actually. Decline trade. Uh, Ryan Murray for a second, no. Uh, Connor Brown a second for I Scott and fifth nope. And teams will yeah 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 whatever. All right, so we are good to go. <laughs> it is time for the next season here, the 2022-23 season. In fact, so we'll see how this one goes. We open up again this season against the Chicago Blackhawks. Will our season opener be better this year? Let's find out here. Here, let's see how this is going to go. So here we go. First game of the regular season here for these New Jersey Devils team. Will they have a better start to the season this year? And Pavel Zaka scores the first goal. And then it's Bratz right after. There we go. So this is already a better start. And then Johnson scores. Of course, they can have one goal game here. All right. So it's already an active first period in this one. All right. And then Ryan Murray has scored his first goal as a New Jersey Devil right there. And then Miles Wood scores, make it 4-1. There we go. This is already a good story here. <laughs> All right, second period here in New Jersey. <laughs> he scored from his own end. That's pretty great. What a defense. <laughs> what a defenseman. <laughs> Scoring from his own end. That's kind of a, that's kind of legendary right there. <laughs> you gotta love it. All right, so. Three minutes left to go. All right. Oh, they got a power play, but nothing there. All right. Third period here. All right. All right. And uh, Jack Hughes scores, and it's 5-1. So Jack Hughes scores in his the first game of the season. There it is. <laughs> and then we score another power play goal. It's now 6-1 <laughs> for, for us. So that's great. Very nice. So we win 6-1 in our season opener right there. So you love to see it. We had four goals in the first period and two more in the third right there. And only let in one goal that game. So very nice. Three stars. Johnson, Hamilton, and Zaka. All right. Very good right there. Nice, nice. <laughs> All right. Defense is a myth. Yeah, exactly. All right. So it's the, the Battle of the Hughes here now looks like. All right. Anyway, let's uh, sim all the way up to January 1st here and see how this is going to go here. So here we go as we continue on. We lose 5 nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we have a game where we win 6-1, and then our next one, we don't score, and we lose 5 nothing. Nice. <laughs> We'd love to see it. Now we lose again here, but then we beat the Rangers here. We beat the Blue Jackets, and then we lose there. Jasper Brad, I want to talk about my ice time concerns. All right, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Let's see, what where can we do with you? Uh, I will see if we can at, put you up somewhere here. Mr. Jes Jesper Brat. All right. Uh, Sam got a third and fifth for a second and a fourth. Nope, nope, nope. I'm good at the moment. Give me a second here. We'll move you up on the line up here. Andreas Johnson leads the team in points, by the way. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Well, I don't know where I'm gonna put you, Brat. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, dude. <laughs> you're telling me you deserve to be on here over uh, Jack Hughes? That's what you're telling me? <laughs> All right, then. Uh, special teams. 
and you're also up here, so what, what else do you need? You can go up here, I guess. I don't know. Penalty kill. I don't know where else to really put him. I'm not going to put him on the top line because that ain't happening. <laughs> what coach is giving his second line 15 minutes of ice? All right? I don't have no idea. This coach is drunk. Then again, this is EA quality, so what do we expect? <laughs> we don't expect quality here. He's very happy you kept your promise. Well, good. I moved him up on the first line. Third, four, uh, that one power play line, and he's happy about it. So that's good. <laughs> good. All right, 3-2 loss to the Flyers. 4-3 shootout loss. Uh, Hickey, a third and a fourth for Ro Robertson. A second and Lindbaum. Ooh. Let's see here. Matthew Robertson, top four defenseman. He doesn't fit us. Uh, Ulf, Ulf Lindbaum. He's 22. He's a medium starter potential. And a second round pick for next year. Interesting. I'll, I'll back up now. All right. Overtime loss. A 5 nothing win. All right. Carolina. We lose. Philadelphia lose. So back-to-back -back losses. Uh, in general, I feel it'll be a good year for rookies. Okay. So if we do bad this season, then uh, we can trade. We can we can sell off, and then we can draft even better here. Uh, Gagne, a fourth and a sixth for a third and a fourth. So it seems like Gagne is getting a lot of, like, interest here. Uh, Nico Heischer, I'm not happy with the team's performance. Oh, gay. Uh, I don't either. So what do you suggest? Uh, make a coaching change? Alright. Maybe a coaching change is the right way to go. I'll give me a few days. Alright. We'll see what we can do here. I'll give it a few days here. Okay. Uh, Spencer Martin. Vancouver's placing Spencer Martin on waivers. Would you, would you like to claim him? He's a backup goalie. I know I don't need him. All right. I think we're going to fire our coach here. He's not helping. It's not doing much here. Okay. Coaching staff. All right. We could probably do better here, honestly. We're going to fire our coach for now. Uh, you're gonna be the interim for a moment. Uh, let's take a look at higher staff. Let's see. Doesn't seem like there's much else really there. There's no head coaches available, so I'll, we'll have an interim for the next little bit here. Oop. Because there's not much to really, there's not much really available right now. So we'll have to look for maybe next season, or if someone else is uh, there. Heisha's happy. All right, you're welcome. I, I fired the coach now. Let's see if you guys do anything. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Doss Mercer. I'm sorry of how I'm playing out there. Oh God. All right. Uh, how can we help you with this? Uh, I need better line chemistry. Uh, we'll look into getting you better line chemistry. Alright, we'll see if we can move him around here and see if he can, uh, it works for him. Nico Heischer has something to say. I'm not happy with this team's performance. Dude, I just fired this fucking coach. What do you want from me? <laughs> God. <laughs> I think you need to stay patient and trust the process. Alright, thank you. I just fired the coach, so I don't know what you ask, want me to do right now. <laughs> Alright, just prepare. I'm sorry if I'm playing out there. God. Get out of it. Yeah. Okay, I don't care. Just go, just, just go, go do things. Three one loss, five nothing loss. All right, uh, Nicholas Bed uh, Bedwin. Who is this guy? Top four medium defense. He's actually could be something. Uh, maybe I'll claim. 
bro. I'm sorry, I was busy with things. <laughs> 5, 15, and 3. Yep, it, it's a bad year. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna get you your lion mates, Mercer. Just give me a sec. Give me a second here. Give me a second here. I need to, uh... Take a look here and play around with some lines here. Alright, where are you, Mercer? You're on the f second line. But you have a plus one chem, though. What the hell do you mean? Let's see. How's Nick Baton doing? Two points. Let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, that could be why we're having problems right now. I just realized something. Uh, yeah, let's get let's bring up a defenseman here. I just realized that that could that could do it because yeah, we trade. Uh, or is Hickey injured right now? Oh, Ty Smith's injured. That's why. That's also another reason. Uh, in the system. Thomas Hickey, come back up here. We need you right now. Uh, best line AHL. That could be a reason why we are not doing well right now. Because we don't have... There we go. Try this out here. Hughes, Mercer, and Holtz <laughs> on the first line. We'll try that out. We'll, we'll see if that does anything. It's got some chem there, it looks like. So we'll, we'll try that out. Okay. Uh, or where's where's Jenny first? There you go, right here. Okay, we'll see if that does anything. Uh, we need a veteran presence. I brought in fucking Gagne not too long ago. Ugh. How many more veterans does this team need? Okay. I don't I don't fully agree. Alright, I will go find him then. This is this week on Days of Our Devils. Yep. <laughs> this week on playing or running with the devil. The New Jersey Devils are having a very shitty year and everyone's complaining and bitching. <laughs> and they rather go Go and party at, um, what's, what's that place called? Um, Jersey Shore. <laughs> the Jersey Shore. <laughs> That's the show. All right. You guys might set a record at this rate? Yeah, we might actually. All right, we're going to go see who's available. That's a veteran here. Because this team needs a veteran presence, apparently. Okay. Wow, Gudra went to the fucking Ducks. <laughs> Unbelievable. Is App playing this game at the moment? It wouldn't surprise me if he did. <laughs> he probably is. <laughs> fucking hell. Alright, anyways, let's see. Goligoski. And wow, we got Derek Helm. Look at this fucking team. Derek Helm, Lucic, Jesus. Alright. Uh, Brad Richardson, Andrew Codliano. Sure, <laughs> I'll do it. Andrew Codliano, Mackenzie Blackwood didn't like Codliano coming in, but Codliano was like, yeah. <laughs> Joe Thornton's on the freaking avalanche. Didn't work with the Panthers. Can he win it with the abs? <laughs> Probably not.
And you're also going to bring in Zach Parise. Uh, I'm going to edit this trade, though. We'll take your fourth. Oh, actually, it won't work. Um, would you take a fifth for next year? Yeah, okay. We're bringing back Zach Parise, ladies and gentlemen. Because <laughs> we need veteran presence on this team, so we have to do something. Alright. Is he on the AHL team? Is that where he is? Or is he just... Sitting there. Damn, Zaka fell all the way to the AHL. Holy smokes. That's not. That's so unfortunate. Zaka, Zaka fell all the way to the AHL. That's how bad he's been doing. <laughs> and what was he last year? He had 30 points last year. He, and he's, <laughs> he only had 9 so far this year. And he's dropped all the way to the AHL. That's kind of insane when you think about it. And so is Bullquist. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's crazy. That's pretty nuts right there. Um, scratched here. Okay. All right. So I brought in two veterans here. So that better help out in a sense. Probably won't though. All right. But we'll see what happens. Maybe the coach will be like, "Yeah, thank you for doing that." All right. Anyway. Uh, he's happy. Can okay. Good. He 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 liked that. Good. All right. Mercer's upset you broke your prom. What promise? I don't know what you want. Hmm. Oh, it's because I... Oh, I know why. I know why, actually. I just realized. It's because I did best lines for a second there. That That's why what happened. I see. I Because I, I, I did change the lines around, but then I, I went best lines after, and then it messed everything up there. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on. Let me fix that for you. Pavel Zaga, I demand to be traded. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> fine, we will trade you, Zaka. That's fine. <laughs> Everybody does not want to be here. That's fine with me. I will, I will make some trades here. We will make some things happen here. All right. Let's see here. Where's Zaka here? There he is. Zaka, for Tanev in a third, uh, Vid Vidic in a third and a third, a Tracy, uh, a third and a third. What's second and a set? Ooh, and Triff, interesting. Simon in a third. William Carlson for Pavel Zaka. Interesting. But I do kind of like that uh, that Minnesota trade, actually. We get a second for this year and a second for next year, and then this Triff guy. That actually wouldn't be a bad one, actually, for him. This guy is pretty much whatever, honestly, but we're just getting him for the deal. Actually, would you be willing to put in another draft pick instead? Or do I have to take him? Let's see, like, I don't know. Like, your fourth or whatever. Do I have to take this guy? Okay, I have, I have to take him then. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Or, or can, I take a, can I take a six? Yeah, okay, cool. I'll do that. I'll take the I'll take the draft pick actually. All right. Anyways, we'll feed up on draft picks. I think is what we're gonna do right now. It seems it's it's it's, it's just a a year that's not meant to be. It seems we tanking boys. Yep. Unfortunately, we are tanking. Might be for the best this year, just because this year's draft is supposed to be pretty good, right? So, I think it's for the best, honestly.
All right, anyways. There will be more trades to be made <laughs> uh, eventually here. I think they're used to it at this point, yep. Probably. Jack Hughes. I'm sorry for how I'm playing out there. It's okay, buddy. I understand. You don't have your brother here to help you. I understand. Thank you. And I appreciate the comments. Yeah, you're welcome, Jack. <laughs> you're welcome, man. Gotta keep you happy, at least. Uh, Nico Hish. I'm not happy with this team's performance. Dude, shut up. <laughs> don't make me trade you. <laughs> I see this is going downhill every day. This won't resolve. <laughs> I mean, it's New Jersey. It's always a downhill spiral. Let's be honest with ourselves. We don't have Marty here. All right. <laughs> He's upset. I put you on the top line, my dude. What do you want? Okay. What? What the hell do you want? I gave you fucking Jack Hughes and Holtz. The fuck you want? Oh. <laughs> Jeez, what do you mean I broke your... Oh, oh, I, I kept my promise. Yeah, because I traded you. Yeah, you're welcome. See you later, Zaka. Okay. I, I thought I broke my promise because I traded him. Like, but did you want to be traded? Okay, hold on. Hold on. 6, 20, and 3. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Alright, uh, Mercer. I don't know who I can put you on here with, honestly. It's like a plus one, so what do you want? I have no idea what to do here. Everyone's always pissy here. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Um... I don't, dude, I don't know what to do for you. I'm sorry. I, I don't know where you want me to put you. Is it the power play? Is he wanting? Is that what it is? Because I literally put him on the first line and he's got Ken with all th two of those guys. It must be the power play. Z Sammy Vatnin. You know what? We're going to bring back another veteran presence here of Sammy Vatnin. Why not? Old, old, old devil player coming back, baby. Because why the fuck not at this point? Alright, um, let's see. Edit lines. Oop, not HL. Uh, def is it power play? It has to be. Where, the, like, what do you want me to do here? I don't know what this game wants out of me. I don't know what to do. I think you broke Billy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think we did. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what to do, really, when it comes to this. So I'm just going to go with it, unfortunately. I demand it be true. <laughs> Everyone wants out of here. Let's fucking go. We can start. Uh, we can restart. We can literally restart everything. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I'll tell I'll do it. I will, I will do that. Hope we have our We do, we do. Don't worry. We still have our first, so don't worry. Connor Brown, a third and a fourth. Nope, decline that. All right, so Johnson wants to be traded? All right. We will do that. But yeah, we st we, st we still have we still have our first, so it's fine. We didn't trade those away. Okay, Johnson, where are you? Jesus. Dude, I can't trade you. Nobody wants you. <laughs> I can't trade you, my man. Nobody nobody wants you. That's how bad you are. Jesus. <laughs> Release him. I could I could just do that at this point. But I want to see if I can get something out of him.
how the ducks want them, but they don't have the cap space. I'll trade you out west for a team that would want you. The Sharks, sure. You have the cap. Ah, uh, fourth might be too much, actually. A six. That's... Damn. Your, 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 your trade value is so low that a seven's not good enough for you. That's so crazy. I don't even know how I'm going to make this work. <laughs> Does anybody want him? The Seattle Kraken. Perfect. Oh, is it because of the cap space? Oh, it is. Yeah, that's exactly what the reason is. I just realized he's making, he's making 3.4 mil. wants to take him, right? Yeah, freaking Arizona or bros. They'll take him. Just kidding, they won't because they have too much they don't they, they have too many players. Nice. They got nobody to trade. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Buffalo, do you want him? It says you do. I can make this work. They want a first, of course they do. How about my six for 2024? <sighs> well, I don't know if I can trade this guy. I, I think I don't think it's possible. <laughs> I think I think I I think I have to keep him until the deadline, maybe, and maybe someone will take him. Un or unless they put him on the trading block here, let's do that real quickly. Maybe someone will take him if I do that. Where is the trade block again, actually? There it is, right here. Add item. Where is he? <laughs> and this guy was our leading point scorer at one point this season. There we go. Okay. Uh, Robert Hag is available. Or he's in. Mm, no. Oh, my god, dude. <laughs> this guy's so pissy. <laughs> no matter what I do, I move him everywhere. I don't know what I can do to make this guy happy. I really don't. <laughs> I've moved him everywhere. He does not. He's never happy. I'm gonna say persuade. <laughs> I disagree. I need better line mates. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I've tried everything. Gagne and a six for a third and a six. Okay, I declined. We'll wait for the deadline here. Gagne might be. Our big, one of our big fish to sell. He's how upset you broke your promise. <sighs> uh, I've decided not to trade yourself right now, and I do need to explain, and I don't need, I, and I do not need to explain myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ryan Murray, a third, and Vatnin in a fifth for two second round picks. One this year and one next year. 
the client for now. Uh, Red Radco Gudes, Florida's putting him on there. Doesn't fit anything, so decline. Uh, Spearson and Vatnin uh, for a second and a third. Decline. Uh, Bortuzzo. All defense pairings. Sure, why not? <laughs> you can be trade bait or whatever. Boston Bruins have fired their coach. I have an idea. Since the Boston Bruins fired their coach, that means a coach is available. <laughs> this was the guy, isn't it? Yep. Pretty sure. But he's only a B. <laughs> So I, I will wait, actually. I'm, I'm just waiting the year out. I'll, we'll wait until maybe coaches are available to try to get one. Uh, trade deadline. Okay, yeah, keep going. Keep simming here. Uh, Luke Shen is also here. I don't need him. Murray in a fifth for a second and a third. Nope. Uh, Dylan Sandberg. He's also a defenseman. 24. We have nothing on him, so decline. Uh, Gagne, fifth for a third and a sixth. Decline. Shootout win. 3 nothing loss. 4-1, 2-1. 4-3. Okay, so we're 21, 34, and 7, and pretty much last. Are we last in the entire league? I, I I have to think we probably are. No, we're not. The Bruins are worse than us. <laughs> so we are the second worst team in the in the league. Jesus Christ. Alright. Alright. But Jack Hughes has 45 points this season. Holy shit, look at these minuses. Who's got the worst minus? Dougie Hamilton. Yeah. Uh, he sure... Uh, okay, uh, let's see here. Gani has no points, and people want him? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I can get a third for a guy who hasn't played any games. Uh, he was at 45, Hamilton 42, Brat 41, He sure 40, um, Connor Brown at 37, Mercer at 33, Holtz at 30, uh, Severinsen 33, this guy at 20. All right, 19, McLeod, Nita Ryder, Prize, Johnson. Johnson's at 11 points, and he's a minus 13. This guy is a plus one. <laughs> These guys are plus players. That's crazy. On this team, that's kind of crazy. Ty Smith's a minus 16. Yeah, this is a pretty abysmal. How's the goaltending? I didn't even want to know what that looks like. Somehow, we have a 900 save percentage on this team. That is, that's kind of wonderful, honestly. People want a guy that has no points. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> people, people like that depth. The deaf players, I guess. All right, so we're gonna head into the uh, the trade deadline here. We are an absolute seller here. We are selling, sell, 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 baby. And nobody's in our top ten here. That's crazy. <laughs> we have no top ten players to sell. <laughs> That's funny. Connor Brown's on there. All right, well, well, let's take a look here. Let's see. Fine trade here. All right, so we're cleaning house here. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at uh, Connor Brown for a minute here. Let's see, a second round pick and Brian Elliott, a second and a third, Robertson and a fourth, a third and a third, a second and a third, uh, a second and a fourth. Carlson and a third. Primu and a third. Second and a third. John, what's that? Okay, I'll, actually, I'll wait. Maybe some team will go crazy there. Um, Gagne. Let's see. A fourth and a fifth. Zdeno Chara. Ooh. 
This is interesting, actually. Too bad he doesn't fit our team at all. Is <laughs> overall 79, yeah. No. What does Ryan Murray give me? Some teams want him. Goss here? No. Phil Kessel. Second round pick from Buffalo this year, actually. Jonathan drew in. Interesting. This team doesn't need offense, though. <laughs> uh, what's Dougie Hamilton giving? Patrice Bergeron and a second. Interesting. What's up, Kitty? How's it going? Let's see if anyone's going to take that one guy again. Nino Nidorai's trade value has dropped tremendously. Holy smokes. No trades found for him. No trades found for this guy either. How many years left in his contract? One year. Okay. Nobody wants these guys. That's crazy. Zach Parise, Calgary, seven. I'll take your picks, Winnipeg. Sam Gagne, James Reimer. PK Subban's back on the Predators, that's crazy. Uh, fourth and a fifth. I'll take Boston's uh, picks because I know they're bad. How am I? I'm doing not too bad. I'm not too bad. Mercer. Get slabs on the penguins, crazy. <laughs> A second, eh? Sammy Vatten and going back to the Ducks for fourth. I'll take uh, Winnipeg's fourth for this year. Not see much on that. Codliano? Anybody? Take Florida's. Oop. Nobody wants these players. <laughs> That's crazy. 
Let's see if I can just throw them to somebody, maybe. Johnson, let's see. How many years he's got? He's got one. Okay, maybe I'll have to eat some cap, I think. To make it work. A Florida's record's not very good this year, looks like. Oh. Brown, a third, and Jaros for a second, third, and Kulak. Oh, that second's next year. No. What about my cats? I said they're not as good this year in this file in this file. What's Graves give me actually? Fourth? Billy's third. Sure, I'll do it. It's a fire sale here in New Jersey. <laughs> I have so many seconds. Let's let's try something here. Taylor Hall. We can bring him back for two seconds. That's funny. Curious to see what it would take to get Boston's first. They have it. They do. Hamilton in a second. Ooh, that's not bad. A first, my first, second, and Slayton. Very interesting. Chat, what do you think? Do you think we trade Hamilton uh, in this sell-off in a second for for Boston's first? Because they're the second worst team in uh, uh, the worst team besides us in the in the league this year, and they're willing to do that because <laughs> we're we're kind of just retooling and refixing everything. I I'll ask everybody here or who, I mean that could work. Yeah, I'm kind of th thinking of doing it. Dougie going back to Boston, yeah. Doesn't matter now, so do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. So, yep, we're gonna do it. So now we have, so now we have two first rounders this this year's draft. As of now, because it's gonna be a good draft too. So, I'm trying to think who else is bad. As you can see, we have two first rounders. We have two second rounders. Couple third rounders. So let's see who else is bad. Who's the number one draft pick? It's probably. Oh, what's his name? Uh, if he's in this game, I hope. I think he is. What the heck is his name? Um, Connor Bedard. That's his name. He's supposed to be like the next McDavid and everything like that. Oops. Ottawa's got that. Oh damn, so he's good? Yeah. He he is projected to be pretty damn good. He actually was playing in the Olympics, I believe, this 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 past Olympics, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, no, 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 he wasn't. No, he was too young to be over there. I'm actually, yeah, I'm wrong on that. He he was on Team Canada's uh, World Junior Team. That's what it was, yeah. Oh, that's gonna take my first. I don't want to do that though. Just want to see who else has a high first rounder.
Dallas is up there. Interesting. Florida's is up there, too. No trades for Florida's. Okay. Dallas wants my first for next year. And a third for this year. And Sling, ha Sling Halder. Hmm. That is interesting there. So what's what's their record? Twenty two twenty nine and eleven. He's twenty five, he's a top four D medium. You're probably thinking, yeah, oh, sorry, it was Owen Power. That's what I meant, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, sorry. Hmm, should we go with that? Or should we try to get, um... Who was the other team? Um, Ottawa's first. Because then we'll have three first rounders in the in this uh, in this draft coming up. Or should we go with Ottawa's? Yeah, we have got an hour left here in this trade deadline. Who's worse? Oh, definitely Ottawa. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna quickly try to make something quickly with Ottawa here if we can, because they're willing to trade it. Ty Smith, my first for this year. Uh, not doing the first this year. I'll be willing to do it next year if you will take that. Yeah, they will. And put in Minnesota second. Damn it. I don't want to trade Ty Smith though, that's the thing. That's the tough part. I guess I guess we'll do Dallas then. Dallas it will be, I think. Yeah, well, we have to give up our first for next year, but I don't know how good the draft is in the season after this one, so that's the thing. Yeah, fuck it. I'll do it. <laughs> fuck it. I'll do it. And then last but not least... Get another second in there. And alright! <laughs> we did we did so much trading there, holy smokes. So yeah, Connor Brown went to the Toronto for a second and a fourth. We ended up getting a first from Dallas for our first for next year, a third from next year, and then Sleeton later. Um, we also got a first from Boston for Dougie Hamilton and a second. Uh, Dominic Simone went to the Jets for and a fourth uh, for Don, Stefan Jarmelson and a third. Uh, we also got a third and a fifth uh, for from Philly for Ryan Graves. San Jose got uh, all these players from Edmonton for Will Butcher and a third. Chicago got Sir Noel and a fifth for 
for a care for Kara. Okay, uh, we got a seventh round pick from Florida for Andrew Carliano. We also got a fourth and a sixth from Winnipeg for Sammy Vatnin. We uh, also acquired Tom uh, Thomas Jerko and a second from Buffalo for Ryan Murray. Uh, we got uh, Vancouver got a second and Jake Neighbors from St. Louis for a second, a fourth, and a couple other things. Uh, Arizona got w Dean William Carlson and a third from Vegas for Shane Gosphere, Phil Kessel, and two other things from Arizona. We also got a fourth and a sixth from Boston for Sam Gagne. We also got a seventh and a s two sevenths from Winnipeg for Zach Parise. Uh, the Rangers got Boyd and Docker from Ottawa for a second, Matthew Robertson, a couple other things, and then Boston got a second, Luke and the whatever his name is, uh, for Eric Halla and Charlie Coyle. So. Yeah, we did a lot. Wow, lots of draft picks. Yep. Yep, we did. Ryan Lomberg. Hey. Does he fit us? I don't know. But we'll just take him anyway. We need players anyway. <laughs> we need players anyway. So, we'll just take him. He's a, He was a former Flame as well. <laughs> Funny enough. We'll just take him. Alright, we got an overtime loss. A loss, a loss. Alright, continue. The losing. Let's go. Let's go. I got a win. All right. Another win. And another win. And a loss. And a loss. All right. And a loss. Let's go. A loss. A win. A loss. A loss. Yeah. A loss. Let's go. All right. And a loss. And a win. And a loss. And a win. And a loss. Yeah. All right. Let's go for losing. Let's go. All right, uh, Boston's also last in their division too. We are last in our division, and then the Stars were second last in their division. Let's see. Um, so I think are we were, were we the worst? No, Boston was the worst. We have their first. Uh, then it was us, and then it was the Predators and the Stars. So we have a good shot at it. I will say <laughs> we have a very good shot at these first here. So. I'll definitely say that. So we end the year at 27, 46, and 9. It just was not meant to be this year. The whole team just was just, I don't know what the fuck they were bitching and complaining about. There was I don't know what the hell is going on here. So yeah, let's take a look here. Brat was got the got the most points with 61 points. He shared 58. He was 55. Uh, Mercer 46. Uh, Holtz with 38. Severinsen 35. McLeod 31. Niederreiter 28. This guy 25. Wood 20. Smith 16. Johnson 14. Baton 14. Kukinen 12. Bertuzzo 7. White uh, 2. Jaros 2. Boquist 1. Jerko 1. Ball no points. All right. Imagine if you still win, still don't win the lottery. I mean, I'm not surprised if I do. <laughs> I would not be surprised. But it's a full-fledged uh, retooling and everything, so we have to dig up the, the toxic pieces in this team in order to uh, hopefully make something happen. So it'll, it, it'll, it's bound to probably happen, so I wouldn't be surprised. All right, who made the playoffs? All right, let's take a look here. Um, let's take a look, look at our playoff tree here. Uh, the Jets and Blackhawks, the Avs and Canucks, Oilers, Kraken, and then Golden Knights and Kings. In the east, we have the Penguins, Capitals, the Blue Jackets, Hurricanes, the Maple Leafs, Red Wings, and then the Battle of Florida. So the Panthers didn't make it in after all. Interesting. So good thing I didn't go with their picks then. And then here's what we got in the AHL. And that's about all she wrote, so yeah. <laughs> Ducks missed, yep. Unfortunate. Alright. So let's see here. Well, it's... Uh, Go all the way to the 15th, I guess. And we'll see who the hell did well and who didn't. And... Oh. The Jets won the cup again. What the fuck, dude? They're an absolute dynasty over there in Winnipeg. And then the Grand Rapids Griffins won the Calder Cup. My goodness. The Jets won it again. That's the second year in a row they've won it. That's crazy. What is their roster? I am. I, I want to know what the hell their team is. How are they good? I would like to know. Is Connor Hellebuck just that good that they just get carried by him? I would not be surprised. Let's take a look here. The new... The Winnipeg Jets. Let's see. 
They got Kyle Connor, they got Shifley, they got Wheeler, they got Ehlers, Dubois, they got David Perron, okay. Cole Perfetti. Yeah, he, I mean, he's young, so it makes sense why he's doing good. Dominic Simone, Nate Schmidt, uh, Vas Vaseline, Hayek, Morrisley, Dustin Brown, Brendan Dillon, Sveshnikov, Ro oh, yeah, that's right. Fucking Montreal gave them fucking Romanov. That's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, Montreal gave them fucking Alexander Romanov. That's right, and we gave them Parise, DeMello, Lowry, yeah. Makes sense, and then goalies, they have Hella Buck and Comrie, yeah. Okay, they're actually not too bad, honestly. Actually, when I look at that, they're actually not too bad, honestly, when I look at their roster there. Um, okay. Yeah, so, uh, who was the finals, by the way, out of curiosity? Who, who, who made the finals outside of the Jets there? It was the Hurricanes, okay. All right. And Toronto, once again, getting eliminated in the East Final to the Hurricanes. That's actually kind of funny. That actually happened to IRL. Uh, and it was the last time the, 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 the Leafs ever made it far ever since that one series oh, actually no that was that was the only that's the last time they ever made to the east final was against that uh so there you go and there we go that's the that was that winnipeg takes out the kings again yep <laughs> that they did so yeah the jets are back-to-back -back stanley cup champions colorado won the president's trophy uh the Ca clarence campbell was the jets the hurricanes were the prince of wales uh, individual wars nathan mckinnon uh, won the uh, Art Ross. He was also the Hart Memorial. The James Norris was Headman. Patrick Kane was the Lady Bing. The Calder Trophy was Burmistrov, uh, the guy that they drafted. Uh, Con Smythe was Connor. Mrazic was the Vesna Trophy winner. Wow. <laughs> you know, goaltending is crazy this year when Peter Mrazic won the Vesna Trophy. Uh, Darcy Cooper won the William M. Jennings Trophy. Tang was the Bill Masterson. The Jack Adams was the Kraken coach. Kopitar was the Selkie winner. The Ted Lindsay was McKinnon. Ovechkin was the Maurice Rocket Richard. Hell yeah, dude. At age 40 whatever, the, or 30 whatever the hell, he he's still winning Rocket Richards. I'd love to see it. Uh, Filpula was, won that for us. He also won that for us. So, could he keep an eye on Filpula for us? Uh, or no, 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 no. Not Phil, that's not for the Kraken. He's not for us. Excuse me. Uh, Sokolov, uh, Fonstad, Jones... Uh, Kudobin's in the HL now. That's crazy. Kosa, Filipula, Alt, Kudobin, Filipula. Oh, I'm just going in circles down here. Um, let's take a look here. Grad and Rapids, Rip, Rapids, uh, Ontario Rang, the Hartford Wolf Pack, the Rang, the Stars, the Ontario Rang, the Hartford Wolf Pack, the Laval Rocket, the Rocket, and the Gra Rapids Rap Griffins. Okay. So those were the rewards for this season here. So, yeah. All right. Let's see what the hell happens here. I, I'm i very nervous for this here. <laughs> you have to be fucking kidding. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You gotta be kidding me with that. Oh my goodness. San Jose goes from 9 to 1. And then fucking Nashville goes from 4 to 2. You have gotta be kidding me with that. That is unbelievable. I think we need to do. We need to trade the um, the New Jersey or the the Dallas trade the Dallas one to San Jose. I think. I had a feeling that was gonna happen too because fuck this game. I swear. Uh, how does Boston and me both lose? Yeah. See, I gotta get this guy. I I have to. I gotta get Connor Bedard. <laughs> I, I have to get him. He's a franchise player. Like, he, he has to be... We have to get him, unfortunately. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We have to... We have we have to try to get him. From, uh... From Dallas, I think. Or, or, or San Jose it was. That's who it was, yeah. Okay. Who retired this year? Here, let's see. Filpula... Nielsen, Seabrook, Demiers, Stahl, Sabotka, Holden, Martin, Lothera, Reeves, Flynn, Cracknell, Wano, Winstrom. Okay. Nobody else really. That noticeable there. Goalies, uh, Glass, and Salak. Okay. 
Uh, we else rest there? Nope. Okay. Uh, Filpula and Zebra can be scouts now. Cool. Alright, go to draft class. Yeah, yeah. We need to get that draft. We need to get that first overall pick. We gotta do it. We have to do it. Alright. Um, hold on a second here, which I don't know if we will be able to. That's that's the that's the tough part. Uh, go to draft and use. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. This is what I want. Theo Lindstein. Don't know much on him. I think your third or fourth overall would get him first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm just curious to see what what it would take if I just asked them if they if they're willing to trade it. Two. And it's all forwards. That's crazy. There's barely any defense here in this in this draft. Interview him. Uh, let's see. What's up, Max? Is going? Yes, you missed first year where we almost made playoffs, and then you missed second year, which was an absolute tire fire. <laughs> so now we are in the second after the second year here, and we are uh, trying. Well, we we have three first round picks in this draft. We didn't win the draft because this game sucks, and uh, we're now we're trying to. Um, Get the first overall pick so that we can get Connor Bedard. Alright, uh, playstyle. Readiness. Still a few years away. Yeah, it's not about defense in this one. In true non Edmonton fashion, you lost the draft three times. Yeah, I hit three first round picks and we didn't even. Freaking <laughs> win the draft. It's unbelievable how rigged the game is. <laughs> Alright. Skills. I'll probably do a third year too. Because the, the sim goes really fast actually. It's not like PS4 where it's like it takes 10, min 10 hours just to sim one year. Seasons, yeah. Defense is not. There's not really too many good defensemen. It's crazy. I'm doing good, by the way. What about you? Not too bad, not too bad. Wondering why this Devils team is so ass. <laughs> they have all this talent, but they all can't get along and gel. And they bitch at the uh, and they bitch at their their coaches and their GMs. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. All right. New topic. Let's see here. Uh, a few years away. Okay. Yeah, he's not ready yet. How, how close is he, though? He could be a good one to pick up, maybe. Oh, he's four. Yeah, fuck that. No, never mind. <sighs> never mind. But he's but he's apparently a level elite, which I, I, I don't believe that, honestly. Yeah, this draft is all about these top picks over here. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, I recommend you to... Okay. Let's see here. Need a rider? Yeah, I've got nothing. Okay. Alright. 
entry draft time. So we have to try to make a deal with the sharks here real quickly. I want to see what it takes. Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was gonna. T I knew it was gonna take a lot. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's the problem here. It's gonna take a lot because this is for a franchise centerman, so it makes a lot of sense. Okay. Let's see. Trade this one. Oh, there's gotta be a way I can do this. Hold on. Ooh, okay. It feels like that's close. If not, I might have to trade the, uh, I may have to trade the, uh, I mean, it's, is Bedard, if, if, is Bedard is a center, you make the trade, yeah, I might have to trade Heesher away. If, I, I might have to, unfortunately. I don't want to, but it might be for the best, honestly. But could you imagine Bedard and, and Hughes instead? That'd be a better idea, honestly. Plus, he sure was just being a bitch all season, so I think it's for the best, honestly. I actually like Hughes. Hughes doesn't yell at me. <laughs> I can just do that one, maybe. Ah, it's gotta be all four. Shit, okay. That's unfortunate. Okay, that sucks, unfortunately. Yeah, gotta do it, unfortunately. <laughs> What? No, that's not what. It, what? Why did it do that? Oh, did it not give me time? Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Wait, they didn't pick him? Hello? Wait, does it, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does this auto save? Don't think so. Fuck. Ah, okay. uh, I can't I can't do it then cuz I haven't saved. Think you can just reload? I hope so. Hold on. I hope you're right on that. I don't know why I did that. No, no, I did, I did, I didn't. I'm not asking for the draft. No, I wasn't asking for that. I was asking just the like the the mode in general, like after like a sim. I don't know why I did that. What the? Why did they pick my player when I was tr trading for that? Like as I made the trade, it it did my pick automatically. Okay, continue. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, I think. Yes, yes, this is that file, okay. Phew. Okay, oh, you know what? Maybe we have a better chance at the fucking uh, lottery this time, actually. Maybe we actually win it this time.
We get a redo, yeah, because of glitchy nonsense there. I don't know why that happened. Hey, hey, in Colorado one. <laughs> All right. Cheater. No, I, the game cheated me. I was going to pick my guy. I, 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 I was willing to do that trade, but then the game was like, fuck that. You're, you're picking this guy. So, no, the game cheated me, actually. <laughs> I ain't, I did not cheat. And so, look, they still won regardless. <laughs> they still freaking won regardless. So it didn't even matter at the end of the day. So, at the end of the day, it really didn't matter. They still won it regardless. <laughs> so... Didn't matter. It, they still they still won it regardless. Okay. Where's lottery time? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we already know who retired. Joe Thornton can be a coach. He's gonna be our coach. Oh, a lot of different players actually retired this time too. Interesting. Compared to the last time. Uh. Continue. Okay. All right. I don't need to do this. That that one. Okay. Start the draft. We will quickly make that trade. Okay, fine trade. San Jose. First, first, uh, yes. Okay. Now quickly, call timeout. All right. Now we have time. Okay. Alright, so I did say I'm taking Connor Bedard. So, we will be drafting him. There it is. We now have a franchise centerman here. Alright. We can now try to build around this kid here. With Hughes and that, so... That's what we'll do. Alright. <laughs> Unfortunately, we had to give up a lot there, but we were able to get it this time. Okay, zoom to pick, six pick here. All right. Um, what do we got here? Zachary Benson, one year off. Brandon, uh, Brand, uh, Brand, uh, Braden Yeager. One year. More centermen, eh? That's crazy. A plus, A plus, A minus, B, B, B minus. Uh, probably the Benson guy. I would say, at least. And before Bedard ends up being shit... Shut up. <laughs> Nobody asked. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's go with him, I guess. Seventy-four. Yeah, that's what it is, unfortunately. Oh, actually, you know what I should do? I'm gonna see if I can find some trades for specific players here. Actually, now. Now that we can. See if anyone takes him. No, nobody wants him. Johnson? No. Yeah, I don't think anyone can find that. Alright. Let's sim to the next pick here in round two. Joe Earn. Ooh, 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 yes. Yes, please. Yep, yeah, this is our guy right here. Yo, oh, damn. We got a fucking de de a defensive defenseman. Yo, that's a huge one right there. All right, we got a, we got a good defenseman right there, actually. All right, that's kind of huge, actually. And an X Factor too, yep. Very nice. Joe Earn. Very nice. Moving on here to our next one. 
A decade of streams yet. Oh, Sergei Varlarmov, a goalie, but he's five years off, apparently. <laughs> but he's medium elite, potentially. I don't know. Do we take a goalie in this round, though? That's the thing. I don't know. Maybe not. Hold on. Let's see what else there is here. Uh, Georgian Jacobs, three years off. Okay. Oh, are we at the top? Uh, three years off, five years off, four years off, four, three, three, four, three, four, five, three. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take the goalie, actually. I might do that, actually. I might take Varlarmov here. Got no weaknesses, it says. Let's see. He is an elite goalie. All right, cool. That could be it. Maybe val trade value, maybe. Potential if, if it takes too long for him to develop. All right. Late second round pick here. All right. Four years off. <laughs> Before you start the next season? Sounds good. Sounds good. Three years off. Ooh, this guy could be interesting. He's 17, too. Ooh. Right defenseman. No weaknesses there. Okay, four. Ooh. I don't want that much on this guy, but this guy's got some decent points. Stahlberg. Top six. Take the what was his name? This guy? Yeah. It says his stock is going up, so that might be a good thing. Check him here. Let's see. Top six D medium. Okay. Tis what to tis. Uh, let me just see. That's fine. Okay, where's my... Yeah, here we are. Make pick here, let's see. Uh, five years off. One guy's apparently potentially maybe two years off. But I don't know how legit that is. We gamble and try? Let's try it. Let's gamble. <laughs> He's a 7D. What a lie. <laughs> uh, okay. It was a lie. Alright. Four years off. This guy. Physical play. No. That guy's a bust, so don't go for him. Ooh. This guy's apparently a gem. Defensive defenseman. if the gems are still good in this game.
Let's try this guy here first. Top nine forward. Okay. That guy that I was looking at still there. He is. I think I'll take him here. Nice. He's actually a low elite. Nice. Huge. Actually huge right there. In the fourth round. That's pretty big. That's a great name. Holy smokes. <laughs> here now. Nineteen now. I'll try. Let's see. Uh, bottom six. Yeah, no. Wasn't anything good. Jose David. I'll gamble on this guy. 7th D. Damn. Unfortunate. Goalie still there? That McIntyre? Yeah. Um, I'll try. We'll see. And he's elite low. Nice. Cool. And now we're just guessing at this point. Six, okay. Never been lied to in my life right there on that one. See much there. Honestly, um, let's trade this one, I guess. Not seeing much there. A 
I'll do that. And I'll do that. Perfect. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see if this does anything at all, but I doubt it. Resign. What a draft. Yeah, exactly. Uh, AHL head coach. Actually, you know what? We will, uh... We're gonna go clean state in the AHL at the moment. We'll look we'll look for a head coach for the main roster and then we'll uh we'll go and uh do new stuff in the uh the AHL. Okay. Um hold on. Staff. There we go. Got to resign my scouts here. Okay. This guy. Okay. This guy can get resigned. Oh, these two. Okay. Perfect. All right. Resign phase. All right. Let's see who's available. Yeah, I know contract. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, you don't have to tell me. All right. Let's see. Spearson. Boat here. That's High Smith. That McLeod. Uh, Two point five hundred, I think. This guy. There, Boquist. I think we'll uh, qualify. Uh, this guy does not want to be here, so I'll release him. Extension, so I will get rid of him. Bastion. Two way, yeah, that's fine. Jerko. Do you want an extension? Yeah. Ball wants to be here, so I will uh, resign him. This guy, bottom six. Sure. We have 90 million cap space to, to spend. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I just saw how much we had. I'm like, ooh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> so Leo Greer. Uh, and our goalies expiring at the moment. Jonathan Bernier does not want an extension. That's fine. We can release him. We'll look for new friends with goaltending in that. Don't think we'll do Bedard just yet. Um, oh, I'm on 
Ancient Sign, that's why. All expiring. Uh, let's advance a day, just for a minute. Spearson doesn't want to be here, okay. Slightly more than Aruso. I'll pass on you. Sky, I will pass. Okay. Um, right wings. Nobody. Left wings. The highest you can get for two way. And gear. Yeah, well, so I guess. Uh, center. Yes, to you. Uh, no to you. And I'll pass on you. Okay. Alright, I guess this other guy will be going then. <laughs> Alright. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Alright. So now we can do free agency here. Which will be interesting. Uh, let's first of all look at coaching in that. Because we need a bunch of them. Alright. Let's see here. How good does this guy's fit? 52. Alright, yeah. I'll take this top coach here. Give him all the money. <laughs> all right. Give him all the cash. <laughs> catch. So is there not? No, I have it off so it doesn't matter very much for, for that. So it doesn't really matter. It, the only cap space that matters is the players. So I, I can just spend as much as I want with uh, coaching and uh, and uh, what is it? Um, uh, scouts. Alright. Cool. All right. Um, oh, maybe I have to put the other guy back to uh, the other one. Home. Let's see. Where's coaching staff? Unless he'll get moved into into associate. Uh, let's put him here. There we go. Okay. Do that real quickly, just in case. Um, where was that again? Higher staff. Here we go. Let's take a look at the scouts real quickly, see what we got. Hire scouts. Um, QMHL, yes sir, we'll take you. OHL, yes sir. We'll take you. We'll take that WHL one as well. Um, we'll take that Nordic.
Europe. I think I'll take that US one as well. If I had the space for it, I'll take it. Alright. Those will be our scouts that will sign here. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. I gotta get uh, my AHL staff right. I forgot about that. I kind of cleaned house there. Um, AHL head coach. You want forwards. the best one. Perfect, this guy. Okay. Um associate coach. guy. Perfect. Um, assistant coach. Is uh, assistant, yes, yes, okay. Since he'll fit the scheme. Alright, and then we need a goalie coach. If those exist, they sh it should be like its own thing. I don't know why we have to like look for it. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. His name's Flurry. Maybe he's the father of Mark Andre Flurry. All right, there we go. All right, so now we get to spend a lot of cap here, or a lot of money here, which is great. We have uh, ninety. We have forty-two million in cap space here. Ooh, DeBrink gets there. Goudreau's there. <laughs> so they only signed Goudreau for a year. Time to buy a team. Yep, basically. I just I just need to see what we need first here. Hold on. Let me just look what we got here on this main roster. Okay, so center, we have Hughes, we have McLeod, this guy and this guy. I'm not sure if we'll play Bedard yet this season. That's what I'm trying to decide if we will or not. Uh, we could use a left wing, maybe. Right wing. We could do better on, maybe. Defense for sure. I know we need a goalie. Yeah, we'll buy some goalies here. We definitely need goaltending. So let's look for that real quickly. Tristan Jari, eh? Ooh. This guy's actually available. Interesting. Ilya Samsonov. Frederick Anderson. Tristan Jari. I think I might take Samson off, honestly. Oh, it's an offer sheet? Shit. Okay, no, I can't do that one. Um, Jari, maybe? Yeah, we'll go with Trist Tristan Jari. Do that. See if he takes it. As for backup, I 
Nico Koskinen. Oh boy. Hey, there's another Goudreau. <laughs> Benjamin Goudreau, but he's not that great though. Jake Allen. Ooh, Brassois is actually here. Yeah, I'll take Brassois as a backup. For a year? That's not bad. Alright, defense. What do we got? Who's here? Merkley. Ryan Merkley's here. Okay. Yandel. Servinson, which we couldn't sign him, unfortunately. Giordano's still playing, eh? Crazy. Current, current act, excuse me, that's what I mean to say. Get that. Aw, oh, damn it, it's an offer sheet one. Damn it. It's always those offer sheets, man. They get you every time. And Duncan Keith, no. Eric Johnson, no. Orlov. No. Definitely don't want to touch Bristol Line, and that's for sure. That's one you stay away from. Nothing in full meter, unfortunately, which kind of doesn't help me here. Oh, Jake Gardner. There we go. Here's one. That could help out. I'll take Jake Gardner. The Brinket. Tarasenko. No. I'll be right back with Give me one second. I need to decide on this too. So I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay. Um, let's see. Is nobody is, is there nobody that fits my scheme? That's crazy. Evgeny Dadanov. Let's go. There's a guy. There's a guy that wants to play for us for a season. That would be kind of decent. Dustin Brown.
Michael Bunting, Jason Zucker, David Perron, Killerone, Druin, no. Magna Japani, Jane VR, Tatar, <laughs> he's still kicking. Mason Marchment. Uh, if only I knew for sure. does not. Jonathan Taze does not. Alexander Kerfoot does not. Barbashev does not. McCann. All line forwards. Interesting. Okay. Stashny. No. No data. Frost. Morgan Frost. He's a low elite at 24. Pick him up if we can. Nobody's interested in him, so I'm taking. I'm gonna sign him. Janmark Boyd. No Sturm. No. Jurgensen's, Spetsa, no. Sunquist, no. Lindenning, nope. Bozak, no. Let's bring Gujo here. Billy is interested in him, of course they are. It's a 90 overall, holy smokes. <laughs> of course Philadelphia is interest, interested in Goudreau. <laughs> I'm not surprised on that. Alright. It's in a few days here. Nice, we have a new head coach here. In the HL. All right. Yeah. All right. Six and Paton for a fifth. <laughs> the legend of Nick Paton grows. Everyone wants him. All right. Fourth, fifth, and all these guys from Nick Paton. All right. If I decide to reject your offer, my goal is... I don't think this team's petition. Okay. Morgan Frost. Nice, we got him. The Danov rejected it. For Swa. Accepted. Okay. Damn it, Seattle picked up fucking Gujro. Dang it. I want to be part of a locker room that has a few issues and good team chemistry. Sally, that's something I can't say about your team right now. Damn. And tr damn it, and Tristan Jari went there. Damn, that sucks. Unfortunate. We tried. Dang, a second round pick for Nick Baton this year, hey? Sure. I'll take a second for Nick Baton. Shoot. Okay, I gotta find another goalie then. Let's see who's available for under goaltenders. Jack Campbell. Come on down, buddy. You know what? I'll give you five mil for a year. We have our backup. Just need, just need the, uh, the starter now.
crystal line and feels bad, dude. He's the only one that fits my scheme. Oop. According to this, but it might be outdated now since this is a different coach. Hmm. I wonder if something here. Let's, let's talk to San Jose for a minute. actually not a bad trade. I'm actually going to do that. I'll take Merkley off your hands. And then I'll sign him. Alright. A few contracts. Okay. Uh, unsigned. Or all expiring. Where is he? There he is. Perfect. How much? Do that. Perfect. See if he takes that. That will boost our uh, our defense, basically. Another thing I want I want to check real quickly. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got to see. No, no trades found. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> the one time I had the opportunity was at the start, and that 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 ship has sailed, unfortunately. something great <laughs> if you sign with us. I guess I'll take risk the line and even I don't want to. I de definitely need the fence. If, if Ristaline doesn't take my offer. Um, let's see. What else do we need? Could use a left wing, maybe. Let's see who's there on the left wing. Mon Japone. Bring him on here. See if he uh, comes aboard. <laughs> He'd be a good ad. That's a 
advance a few days here. Yep, Manjapane is uh, <laughs> is here. I think I can do a lot of a team that's destined for a good run in the playoffs. You think I'm going to get destined? That's pretty great. And Rissa Lion says, nah. Okay, good. Orlov said nah as well. Okay, Valamaki said nah. All right. <laughs> Dang, we're having a rough time finding defense. Nobody wants to sign here that's a defenseman. <laughs> Merkley maybe might. to go to Jersey. No, they don't. Oh, did Jack Campbell sign with me? Uh, Merkley signed, all right. Yeah, there we go, Jack Campbell signed. Okay, so we got our starter for a little bit, for, for a year. We got Merkley and Smith. We could, use, we could definitely need some defense, that's for sure. Right, we'll have a bounce back here. This here too, that'll be huge if he does. Left wing, Brat, Manjapane, Wood, Foot. Okay, that's pretty good. Center. Maybe let's find a center. Let's see if anyone's center is around. But I don't want to bring up Bedard yet. I don't want to rush him yet. available. O'Reilly is there, but I don't think he fits my team. It doesn't say, at least. Or somebody for defense as well, I'm thinking. And I'll try Gardner again, I guess. Maybe I just give him a little bit more. Since I have cap. in here with Giordano. Give him a 5 mil contract for this year. So I need defense in this team because I don't really have much of it. Uh, Gardner signed, okay. Robin Salas reject because of, uh, yeah, that's fine. Islanders picked them. I didn't think they would. Uh, oh, Islanders have decided to match, decided that they are not willing to match. Oh, oh, okay, so I did get him. Cool. I did get him then. Robin Salo then, okay. Giordano is on here now. Cool. Okay. So we've got a few players here. Let's see what we need here now. Okay. I have 20 million cap space. Uh... 
I don't know if we'll take that, but we'll see. <laughs> Adam Ernie. It's like parchment, actually. The cheap little guy. Dustin Brown, sure, why not? He fits the system, so why not? Just br bring him in. Uh, Marchment came in, nice. And Brown came in, nice. And then Boquist also, wow, he actually took that. That's crazy. Okay, that was actually a very cheap contract for a year for him to take. Okay, welcome back, um, Zeppel. Okay. Let's see if there's any other last defenseman, like a cheap one, or whatever. Fits the system. Which I don't know if there are, but we'll see. Nothing. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it does not look like it. Yeah, it looks something, that's for sure. I don't know how well it's gonna go, but we'll see. Basically just spending a year not using a Bredar, because I'm gonna let him develop a bit. Not gonna call him up so soon. Even though he probably could come up, but I'd rather just wait a year. Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone for defense. We'll just have to use a rookie or something, I think. Okay. I think we'll stim to the next season. I think, and only thing for this year is that we don't have a first rounder, so we have to keep that in mind. All right, set captains. Jack Hughes is the captain. You know what? I'm fine with that. Uh, Mercer will not be an A. We'll give Jur down an A. I think we'll do that. <laughs> Looks like Jack Hughes is the captain right now. Ooh, we got some good chem here. Actually, need a right jump down to a seventy five. Yikes, <laughs> you had a uh, not the best of years there. Top player, he's not the best here. Maybe it'll fix itself eventually here. Uh, goalies. Yeah. Okay. Uh, special teams. 
Well, hey, at least now we don't have minuses on our power play anymore. <laughs> That's a positive. <laughs> we actually have not negatives anymore, so that's a good sign. Our penalty kill is pretty good, so that's good. It's good to see. Only negative is that our second... Our four-man power play is not the best there. Oh, well. It is what it is. We'll see how it goes. I don't expect much this season. But we'll see what happens. Uh, anywho. Uh, let's, uh... Sim to the first day of the season here. Giordano in a fifth for a second. For this year and Fabry. Interesting. Uh, no. Not yet. Need a writer uh, for fifth and a sixth for Montreal's third round pick. Interesting. So now teams want them. You know, I, I demand to be traded. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> I guess you can leave then. I guess. <laughs> we could probably get something kind of good right now because it's the start of the year still. Maybe we will do that then. Hold on. Hold on a second then. Maybe we will trade you then if that if that's the case. Um, fine trade for Nito Nito Rider. Jerk, yeah, basically. Uh, what was he? Was he a right wing? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, F Gamble. Uh, N Burke. What did what what pick was it that Montreal wanted? Did they, was it a third they wanted originally? Yeah, I can't tank this year unless we somehow are able to get another first round pick. So. I, I, I think it was a third they asked, right? They, that's what they were proposing it before. Pretty sure that's what they asked. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Okay, uh. Need a writer, yep. Yeah. They were. They, I think they said they were gonna give me a third for it. I'll wait, I'll give it a I'll give it a few days. We'll see if the, anyone takes wants them. I'll take the best offer that I see. Anyway, he's very happy. Huh? <laughs> um, sir, I I didn't trade you, but yeah, you're welcome. I guess. Well, you kept your word. Yeah, you're welcome. I didn't even trade you, but yeah, sure, you're welcome. Whatever you say. <laughs> sure. <laughs> whatever you say. <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> I think he's drunk. Alright. Kind of okay. Alright, so it's time for the first game of the 2023-2024 regular season. Next day, I want to trade. Yep. <laughs> and then I'll be like, okay. And then I don't trade him. Thanks for trading me. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, anyways, here we go. Let's see how the first game of the season goes here. And, alright. So far, so good. <laughs> Returns with some popcorn. Nice. Enjoy your popcorn. Uh, they score there. On Jack Campbell. Then Giordano scores. Okay, five and four. And uh, Brat scores. All right. <laughs> Brat being the best. And Marchman scores, making it 4-1. All right. 
<laughs> I've seen this one before. This is how the season started last time. March mint scores. <laughs> Making it 5-1. Sean Couturier scores on the power play. Making it 5-2. <laughs> All right. Oh, and then Brat got a hat trick. Is that a hat trick for him? I think it is. It sure is. Dang, Brat with a hattie right there. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Third period. All right. And Drew scores. Oh, he's still in Philly, eh? <laughs> he's still on the Flyers. And then Mercer scores, making it seven to three. Poor Carter Hart. Let me just say. <laughs> You hate to see it. Well, unless you hate the Flyers, and never mind. Uh, McLeod scores, and then Brat with a four-goal game. Jesus, <laughs> this guy's gonna win the freaking Art Ross. <laughs> All right, four goals for him in the first game of the season. Absolutely unreal. <laughs> All right, he had five. He had six points. Jesus, if you had Brat in your fantasy team in this, if this was real, you had a week. Let me tell you. <laughs> All right. That's actually unreal. All right, so we win our first game of the regular season here. So that's good to see. So let's sim up to the 1st of January here and see how this is going to go. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, fourth and fourth for Athen to see you. Does he fit my scheme? Uh, no, he doesn't. So I'm going to pass on Athen to see you. Bruh. Oh, man. We're 6-1 and one to start the year. How about that? <laughs> All right. Uh, no, I don't need that. Okay. Gardner, fourth and sixth for a second and a third. Nope. I'm good. Uh, Gardner in a second and a sixth. Nope. Uh, fourth, fifth for Athens to see you. Nope. Uh, Evan Bar Barat is getting placed on waivers. Barat. Uh, second line forward. Ooh, interesting. Maybe we'll claim him because he fits. Alright. Uh, Derek Stefan is on waivers. Uh, no, I'm going to decline that. Well, this is going pretty well so far, I will say. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for how I'm playing out there. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm just going to persuade you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. 5-1, nice. An overtime win, nice. Loss of the Golden Knights. Beat the Kings, loss of the Flames. Beat the Blues. Beat the Habs, nice. Uh, six and a seventh for a six and Armia. Isn't Armia pretty decent? Let's see. Uh, Joel Armia. Ooh, yeah, he is actually. I'll take that actually, yeah. It's not a bad. He actually fits our system pretty well. All right. Five, two, nice. 3 nothing. Look at that. Look at that chat. <laughs> so we had the worst season last year, but now we're 23 10 and 3 to start the to start this year and we're in first in the division by 10. Holy moly. We 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 rebounded pretty nice. And this is without Connor Bernard at the moment too, which is pretty great. <laughs> Much better season to start here. And Jack Hughes with 40 points, baby. That's what you like to see right there. Jack Hughes with 40 points, 14 goals, 26 assists, and he's a plus 13. Brat with 16 goals, 21 assists. Uh, Frost, who we just randomly picked up, is at 32 points. He's all, he's 24, he's a low elite. We, this guy was just available, so we took him and we signed him and it was worth it. Merkley's been worth the signing too. And I'll say 5 goals, 26 assists. Mercer at 30 points. Holtz at 23 points. Uh, Manjapane at 21 points. Uh, this guy for 15. Did I let go of Nico? Yeah, I had to in order to get um, Bernard. I had to. I had to get rid of him and uh, Blackwood. One, they had to go, in or unfortunately, in order to get uh, uh, Bernard. 
Uh, Gardner at 13 points, Marchman at 13 points, McLeod at 13, Dustin Brown at 11 points, Giordano at 8 points. Well, I mean, I'm not asking too much out of him. Niederreiter at 8 points. Is he at, he's at 81 overall. All right. Mackenzie, uh, or, no, no, Miles Woods, excuse me, at 8 points. Ty Smith at 7 points. Ooh, minus 12. Yikes. Uh, Foot at 5 points. Sallow at 5 points. And Col Colton White at 1 point. This guy at 1 point. And Ball at 1 point. All right. How's uh, our goaltending doing? Uh, Jack Campbell is at a th nice little save percentage right there. Very nice. Brissois not having the best of years, so maybe we can look for a better backup, maybe. So yeah, but Jack Campbell's doing pretty good work behind the goalkeeping net. That's pretty good to see. Jack Campbell, baby. Campbell Soup is absolutely doing pretty well right now. <laughs> Alright, so, so far so good, I will say. Uh, and we'll send up to before the trade deadline. We're not going to do anything just yet. 6-3 um, win against the Sabres. 5-2 loss. A sh overtime loss there. A shootout win. And a loss there. Gardner, a fifth and a sixth for Fa uh, Faxa. And a third for next year. Let's see here. Faxa. Uh, nah, I'm good actually. All right. Uh, lot back to back losses here. All right, there we go. Got, got a win right there. Uh, loss to the Pains. Loss of the Rangers. All right, Giordano to fifth for the Oilers is second for next year. A third and Ryan Johansson. Hey, is, would he fit us though? Oh, he's only. Oh no, thanks. I, uh, no, I'm good. I, I forgot. I, I thought he was still kind of decent. No, he's not. <laughs> Penguins fired their coach. All right. 5-1 for us there. 5-2 loss there. Ooh, we're going on a bit of a losing streak here. Alright, Jeer down in a fourth for a second and a fourth. We lost again here. Oh boy. <laughs> Something's not working at the moment. Alright, fourth and a sixth for Dallas and for Jamie Ben. He doesn't fit us, unfortunately. If he fit us, that'd be a pretty good little player to have. Two nothing loss. Uh, Golden Knights fire their coach. Back to back wins there. Okay. Win, win, nice. And a loss. Okay, so we're 34, 23, and four, leading the, the Metropolitan Division at the moment. So that's pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah. Are we the best team in the league? No, we're actually not though. That's that's the Maple Leafs <laughs> at 92 points. Good God. Uh, but we are leading the division in which mat which which that matters basically. So yeah, so let's take a look at point wise here. Jack Hughes is uh, leading the team with 57 points. Uh, Brat at 54 points. Frost at 54 points. Man, this was a hell of a pickup right here. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I picked him up for how for how many years did I get him for? What's his contract? Uh, two years at 2.3 mil. Nice, that's pretty huge. Merkley at 48 points, which is nice. Uh, Manjapani at 43 points. Uh, Mercer at 41. Holtz at 34. Uh, 28 for this guy. Marchman at 28. McLeod at 22. Brown at 22. Niederreiter at 18. Wood at 17. Gardner at 16. Giordano at 15. Sal at 13. Smith at 13. Foot at 10. This guy at 6. Ball at 3. White with 1 point. Okay. And, uh, Goaltending here. Uh, Jack Campbell at a 9-1-1 save percentage here. 30 wins, 18 losses, 3 overtime losses, and 3 shutouts. Brissois, no, not doing the, the best. I think we're going to try to upgrade our backup position. Our backup's not really get, cutting, it out, cutting it out right now, unfortunately. So I think we're going to trade for a backup here, I think. We're going to be a conservative buyer, but we'll see what's available when it comes to uh, goaltending for free agency and that. Sebastian Ajo is the top there, Kopitar, Pavelski, Hurdle, uh, Dolvine, and Pelik. Okay. Uh, Tyler Parsons, hey? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. That is, a, that is an interesting one right there. What's his, uh, hold on. What is his, uh, contract at? Oh, five mil. Okay, that's a lot. Um, I mean, not for me right now, but could be. Um, let's see. I like to fully is available, hey. What is do, do you fit my stuff? You do actually. 
would the Rangers like to make a trade with the with the with the Devils for Tyler Toffoli? He would be a good add. He fits our team. He's injured at the moment. But let's see if they're willing to do something. Uh, Sallow, Clark, and Koken and Forum. Or Gardner, Clark, Wood. Ball, Bullquist, Sallow. See this here. Seventy nine, okay. Mm, yeah, you know what? I'll do that. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. Tyler Tofoley is now a New Jersey devil. And uh that even that adds on to our uh our right wing position now. It's pretty pretty good actually. <laughs> um, let's look for a goaltender here. That's on. Uh, that's a uh, what's him to call it? A uh, backup here. So we could definitely use something a little better, I think. Braden Holtby. What if we do this? Uh, we won't trade any of these guys. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll trade Cook, but then, or, do I need to do that? No, maybe I do. What if we, okay, hold up. What if we, um, this log gets me a third. Chris Weidman, is that who that is? Gonna pass on that. How's Bedard doing? 29.44. Hell yeah, baby. You have to see that. Flash for maybe a defenseman. Maybe that's what we need. Also, that's available at least. Is Owen Power in here? No, he's not. Interesting. Uh, I guess he's a college player. That's why. of his salary for that. Nice. Upgraded our defense there. All in time, yep. It's <laughs> like an 80 overall defenseman somewhere. us though. I pretty much, I think I checked that. Yeah, I did. Oh, he's 
got three years left. Ugh. If it was if it was a rent if it was a one year, I'd, I'd do that as a rental for that guy. But he has too much cap. Our, our years left. Toronto's not going to make any trades. <laughs> Hughes for Hughes. <laughs> that ain't happening. Sorry. Oh, second, second for Nishkinen. Uh, uh, fourth and a... Okay, who is all these players here? Hold on. Ooh, okay. Why not? I'll take it. I like the I like that one player there, that right, that winger. Then maybe it can lead to something else here. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, oh wow, Detroit picked up a Fedorov. That's funny. <laughs> Rider. 
just cuz I already I upgraded my left wing position. See if there's a a goalie here. That's backup potential that can be pretty good. Dang, Spencer Knight got is pretty high up there overall wise. Kudobin, nah. Where's Leakins? Uh no. Chicago? No. Ooh, Ranta. He's not been that great. Calgary. Austin Wolf. Austin. Arizona. Anaheim. No. Might just have to stick with what we got for that. I think. Go twenty percent. No, okay. How about ten per oh, eleven percent? No, oh, it's because it's two years left. I see that's understandable. Actually, no, I won't do that trade then. That made a little more sense. Why? <laughs> I think I am good <laughs> when it comes to doing anything here. I did a lot here at this uh, trade deadline. Since we don't really have the first or anything like that, might as well just try to go for a run here. Since our team looks like it's good to do so. So. That's what, what I will do. wait for this deadline to end here <laughs> and then we'll uh we'll, we'll go over every trade that happened in this deadline here <laughs> and the th funny thing is we still have so much cap space it's unbelievable <laughs> we have so much cap space so even after this season, we can just uh, uh, 
uh, decide who we keep and not again. <laughs> This was a smart plan <laughs> after la after the season before this, where we ha we kind of were so bad that we just sold off and then we just drafted and then we kind of just bought the team again there. It was a pretty smart strategy, I think. Alright, so let's take a look here. So Calgary acquired a third, a third, and Brendan Lemieux from St. Louis for a Sunquist, uh, Dustin Wolf, and a sixth round pick. They trade Wolf, hey? I don't know what Calgary's doing. Feels bad, dude. Um, the Kings acquire second and Antoine Roy from Ottawa for Victor Arvidsson. Ooh, that's a nice pick. Uh, New Jersey acquires Matt Waugh from L Los Angeles for a fourth and a sixth. Uh, a fourth and sixth for this year, I think. Uh, Ottawa acquires Kasperi Kapanen and a fifth from Pittsburgh for a second round, uh, two second round picks. One for this year, next year, and then uh, Mand Mandelis, I think, yeah. Uh, Nashville acquires Barbanov and a third and a fifth from San Jose for a second round pick and a fourth round pick. Uh, Vegas acquires Danton Heinen and a fifth from Pittsburgh for a second round pick. Uh, Montreal acquires Nick Letty and Jan Ruda from the Kings for Noah Olslin and Riley Kidney. Uh, the Rangers acquire Lars Eller, a six or two six round picks, one for this year and one for next year. Um, from the Penguins for a uh, 2025 uh, second and a 2024 uh, third round pick. Uh, Detroit acquires Dmitry Olorov from Ottawa for a second round pick and Robbie Faberi, who uh, Detroit was trying to trade me for me for a while. Uh, we acquired uh, Ru Rudolph's Balkers from San Jose for Nino Nino Ryder and a sixth round pick. Uh, San Jose gets uh, Henry Mc McKinnon and uh, Mazin Le Leslie. Uh, and the Canadians get Scott Reedy and Brett Burns. Okay, <laughs> so Brett Burns is no longer a shark. Uh, the Wild they get Josh Bailey, Alex Edler, and a fourth round pick from the Islanders for Jared Sp Spurgeon. That's I don't know about that. And a seventh round pick. Okay, Minnie, whatever you're whatever you're thinking. Uh, Florida acquires a third round pick, Richard Ponick, and two others from the Islanders for Qu uh, Quinton Musty and a third round. Uh, we also acquired uh, Valerie Nishkinen and Jacob Zaborley and two others from Pittsburgh uh, for a second round pick or two, a second round pick next year and for this year. Uh, one of them was Minnesota's, by the way. Um, Calgary acquires uh, a third and Garnet Hathaway. So Hathaway's back as, with the Flames for J Jeremy Poirier and Vincent Savigny. All right. Kings acquire a 2025th. Uh, second round pick and a 2024 third round pick from Boston for Philip Deneau, Athen the CU, and a 2025 uh, seventh round pick. Dang, that's a that's a pretty loaded trade. Minnesota acquires Joe Pavelski from the Penguins for Carson Lambos and a fifth round pick that was originally Minnes or um, uh, wait a fifth round pick mini from Min. Okay, okay. Uh, we also acquired Brady Skedgy from Carolina for a second round pick so that we upgrade our defense there. The Islanders pick up a 2025 third round pick for L. Reichel and a 2024 third round pick for uh, Anthony Beauvillier and Martin Ferg. Oh, interesting. You're tra trading Beauvillier away? That's crazy. Boston acquires Kerfoot and a third for. Oh, and, and Donskoy from Ottawa for uh, Swayman, a second round pick, and some prospect, I guess it looks like. Carolina acquires Graham Sword and Jan Masek, Masek from Montreal for Brett Peace, Pe Pe Pesky. Wow, okay. Montreal gotten some good stuff here. Uh, San Jose acquires a second round pick and Ryan Suzuki from Buffalo for LeBanc, uh, Deline, and Weatherby. Weatherby. Okay. Uh, we also acquired Tyler Toffoli from the, from the Rangers for uh, Kokkinen, Salo, and Clark. Uh, Detroit gets Tiro Tirovinen and uh, Jordan Martinuk. Uh, from the Hurricanes for the goalie that they refused to sign. <laughs> and uh, Jared Maxlack. So if you remember, these two teams traded that goalie there that Carolina just got. Because Carolina didn't want to re-sign him for the money. And so they trade. So Detroit ended up trading him to sign him and using him. And now here in this thing, we have Detroit trading the goalie back to that team. So it's, so Caroline's like, okay, yeah, you, you guys, you guys uh, signed them to a contract. We, we'll, 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 we'll gladly take that off your hands. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Dallas acquires Adam Pelk and a third round pick for uh, uh, for the Islanders for a second round pick 
or two second round picks and two others from Dallas. And the Predators get Brunstrom and Vidic and a second round from Minnesota for Eli Tolovin and uh, Carson Soisey. All right, so here we go. That was that. So let's take a look at our lineup for a second here. All right. Uh, yeah, we got we got some pretty good chem right here, it looks like. So that's good. And uh, our full team's not really there yet because we have some injuries at the moment. Uh, scratch like Toffoli, Gardner, and stuff like that. But we picked up some uh, some good stuff right there. Defense. Um, yeah, this could be a bit better here. Let's see. Uh, I guess it's, it'll have to do for the time being. I think. Somehow it's doing okay, so it, it, it is what it is. Special teams. Are, we actually got a plus one on our on our power play now. That's great. Um, all right. Penalty kill. Yeah, penalty kill still good. Three man PK. Um, I'll actually move you up here because uh, it makes it better. I'd say. All right. Not bad. Not bad. We'll see how our team looks like when we actually have a, a full roster and such. So that'll be interesting. All right, how's our HL team doing? Uh, 41, 18, and two. Nice. <laughs> All right, pretty good. Is the answer on that? All right. So anyway, let's uh, sim all the way after, uh, past the end of the season here, and we'll see what happens. We lose, and we win. Okay. We win, all right. Lost that, lost that. So back-to-back -back losses, an overtime loss, uh, a win, an overtime win, nice. A win, a shootout loss, a loss, a win, a loss, uh, a win, nice. A win, nice. And we have clinched the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. All right. And it looks like we won the division as well. Nice, we won the division. We had a 101 point season. Our record was 47, 28, and 7, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. We actually uh, are back. We made it into the postseason, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just like that. It took three years. I've done something. I done something in three years that the Devils couldn't do. <laughs> with with in, in how many years? That's pretty crazy. All right. Let's take a look at our roster here. Ooh, okay, hold on. Let's uh, fix that around here. Yeah, uh, it's okay. Tyler Toffoli's up there. Dang, look at that. He fits on the top line. <laughs> Very nice. That's quite the team we got over here. Actually, holy smokes. <laughs> Nine? That's crazy. <laughs> All right. Uh, scratch up the moment. Man, Japane is injured at the moment, but how long is he out for? Does it tell me here? I'll have to look at that. Campbell's... Oh, no, shit. Our, our starting goaltenders are... Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's not great. All right, hold on. Let me just see here. Man, Japane uh, is out till the 22nd, so pretty soon he'll be back. Uh, Campbell's out for a while. Oof, that's not good. So we, we are battling with some injuries heading into the playoffs, so that's not the best. <laughs> not the greatest, but it is what it is. Um, and our AHL team, I think, made the playoffs. They were the best team in the, in the AHL, or at least in their division. Let's see here, hold on. Were they the best team in the league? Oh, no, they weren't. They were the third best team, though. So, they were good, just not the best team. Good to see. All right, man today, man today. All right, the regular season has come to an end here. AHL season has come to an end here, and in the first round, we're going up against the Detroit Red Wings, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. All right, so let's take a look at the playoffs here. Um, oh, actually, first off, let's take a look at our points that we ended with here. So Jack Hughes with 79 points, ladies and gentlemen. 79 points. That's a career high for him. 29 goals, 50 assists. You love to see it. And then Brat with 68. Merkley at 68. Frost with 62. All right. Mercer at 54. Manchapani at 53. So that's cool. Uh, Toffoli at 49. How many how many goals did he points did he get when uh, since coming here? Uh, 17 points. Five, five goals, 12 assists. Not bad. Not bad, Toffoli. Uh, Nishkin at 40, uh, 48. 
Uh, Holtz at 45. Uh, this guy at 40. Marchman at 38. McLeod at 28. Brown at 27. Wood at 26. Gardner at 20. Jeer down at 20. Ty Smith at 17. Skedgy at 14. How many points did he have since Kevin here? Uh, three points. Okay. That's all right, because he's more based on a two-way defender. Uh, Foot at 10 points. Uh, Wah. Matt Wah had a point since coming here. Okay, and he's been a minus one. All right. Uh, and then let's take a look at the goalies here. Campbell with a 38, 21, 4, 6. 6 shots from Holy Smokes. 9, 1, 1 save percentage. Brissois, not the best. And then Dawes has come in. He's played two games and won once. So that's pretty good. At a 9, 18, so... So we could either get burned really badly because our goalie is injured, or I don't know. We'll see what happens exactly. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at the playoff tree right here. The rematch in the 95 Cup playoffs. Yep. In the West, it's the Blackhawks and the Jets, the Avalanche and the Sharks, the Canucks and the Kraken. That sounds pretty awesome, actually. Uh, Oilers and the Blues. Uh, in the East, it's the Capitals, Islanders, the Devils and the Red Wings. The Habs and the and the Lightning, and then the Battle of Ontario. Pretty cool. Uh, in the AHL, uh, this is what we're looking at right here. And we're playing uh, Montreal's affiliate team currently. So, that's that. So, there we go. So, uh, let's take a look at what we're meeting up here against this Detroit Red Wings team. I saw they were a little bit busy during the, uh, the trade deadline here as well. So, let's see what they... Uh, are all about here. So let's take a look here. So they got Teravine and Kadri and Peron. Kadri is their number one center. Interesting. And then they got Victor Fedorov. Uh, they got Darren Larkin. They got Lucas Raymond. Uh, Jacob Rannon. Uh, Joel Vel Velino. Uh, Jason Zucker. Philip Zadina. Jonathan Taze. And Trevor Moore. Interesting. That's, that's an interesting team right there. On defense, they got Dmitry Orlov, they got Philip Hronik, they got uh, Sider, uh, they got John Klingberg, ooh, Evanson, and fucking P.K. Subban, dude. Oh, man, look at that. And in goal, they got Kosa and Marc-Andre Fleury. This could be a tough one. <laughs> this could be a tough matchup, but we'll see what happens. It has to, it, it, our goalie has to stand on his head, though. That's the thing, which we don't have our starting goaltender right now. He's kind of injured right now. Which is unfortunate, so we have to see what happens here exactly. So, yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, it is time for the first game of the playoffs. So, game one of the uh, first round, we have home ice advantage in the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's see how game one of this series is going to go here. So, here we go, game one here, and uh, they score in the first shot. That's great. <laughs> And then they score on two shots. Well, this is going to be great. Uh, oh, we, we got we the lead to one there. All right, there we go. All right, power play for the Devils right there. They have a long power play. They don't convert on any of it, though. All right. Uh, five, five minutes left to go here in the first period here. Uh, it's it's a one-goal game. We're, we got a lot of shots. Uh, and we tie it late. Nice. McLeod coming in here. All right. And it's 2-2 two -two after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 11-7 for the Devils. Uh, goals from Raymond and Moore for the Red Wings, and then Nishkinen and McLeod for the New Jersey Devils. All right, second period here. Uh, here in game one here. Let's see how this one's going to go. And Marchment scores. We have come back from a 2-0 deficit to take the lead. But then Lucas Raymond comes in and ties it. And then Dustin Brown comes in and scores to make it a one-goal lead again for the Devils here. Power play for the Red Wings here. And the power play for the Devils. And Jonathan Tay scores a shorty. Feels bad, dude. <laughs> Alright, so it's 4-4. Alright, so it's 4-4 after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 22-18 to for the Devils. And we have goals from Marchman and Brown. And they have one from Raymond and Taze. So there you go. Third period here in game one of this series here. And Orlov scores. Damn it. Uh, Brissois, my dude. <laughs> he sucks so bad. I wish Campbell was playing. And Lucas Raymond will score, giving them a two-goal lead here. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I think if we're going to lose the series, it's going to be because goaltending. We, we don't have our starter right now. Our starter is injured right now. And Dylan Larkin scores, and that makes it 7-4. to four. And, uh, yeah, that's all she's going to wrote there. And, no, sorry, 8-4, to four, actually. So, that's unfortunate right there. 8-4 final in game number one here. Three stars of the game were Raymond, Larkin, and Taze. 
Oh boy, that Detroit Red Wings team looks kind of scary, actually, now that I look at it. So, Marchment, Markley, or Merkley, and Brown all with two points, and then Skeji, Nishkinen, Saraguchvich, I don't know, uh, Holtz and Smith and McLeod all with a point. Everybody else was dead silent in that game. Not much to be seen there, unfortunately, which I hate to say it. <laughs> That's not a good sign if your top people are not producing at the moment. Um, let me just uh, see here for a second here. Um, and it lines here. Because, yeah, this is also Jack Hughes' first playoff series, too. He's never been in the playoffs before as well. So he's still here. That's good. Um, scratched here. Uh, oh, this guy's now hurt, too. Oof, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate right there. That is unfortunate. You don't like seeing that, unfortunately. Uh, let me just see something here. Uh, unsigned at the moment. Bedard's at 79 at the moment. He's got... I don't know how many points. <laughs> but it's probably good. But yeah. But anyways, game two in New Jersey. So we need to come back here in this series. Can we do it, though? Let's find out here. We're down. We lost game one. But can we come back in game two? Let's see. First period here in game two of this series here. Uh, power play for the Red Wings right there. They don't convert on it. Uh, but Holtz will score. And it's one nothing for the Devils right there. Very good right there. Alexander Holtz uh, gets the first goal of the game right there. Power play for the Devils right there. Um, long power play, actually. They don't convert, unfortunately. So it's one nothing after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 13-9 to for the Devils as we have a goal from Holtz right there as he gets the first goal of this, of this game here. Game two. Or no, in game two, uh, second period in game two, I should say. All right, so they're catching up on some shots here. And they got a power play here. And Dylan Larkin will score on a very bad angle. Oof, that's not a good angle to let one in, that's for sure. You don't like seeing that. Power play for the Red Wings again here. And it's getting killed off right here. They're getting the shot advantage now. Can we catch up in shots? That's so 1-1 one, one after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 22-20 to 20 for the Red Wings as uh, Dylan Larkin ties it on the power play. Getting one past Brassois here. So, all right, so third period here in game two. Power play for the Devils right there. They do not convert, unfortunately. Uh, power play again for the Devils right here. They do not convert. Ten minutes left to go here. 30 shots now for the, for the Detroit Red Wings right here. Uh, five minutes remaining here in the third period here. And uh, we are going to overtime here in game number two. All right. So let's uh, head into here real quickly here. Um, we're going to do CPU games here. Um, oh, oh, obvious, oh, obviously we have to wear these jerseys, right? Uh, these jerseys here, right? Yeah. This is, this is, we, we, we had a rebranding after I became GM. This is now the, the home jersey. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm joking, actually. I'm actually really joking. Um, yeah, no, we'll go uh, with this here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Remember, po the powers are equivalent of 20 minutes. Yep, pretty much. Um, also, I think I need to switch the um, the camera um, here. Just the one. Yeah, the Red Wings are the better team. It looks like. Look at that offense and defense right there. Overtime. Okay, hold on a second here. I just want to actually um, uh, fix a few things here. Settings um, for the camera and that. Um, audio and visual settings. Uh, camera. I want the. Uh, Bro true broadcast yes okay yeah that's good okay all right all right so here we go it's overtime here in uh, new joy was for game number oh am i playing hold on hold on i didn't realize i was playing give me a second here um how do i how do i switch that settings select sides here we go i didn't realize i was playing I don't, want, I don't want to be playing. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't want to play. <laughs> I didn't realize I, w I was playing. All right, all right. There we go. Okay, okay. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. We're in overtime. And yes, you can see here, these are the new graphics for this game. They look a little bit better this year compared to uh, last year. Because <laughs> it's now on the Frostbite engine and such. Oh, big hit right there. And Bratz got the puck right now. He's going to oh, he's gonna turn over to Terravine. And there's a chance. Oh, Terravine. And oh, big save by... Oh, by... by by Brassois right there. Here comes Tyler Toffoli now. Oh, he loses the puck right there. Toffoli. Um, oh, and then Sider gets it, but he, he holds onto it. And here comes Kadri. Nazem Kadri. 
has the puck here. He's going to skate it. Oh, my goodness. That was a scary one right there. Ty Smith uh, doesn't know what to do with the puck there. He gives it to, to, to Foley. To Foley. Okay. Yeah, Jack Hughes to Brat. Here comes Brat. Here's a shot. Oh, oh, there's a chance right there, but he can. Toffoli has the puck here. He's going to play the Jack Hughes, but then he plays it to the boards there. Uh, Kadri uh, brings it up here. Here come the, the Red Wings now. Cider uh, still has that puck. He is uh, quite the defenseman. <laughs> That's for sure here. Uh, Merkley brings it up to Toffoli. Toffoli getting... <laughs> getting mugged right there and here come the Red Wings uh, Mercer with a turn turns it over there Brat picks up and here's Tyler Toffoli oh what a stop right there Brat comes up with it here Brat looking looking Brat oh what a chance right there with the Red Wings going with the save right there Fedorov's held up on the boards right there Klingberg plays it to, to Lucas Raymond Lucas Raymond coming down the ice here oh and he gets absolutely clobbered right there with a hit <laughs> what a hit right there my goodness, Mercer going to play up to Merkley. Merkley, the defenseman, he stops, though. I don't know why. <laughs> he should have just went. <laughs> but oh, whatever. Anyways, uh, Skedgy gets it to Mishkinen, to Holtz. Here comes Holtz. He's looking. Oh, but he lost it right there. He gets uh, picked off of there. Holtz playing it behind the net. Mishkinen to Mercer. He scores! And Mercer scores. And this one... This series is now tied. We're going back to Detroit <laughs> uh, for game number three. Very nice. And the scoreboard didn't change, unfortunately. It still says 1-1. <laughs> Dawson Mercer with the overtime winner on a backhander. <laughs> what a nice goal right there. New Jersey getting the dub right there. Very nice. Very nice right there. As our backup goaltender has to uh, be the starting goaltender for this series because our other goalie is out for a little while. <laughs> that was a weak goal to let in, unfortunately. I hate to say that. <laughs> I don't mean to be that guy. That's a weak one. Uh, anyways, third star of the game was Dawson Mercer, who had the overtime winner in uh, in this one right here. Nice little goal right there. Went five hole, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Alexander Holtz had a goal and an assist in this game. He was the second star. And uh, the first star of the game was Laurent Brassois with 32 saves on on uh, 33 shots. Absolutely a wall in this game right there. Very nice right there. Brassois holding the fort down <laughs> in this one here. So there we go. As we head now to the, the Little Caesars Arena in Detroit for game three here. As the Blues are up 2-0 in their series. The Toronto's up 2-0 in their series. Uh, Montreal's winning their series. Uh, where I think we're the only series that's tied currently at the moment. Nope, oh, nope. Vancouver, Seattle's tied. Chicago and Winnipeg's tied. Um, and that's it. We're the only series in the East that's currently tied at the moment. Interesting stuff right there. Anyway, so Game 3 in Detroit. The Little Caesars Arena. I think this might be the first series for them in their building, maybe. Unless they've made the playoffs the past couple of seasons, which wouldn't surprise me if they did or not. Which I think they probably have. But uh, anyway, let's simulate the game here. And here we go for Game 3. First period here in Detroit <laughs> and uh, Mercer who had the game winner last game opens the scoring here in game three with it making it one nothing here with a big goal right there very nice and then Kadri will tie it right after that so we have a tie game here in the first period in game uh, three and, and then Zadina scores and then Hughes scores his first National Hockey League playoff goal uh, has tied the game at two heading into the second period. So it's 2-2 after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 14-11 to for the Red Wings as we have goals from Mercer and Hughes for the Devils and then Zadina and Kadri for the Red Wings. All right, second period here as we continue. And Cider scores for the Red Wings, making it 3-2 to early in this second period. Still plenty of time here. We can come back. Your power play for the Devils right here. They do not convert on it, unfortunately. Ten minutes left to go here in the second period here. Can we uh, get a tying goal here to tie it late here in the second? That'd be huge. But it does not appear to be. So it's 3-2 Red Wings after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 23-22 for the Red Wings as the Red Wings got an early one from Cider, uh, giving them the lead. Uh, so there we go. So third period here. Can we have a tie game here? Can we tie here? And no, Velano will score, making it a two-goal lead here for the Red Wings, unfortunately. Yeah, that Red Wings team is the better team in this series, so... If we lose, then I mean, I mean, hey, it is what it is. And Jack Hughes with his second career playoff goal right there. 
Very big. Uh, can we get a tying goal? Can we tie it here? We got one minute left. Can we tie it? No! Terra Vinen will score on the empty netter, and the Red Wings will take game three as they take the lead in the series. Two games to one here. Three stars of the game here. Nazem Kadri with the first star, Jack Hughes with the second, and Terra Vinen with the third star of the game here. All right, so the Devils, let's take a look at what we got here. So Wa and Brat and Hughes all with two points, and Mercer and Nishkin and all with one, and everyone else was kind of silent that game, unfortunately. So it is what it is, unfortunately. So it is what it is. All right, Majapane is back in the lineup, though. So that's we got we got somebody back on the team here, which is pretty big. Majapane is back on this in the lineup here now, which is great to see here. So that's good. That's good. Um, goalies here. Brassois still has to play, unfortunately. He's an 83 overall, so that's not bad. But Campbell's out for a little bit, which is which kind of hurts us a bit. So it is what it is, unfortunately. We just gotta we just gotta play it out, unfortunately. Which I hate to say it, but kind of have to all right so game four in detroit so the red wings were able to get back the lead in the series here but can the devils uh tie it heading back to home ice that would be a huge this is a huge game for us can we do it let's find out if we can tie the series here heading back home so first period here in game four here in detroit detroit having all the shots right now they are definitely the better team like i said overall wise uh so we'll see and yeah and they're better off they're Recent uh, first rounder uh, scores to make it one nothing for them. So there you go. First goal is for the Red Wings right there, and then Gardner scores. Jake Gardner will tie it here for the Devils. Very nice. So it's one one after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 12 to eight for the Red Wings. We have goals from Fedorov for the Red Wings, and then Jake Gardner for the Devils. All right, second period here uh, in Game Four. All right, 15 shots, 17 shots, 18 shots. My goodness, the Red Wings are just getting a lot of shots. We need to get some shots on net here. Power play for the Red Wings right here. We don't, they don't score on a power play for the Devils, and we don't score on that unfortunately. That's unfortunate there. All right, so it's uh, one one after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 25 to 21 for the Red Wings, and we had no buddy scoring here in the second period, so it's still a tie game heading into the third. So here we go, third period here, and uh, Lucas Raymond scores from a very far angle, which is not good. Power play for the Devils here. We don't convert on that, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, Kadri scores, giving him a two-goal lead, and then Brat cuts the lead to one. Do we have one to tie it? Power play for the Devils here. And Snyder scores a shorthanded goal, and then Miles Wood scores, making it 3-4. God damn it, can we tie it at least? Can somebody be a hero and tie it? <sighs> no, unfortunately not. And the Red Wings are up three games to one in this series, unfortunately, as we are on the verge of elimination here in round one, unfortunately. That shorthanded goals are absolutely killing us right now, which is not great. And the three stars of the game were Sider was the first star, Kaji was the second, and then Lucas Raymond was the third star of the game here. Uh, Point-wise for us, Frost with two points, Wood, Merkley, Brat, Gardner, and Hughes all with a point. But unfortunately after that, nothing else was happening there, unfortunately. It is what it is, and it's wild that our defense is not great because our, our, we're getting wrecked on the shorthanded because our defense should be good, but I don't know what's going on there. I, I blame the goalie more because, again, it's our backup it, that's starting in this series. Like I said, if we were to lose the series, it's because our backup is uh, the reason, I'm going to say. So we kind of lost our starter uh, to head into the playoffs, so it is what it is, unfortunately. So can't really do too much about that. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, let me just take a look at the edit lines here for a second here. Uh, let's see here. Some goalies here. Yeah, Brassois still, uh, uh, still there. I think, uh, Campbell's out till May, I believe it said. Let me just see here. Uh, yeah, May 10th. And Ty Smith is now pending evaluation. Oof, so we lost Ty Smith now. Which isn't great, unfortunately. Which is not great. Not great, so... Here we go. So game five in New Jersey. The Devils are on the verge of elimination here. They need to win this one to stay alive in the series. The Red Wings just need one more to basically move on to round two. So let's see what happens here. So game five goes right now. Here we go. First period here as the Devils are getting some shots on here. And we don't get the first goal, unfortunately. Heronic scores to make it one nothing, And it's a, not a good angle again. It's a way out there again, unfortunately. Which, yeah. I had a feeling he was going to let something like that. But then Terra Vinyan scored, they get 2 nothing. So now we're in a bigger hole here in the first period. And it's 2 nothing Red Wings after 
Uh, 20 minutes of play. Shots are 13 to 11 for the Red Wings as they got goals from Hronik and Tara Vinen. All right, second period here. Is there a comeback here? And Cider makes it 3 nothing. And I think this is all she wrote, at least, I think. I don't think it's... I don't think it's happening, but Dustin Brown cuts the lead to two here. Then Bratz go. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'm speaking too soon right here. We have a game here. Power play for the Devils here. Ooh, we have a one goal game here in the second period here. Suddenly, offense for us has shown up there for a moment here. But will it be enough though? So it's three to two Red Wings after or after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 25 to 23 for the Red Wings or for the Devils, excuse me. But the Red Wings have the the goal advantage here. They have a goal from Cider. And we got goals from Dustin Brown and Bratz, so that's that. So third period, do we have a t can we can we uh, come back here? Can we tie it? That would be wonderful. And Tyler Toffoli will tie it. Huge, huge, huge. Tyler Toffoli coming up with a big goal right there. And then Matt, oh Mercer, and then Holtz. Oh, the offensive explosion right here by the Devils here in the third period. That is unbelievable. Ac actual hope here in New Jersey is we're. And then Majapani with the empty netter, and the Devils will survive another day here as they got four uh, four straight goals here in the third period to come back to win it in in game five to, to force a game six. Three stars of the game, Mercer with the first, Brad with the second, and Holtz with the second, or the third star of the game, excuse me. Uh, new, let's take a look at the points here. Mercer, Hughes, Holtz, Brad, and Tafoli, oh no, and Brad all with two points. Tafoli... This guy, Wood, Brown, Nishkinen, Gardner, Manjapani, uh, all with a single point in this one here. So there you go. That was that. All right. As we now head to uh, to game six now. Locker room chemistry went up after that game. I, I believe it. <laughs> all right. So game number six in the Little Caesars Arena in Detroit. So the Devils, again, on the verge of elimination. They need to win the fourth like seventh game. If not, then they are eliminated if the Detroit Red Wings win this one here. So we'll see what will happen here. So here we go. There we go. So first period in game six. And Dustin Brown comes up. And Brown again. Dustin Brown. Dustin Brown with a natural hat trick. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell, dude? Dustin Brown coming in with a natty. In like, like, look how quick that what natty was right there. Holy shit, Dustin Brown. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit, no, Dustin Brown. Dustin Brown with a natural hat. How many, How fast was that? Let's see here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So literally, it took him about 25-second hat trick. That's crazy. <laughs> Holy shit right there. All right, so it's 3 nothing Devils after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 10 to 9 for the, the New Jersey Devils as Dustin Brown has all three goals for the Devils in this first period. And he has a natural hat trick in this game. Unbelievable. All right, second period here as we continue it on here. Uh, power play for the Red Wings right here. And Marchman scores a shorthanded goal for the Devils. Very nice. On Marc-Andre Fleury. I think they switched their goaltender here. Power play for the Devils here. Uh, a long one, but they don't score on it, unfortunately. All right. Two minutes left to go here in the second. And all right. So it's 4 nothing Devils after... Uh, 20 minutes or 40 minutes of play, excuse me. Shots are 19 to 17 for the Devils as we got another goal here by Marchment. It was a shorthanded goal here in the second period. All right, so third period here in game number six here in Detroit. My goodness. <laughs> My goodness. That's all I gotta say. All right, 10 minutes left to go here in this one. All right, five minutes left to go. Four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. And Toffoli scores another one, and it's over. The New Jersey Devils are going to force a seventh game. It was a six-game, sh uh, game six shutout there by Brassois. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable right there. Three stars of the game. Dustin Brown was the first star. Brassois was the second star, and Frost was the uh, the third star of the game there. Very nice uh, New Jersey stats here. So let's take a look here. Frost, Brown all with three points. Wood with two, Toffoli, Marchment, Hughes, Merkley, uh, Gardner, and Brat all with a single point right there. My goodness. The record is 21 seconds by Mil uh, Bill Mazinko for 21 seconds. Dang, we almost broke that record there. <laughs> well, Dustin Brown now holds the second ever quickest uh, 
uh, hat trick in a, in a playoff game or just a game, playoff in general. The current round of the playoffs is over. Uh, okay. Oh, is, that, is that for the AHL? Oh, our AHL team moved on. Nice. Good, good to see. Um, all right. So in the uh, let's take a look here. This is the only Game 7 series in the Eastern Conference. A a Toronto moved on. They swept. Montreal moved on and they swept. Uh, so whoever wins this game is going to face the, the, the Washington Capitals in the next round. Uh, in the West, the uh, the Blues won or beat the Oilers. The Canucks are up three games to two against the Kraken. Uh, the Capitals, or no, excuse me, the, the Avalanche won their series four one against the Sharks, and the Jets are have, are up are won their series four to one against the Blackhawks. We'll see here, and their series is also going to three uh, seven as well. All right, so Game Seven in New Jersey here at the. Prudential Center. All right, and it's a game seven, ladies and gentlemen. The Devils have fought all their way back here in this series to force the seventh game. One team is going to move on to round two. We'll see what happens here. Let's find out here. So first period in game seven here. Power play for the Devils here. They don't get anything on it, unfortunately. Another power play for the Devils right here. Nothing to show for it again. All right, 10 minutes left to go here in the first period. We're getting a lot of shots here. Power play again for the Devils here. We are out shooting them heavily here, but we can't seem to buy one. And then Tyler Toffoli scores the goal right there. Uh, very nice. Our our uh, trade deadline acquisition here comes up big here. So it's one nothing Devils after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 17-5 to for the New Jersey Devils as the only goal comes from the Devils from Tyler Toffoli right there. All right, second period here. As we continue it on here, here we go. And Verana ties the game here. Shit, that's not a good one to let in after we outshot them he heavily there. My guess. And Nishkinen scores. It's 2 1 for the Devils right there. And then Verana scores again, so it's tied. Shit, that's not great. <laughs> that is not great right there. Five minutes left to go. And then Brat scores, making it 3 2 for the Devils. My goodness, this game is going back and forth, back and forth here. So it's 3 2 Devils after. 40 minutes to play. Shots are 26 to 14 for the Devils as we have goals, uh, two goals from Brandon for the Red Wings and then Nishkinen, uh, or Nish Nushiskin, and then Brat score the goals for the Devils here. All right, so third period. Here we go here. The third period here in game seven here. This is going to be an interesting one here. Let's see how this one goes. 10 minutes left to go here in the third period. All right. My goodness. Power play for the Devils. They don't convert. And the New Jersey Devils come back from a 3 to 1 series deficit to to move on to the second round of the playoffs. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. We literally came back from down 3 games to 1 in the series to uh to move on to the second round of the playoffs. My goodness gracious. So three stars of the game, Brat, Tofoli, and Brandon were all the three stars in this one right here. Very nice. Let's take a look at the points right here. Uh, Toffoli, Hughes, and Bratt with two points. Uh, Mercer, Nishkinen, Holtz all with a single point right there. What a comeback in this series, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My goodness gracious. Now, who wins the, the, the Canucks and Kraken series is the question here. Um, it'll be the Kraken. Interesting. All right. So we are now going up against the Washington Capitals, a team that was in our division as well so our team that was in our division basically so this is for the metropolitan championship basically that's what i like to call it, even though it's not a real thing all right so the washington capitals here let's take a look at what we got here so we got a 96 overall alexander ovechkin an 88 overall evgeny kuznetsov a 85 overall tj oshi uh anthony Mont uh, Monta, nicholas backstrom at 87 Hen uh, hendrix le perrier uh Connor Mc McMitchell, uh, Oscar Sunquist, Tom Wilson at 86. Oof. Corey, oh my god. They have Corey Perry and Tom Wilson. Yuck. <laughs> uh, Paul Stashney and then Brett Leeson. Oh boy. All right. Uh, the, and then defense, they have uh, Ryan Suter, John Carlson, Rasmus Ristolainen. That's right. We tried to sign him and he didn't want to go for us. Uh, and then Matthias Ekholm. And then they got Troy Stetcher and also Eric Johnson on defense. My goodness. Their goaltenders are Ilya Samsonov and uh, Martin Jones. Wonderful. <laughs> Excuse you? I, I know what I said. <laughs> I know what I said. Uh, let's take a look at my lines here for a second here just to make sure here. 
Dustin Brown, man. What a what a player here. Oof. Oh, we need to get call up a defenseman actually. Uh, hold on a second here. We will call up a defenseman here because uh, we don't have a defenseman playing at the moment on the fence here. So we got to call somebody up. This guy can come up. All right. Best lens for the AHL. Okay. All right. All right. How long is my starter out for? Till like a little bit of May, it says. Um, let me see here. May 10th. So yeah, he's still out for a little bit, actually. Tom Wilson should come to Jersey. You think so? Well, well, well maybe we'll maybe we'll make a trade for him next season. Maybe maybe we'll do that for you. <laughs> we'll make him a devil. I think he, I think he I think he'd make a good devil in my opinion. He looks like he'd be a devil. <laughs> All right, so game one. Oh, actually, oh yeah, that's right. We already did that. So yeah, so game one here in New Jersey. We are going up against the Washington Capitals. Have these two teams ever played in the playoffs before? Let's see. Uh, let's see. New Jersey Capitals playoffs. Have they ever played in the playoffs before? Uh... I don't know if they have or not. Oh no, they have. Actually, it looks like they have. Yeah, it looks like they have. Um, what what years was this? Uh, nineteen eighty eight. It looks like. Yeah, it says nineteen eighty eight Patrick Division Finals. They actually played each other. It seems so. This is the first matchup they've ever had in the playoffs since nineteen eighty eight, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a a long time coming between these two teams. That's for sure. Wow, we got Toronto and Montreal in the second round here. That's crazy. It was in the eighties. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so game one, here we go, in New Jersey. All right, let's see how this is going to go here, shall we? This will be a tougher opponent here with that Capitals offense. It's going to be something, that's for sure. So first period here in game one of the second round of the playoffs. Here we go. We are getting a lot of shots here. I will say, we are getting tons and tons of shots right here. And it's, uh, yeah, nobody's finding the back of the net just yet here. So it's no score after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 14 to 10 for the Devils as we are scoreless after one. Second period. Power play for the Devils right here. We don't find anything, unfortunately. Power play again for the Devils right here. Nothing. Nothing, unfortunately, right there. Uh, 10 minutes of power play left for the Devils. And Manjapane, the bread man. And then Miles Wood will score, making it 2 nothing for the Devils. And then Dustin Brown, this playoff run hero right here. Dustin fucking Brown, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> An absolute legend. <laughs> power play. And then Manjapane again. It is 4 nothing for the Devils here in Game 1 after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 26-16 to 16 for the Devils. Two goals from Manjapane, Miles Wood, and Dustin Brown, baby. All right, third period right here in game one. Very nice. And then Dustin Brown again. This guy, Dustin fucking Brown, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he is carrying this New Jersey Devils team in 2024. <laughs> That's crazy to think of right there. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. And the Devils shut out the fucking Capitals in Game 1. They they shut out a very top-heavy, offensively heavy Washington Capitals team on home ice in Game 1. Pretty impressive. Three stars of the game. Miles Wood, Lart Brassois, the backup, <laughs> has got two shutouts in this, in this uh, playoff run. And then Dustin Brown with the third star of the game right here. Very nice. Uh, let's take a look at the points here. Miles Wood with three points, Brown with two, Manjapani with two, Bua with two, Nishkinen with two, Holtz with two, Frost, McLeod, uh, Frost, McLeod, all both with one point there, and that was that basically. Damn, what a what a game there. Very nice, very nice. As we move on here, all right. So it is now game two in New Jersey. I, it's weird that they're back to back games in the playoffs. That's kind of wild. Uh, but anyways, Game 2 here in New Jersey. The Devils currently have the series lead 1-0. They won Game 1 pretty dominant defense, uh, decisively, too. As we now head to Game 2 here in New Jersey. Let's see what happens here. So first period here in Game number 2 as the Capitals have an early power play here. And nothing happens on that one right there. Ten minutes left to go. Power play again for the Cavs. And Scratchy scores a shorthanded goal. And then Backstrom will score right after that to tie it up right there all right so five minutes left to go and then mercer scores making it 2-1 right there 
Very nice. So it's two to one Devils after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 13 to eight for the Capitals. Goals from Sket uh, Sketchy and Mercer. And then Backstrom with the only goal for the Capitals. So here we go. Second period here in game number two as Matha uh, Mantha will tie the game here in game two early too. So I think the, the the Caps are pissy, pissy after that first game in the series. So they're going to come out a little bit stronger here, as you can definitely tell. They are out shooting us. And then Nick, Nick Nisushkin will score, making it 3-2 to two for the Devils here. Power play for the Devils. Nothing right there, unfortunately. So it's 3-2 uh, to two Devils after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 23-17 to 17 for the Devils. But the Devils lead by one from a goal from Nisushkin. And then Mantha it was the only goal. And then the second period for the Caps that tied it, but then, like I said, that we took the lead right, right after that, too. So that's good. So third period here, a much closer game. Absolutely. This has definitely been a much, much closer, tighter game for sure. Absolutely here. Power play for the Capitals right there. Don't want to give them that. That's for sure. Ten minutes left to go here. And uh, McMitchell scores to tie. And then Ovechkin. Oh, there's the beast. There's that Russian beast right there. Alexander Ovechkin. That's a that's a that's a ball buster right there. Unfortunately, so unfortunately the Capitals are gonna tie the series, heading back home here. Unfortunately, that's that's the player you don't want to wake up in this series is Alexander Ovechkin. So three stars of the game: Mercer uh, for the Devils, Maxim for the uh, for the Capitals, and Anushkin was the third star for the Devils there. So point wise here, Mercer with two points, Sketchy, this guy Nushkin, Gardner, Holtz, McLeod. Uh, all with um, all points right there, and there's Ov. Yeah, there he is. He's aw he's awoken. He's awoken. He he was silenced in the first game, but now he's officially woken up right there. Unbelievable. All right, is uh, Ca Jack Campbell back at, at our team yet? Let's see here. Is he back yet? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, no, he's still out at the moment, unfortunately. So. He is still currently battling injuries right now, so we have to wait for him, unfortunately, still. For probably another game or two or so. We'll see. Uh, or maybe for the rest of the series. Who knows? But anyways, Game 3 in the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. It's uh, The Capitals have just tied the series. This game, the series is tied heading here into this one. So it's a brand new series here. We'll see how this one will go here. So first period. And uh, it's Ryan Suter for the Capitals early on right there. And then Mantha scores, making it 2-0. And then Toffoli will cut the lead to 1 right there. Dang. Quick goals right in, a, in session right there. Capitals got the power play right here. And Mantha will score, making it 3-1 there. Oof. And then Mercer cuts the lead to 1 again. It's a power play goal for the Devils right there. Five minutes left to go here in the first period of play here. As the... All right, so it looks like it's going to be a one-goal game heading after one period of play. So it's a 3-2 caps after one. Uh, shots are 11 to 6 for the caps as they got goals from Manta. Two goals from Manta and one from Ryan Suter. And then we got one from Toffoli and Mercer. All right, second period here in game three. Uh, the Devils are going to try to tie this one here. This would be a perfect time to get a tying goal right here in this one. Ten minutes left to go here in the second period here. We are catching up on the shot department there, but we can't seem to get one by Samsonov, unfortunately. Which is unfortunate there. So it's 3-2 to two after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 22-16 to 16 for the Caps. No goals were scored here in the second. So it's a one-goal game heading into the third. So third period here in Game 3. Pa power play for the Devils right there. Nothing there, unfortunately. And uh, Backstrom gets them a two-goal lead again here. So this one might be going to the Caps, unfortunately. I hate to say it, but I think this one might be going to the Caps, unfortunately. They have the playoff experience, so it makes sense that they're showing up here. <laughs> so it's a 4-2 to two final here in Game 3 as the Caps take the first lead, their, fir their first lead in this series, basically. So yeah, uh, three stars of the game here. Mantha with the first star, Samsonov with the second, and Ryan Suter with the third star of the game here so yeah not our game unfortunately mercer with two points brat frost to fully and hughes all the single point nothing can be easy no nope, unfortunately not this is also still a pretty young team so they're still kind of kind of learning how to win in the playoffs so this is good for experience i think if we don't go, if we don't win this if we don't win these playoffs or we don't go far it's a good learning experience for a lot of our rookie players here that's for sure all right, and uh, how's our HL team doing right now? Actually, we are a l actually we moved on. Nice, so our HL team is doing pretty good. So that's good to see. 
All right, so game four in Washington. Uh, two, uh, two days before my birthday, <laughs> I would be old at that point. Anyways, as the Capitals took the lead in the series, they are up two games to one in the series. The Devils looking to try to tie it heading back home for game uh, for game five. The Devils don't want to go back, don't want to have the same fate as the Red Wings series again where they have to climb their way back, but we'll see what happens exactly here. So game four here in Washington. Let's see how this goes here. First period here in Washington. And Suter scores an early one again, just like game the first game. And John Carlson, their defense is getting goals right here, which is not great, unfortunately. Uh, not not great, unfortunately. And Sunquist scores. Uh, this is this is a bad start here. And Campbell's back in the lineup, unfortunately, and he's not doing great. <laughs> first game he's back in, unfortunately. And he's let in three straight like that. So it's 3 nothing Capitals after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 9-8 to eight for the Devils, but the Caps have three goals on eight shots. Sunquist, Carlson, and Suter is what it is. Second period here. And Manta makes it 4 nothing right there. And yeah, this I think we're going to have to climb our way back from three games to one again, it looks like. <laughs> that might be the story. Power play for the Devils right here. And, oh, 5 on 3. And nothing on any of that. That's unfortunate. And Manjapani cuts the lead to three here. Okay, there's a goal right there. And then Manjapani again, the bread man. And then he Jack Hughes. Holy heck. Okay, there's an explosion right there. So it's four to three after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 25 to 13 for the Devils. But we are down by one. Manta made, get, gave them a 4 nothing lead. But then Manjapani had two goals. And then Jack Hughes with a late one. Cutting the lead to one here in the third period. So here we go. Third period. Is there a comeback here for the New Jersey Devils? Power play for the, the Capitals. They don't score on that one, unfortunately. Devils getting more, some more shots. Can they actually get back into this one right here? Power play for the Washington Capitals. And Nicholas Backstrom will score on Brassois right there. And then Holtz cuts the lead to one again. Is there a tying goal? Hughes! Jack Hughes ties it, and we're going to overtime. Holy smokes, Jack Hughes with a huge fucking goal right there, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness gracious. The captain, Jack Hughes, coming up big in that in this one here. <laughs> My goodness. And it looks like on paper we're the better team here in this series, so but the Capitals, like I said, they have the playoff experience. Well, if they win, that's the reason. So here we go. Overtime here in Game 4 here at the Capital One Arena. All right. The Capitals coming up with it right here. And here comes Suter. He's been a beast in this series. He shoots. It's blocked right there. Merkley picking up the puck right here. Oh, but he loses it. Here's a turnover by Ovechkin. Here's Kuznetsov. Evgeny Kuznetsov and he shoots. And he misses the net right there. Ovechkin. Uh, playing it to Kuznetsov. Ovechkin. Ooh, he lost Mantha to Carlson. All Capitals right now. They are moving that puck. They are cycling it. Oh, there's a chance. Oh, Kuznetsov's got it. Oh, but he lost it. Smith. Ty Smith. Ooh. Okay. It was a little risky right there. Tyler Toffoli who brings it up. He's going to play it to Ty Smith here. But the Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes. Going to just play it around the net right there. Suter to Brat, to Jack Hughes, oh, and some Sadov with a huge save right there. Hughes was looking for the Hattie in this one, <laughs> but unfortunately did not happen right there. All right, face off in the Capitals end right here. It's tied 5-5, and Carlson has the puck here. He's going to play it to Nicholas Backstrom. He plays it to, uh, I don't know who that was there, but it's a turnover to Jack Hughes. Hughes has the puck here. To Brat. Oh, what a stop by Samsonov right there. Suter held up right there. Brat trying to get the puck, but he could not. Wilson. Tom Wilson. The NHL's most uh, hated man. At least one of them. <laughs> has the puck here. Here's Lapierre. Lapierre with some dangles right here. Lapierre to Wilson. Oh, what a clapper right there. And he stops him right there. What a stop right there. Behind the net there for Tom Wilson. To Backstrom. Ooh. Thankfully, he didn't get a shot off. That was a good opportunity right there. Here's Tyler Toffoli. He's going to play to Mercer. Oh, and some sound off with a huge glove. And he's going to cover that one up right there. <laughs> my goodness gracious, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I am on my feet on this one. That's for sure. Shots are... Devils have 45 shots in this game. But Sam Sanov has just been pretty good when he needs to. But... It's been a pretty close game, regardless. Face-off one there. Wah, to Nushkin. And it was a really bad backhand. Holtz tries to get it, but, he's, but he can't hold onto it. Holtz, back to the point there. 
Oh, uh, oh, there we go. Here we go. Here's a chance. He's coming in. Oh, he gets he gets poked right there. That would have been nice if he back roof daddy that one. That would have been nice. Ekholm plays it up here to Backstrom. Here comes Nick Backstrom to Ekholm. And Campbell's back in the net for some reason. And he holds and he stops the puck right there. His first game into these in these playoffs here. He's been out with an injury for a good little while here. But he's back here in, in this one. Pace off one by the Devils, but it went right to the Caps right there. Sunquist with a pass to Corey Perry to Mick Mitchell. Shoots. Oh, and it's stopped right there. Mercer fighting right there, but he can't get it. Held up to the boards there. Holtz has got it now. He's going to play to Waugh, to Sketchy, uh, Sketchy, to Nushkinen. And uh, he loses it. Oh, oh, turnover maybe? Nope, nope. Sunquist has got it right there. Held up to the boards right there. Behind the net now. <laughs> Mick Mitchell's got it to Ristolainen. He's going to play it up to... Oh, it's going to be uh, Corey Perry, but he uh, chips it in there. Sketchy to Holtz. Holtz playing it to Marchman. To this guy. <laughs> I don't know how to say his name, but this guy playing it to Sketchy. Shoots and uh, stopped by Samsonov right there. And he's going to hold it on right there. All right. Pretty close, pretty, pretty close game right here, I will say. As the line of Marchman, this guy, and Marjapane is on the ice right there. Face off one. Marchman. Nice oh, he can't right hold on. Get to that. Ovechkin playing it to Mantha. Mantha playing it to Kuznetsov. Oh, my goodness. That was a good defensive play right there. Marjapane playing it to that guy. He loses it. Held up right there. All right. That's sure to Mantha. And absolutely hit right there. He lost the puck. Oh, it, oh nobody's got Stetcher to, to, jo to, to Johnson. Johnson coming up ice with it. Here come the Caps, but they he gets tied up right there. And here come the Devils. Is that Nanjapane? Yes, it is. Oh, and he gets hit big time right there. Marchment shoots, and it's blocked right there. And Ovechkin coming up ice with it. Here comes Mantha. Mantha with a spin around a pass to Johnson to Kuznetsov to Ovechkin, but he can't hold the puck. Frost loses it. Ovechkin. Here comes Marchment now back the other way. Jay Marchment coming in with some dangles. Marchment shoots and Samsonov once again covering it up right there. He's not taking any chances playing that puck right there. <laughs> My goodness. All right. The Wood, Frost, and Brown line on the ice here. And they don't win the faceoff. Carlson bringing it to Jensen. Jensen coming up ice and oh 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 Woods got it he's gonna play it to oh Tyron over it there to Lisa oh what a stop by Campbell what a big save huge save after that bad turnover whoever that made that play here comes Dustin Brown Brown playing it to Gardner Gardner and he gets it to Brown to Giordano to Gardner shoots oh and he just missed the net right there here's a chance for Wood here's a chance open oh rebound oh but nobody can bury that one right there unfortunately <laughs> As we're at, at, at about a minute 25 left to go here in the first overtime period. Jensen. Jensen going to play it all the way to uh, Stashny. Paul Stashny coming up ice right here. Stashny looking, but he can't find a play. I'll make a play right there. Miles Wood plays it. Gives it to Leeson. Leeson to LaPierre. Back to the point to Suter. To Carlson. Uh, to Leeson. To, back to Carlson. Carlson will play it up to Leeson. Here's a play. Oh my goodness, that was right in the slot right there. Here's a suitor. Stashny to Carlson. And it's Campbell with a big save right there. As we're in the final minute here in the first overtime period. It is 5-5. Five five. Devils trying to tie the series heading back home. They need this win right here. <laughs> Face off in the Devils end right here. It's Backstrom versus Hughes. Backstrom wins it. Lapierre, Stysmith. Ooh, that puck is going over there there. All right, Backstrom getting uh, held up there. Backstrom, he takes a hit right there. Here comes Merkley to Brat, Brat, and he gets clobbered with a huge hit right there. Merkley to Ty Smith. Ty Smith playing it to, to Foley. 33 seconds left. Tyler to Foley. Couldn't find anybody right there, unfortunately. Here come the freaking Washington Capitals. Here it's Tom Wilson. He plays it to Nick Backstrom. He's going for a dangle. He can't Backstrom. Playing it back to Ristolainen, who's nearing number 69. I appreciate that. Ristol, uh, Wilson, <laughs> behind the net there to Lapierre. And he's going to play it back to Tom Wilson to Lapierre right there. But it's turned over here. Here comes Brat with six seconds left in this one, in this period. Here's Brat, but he can't make a play. 
Brat held up right there, and this one's gonna go to double overtime here in game three. No, no, game four, excuse me. Yeah, game four. This is game four. Pretty wild game here in this one. It's five to five, heading into uh, the second overtime period. The Devils are close to hitting 50 shots in this one. But just cannot solve Samsonov right there. <laughs> All right, second overtime here in game four as this period's underway here the devil's just gonna uh, dump and chase it in here's Toffoli to Bratt and he gets hit off the puck right there Nantha back to the point it's Ty Smith he's got to fuse oh and Samsonov covers up right there the last double OT was the devils over the Panthers in game seven that was in what 2011 12 right is that right is that about right but I think I, I remember that series actually yeah that's actually a pretty good series of hockey, I remember. That was the, that was the year when the Devils went to the Cup Final, if I'm correct, against the Kings. All right, so Ty Smith here. He's coming in! Oh, he should have did a move. He should have did a backhand. He had so much space. Oh, that's unfortunate. And Samsonov is just going to cover that one up right there. 2012? Yeah, that's what I thought so. All right, face-off in the Caps end. Jack Hughes versus Kuznetsov. Who's going to win this one? And Kuznetsov ties up up there, and the Capitals will regain the puck right here. Here comes uh, Ovechkin. He's just going to clear the puck in. Uh, Ty Smith's got the puck right here. He's going to bring it up to Bratt, to Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes looking for Toffoli to Bratt. No, he couldn't do anything to Foley. Held up into the boards right there. Kuznetsov to Carlson. Here comes John Carlson, one of the best de American defensemen in the league. Merkley. Gonna play it to Mercer. Mercer held up in the boards. Ovechkin trying to pick it up right there. And there's a penalty coming up to the Washington Capitals for holding. Alexander Ovechkin is going off for a penalty right here. Uh, oh no, for boarding, I guess. Okay, it was a boarding call right there on Ovechkin. All right. So the Devils are on the power play. A huge power play opportunity here in this one. Sometimes Can the Devils take advantage here? Play. This is a good opportunity. Face off one by the Devils. Mercer shoots. It's blocked. And this guy gets it, but he can't. Kept in by Manjapane. To Nushishkin. Shoots. There's a shot. They score. It's the guy's name I can't pronounce. And the Devils have tied the series heading back home for game number five, baby. What a big win right there. They convert on the power play, and we are going to game five. <laughs> Look at that. A nice little garbage goal right in front of the net right there. And it beats Samsonov right there. <laughs> Rango? Okay, I'll, oh, that's easier to say. Rango is a better name to say. <laughs> Man, what a game right there. That was a good one. <laughs> As this series is tied, heading back to New Jersey. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> My goodness, three stars of the game was Oscar Sundquist with the like, Washington Capitals. The second star of the game was Jack Hughes with two goals. He got the tying goal late in the third period, too. And on the first star of the game was Andrew Mangiapane, the bread man. Three points for him. Absolutely beautiful. That guy is absolutely clutch. All right, three points for Manjapane, Mercer, Brat, Hughes, Marchment, Toffoli, and uh, Rango, <laughs> all with two points, and it holds uh, Nishushkin and Giordano all with a single point in this one. All right. <laughs> He's Jack Hughes' favorite play to assist here right now. Ah, oh, interesting, interesting. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, so there we go. The, the oh, and the Jets have swept the uh, the the Avalanche, and the uh, the Blues are up three one against the 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 Kraken here, and the the Maple Leafs are waiting. Whoever wins this series, I don't think the Maple Leafs have lost the game yet. That's crazy. That's scary. <laughs> That's kind of scary to think of, honestly. All right, on my birthday, May 7th, 2024, it is time for game number five in New Jersey. The series is now tied. 
this is a huge huge game this is this this is the game in the series that kind of determines the series basically so we'll see what is going to happen here in game number five so here we go first period here in new joyousy and Marchman scores a shorthanded goal for the Devils right there early. Power play for the uh, that for the Caps, and they score on it. Kuznetsov will score, tying the game right there. Evgeny Kuznetsov, another big re weapon for the Capitals. And then Nicholas Backstrom, another weapon for them, scores, making it 2-1. to one. And then Merkley scores, and it's 2-2 two to two for the in this game. And then Lapierre scores late, and the Capitals are up by one, heading into the second period. So it's a three to two Capitals after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 17 to seven for the Capitals as they have goals from Marchment, Backstrom, and Lapierre. As we got goals from uh, Merkley and Marchment. So, it is what it is. On how it is. it's at Sharangovich. Sharangovich. Okay. I'll, I'll just go with Rango. That's easier. Anyway, second period. And the, the Capitals are pressing hard in this one. Power play for the Devils. And Frost will score a power play goal. And then Ristolainen, the worst defenseman in the league, has scored to make it 4-3. And then Mercer scores the tie of the game here with 10 minutes left to go in the second period. Power play for the Devils again here. And nothing on that one right there. And all right, so it's 4-4 after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 32 to 17 for the Washington Capitals as they have goals in this period from Ristolainen, but the Devils have come back to tie it from Frost and Mercer. All right, third period here in game five in New Jersey. As we have 13 minutes left to go here, and the Devils got a power play right here. They don't convert. 10 minutes left to go here in the third period. Five minutes left to go here. Three minutes left. Two minutes left. One minute left. Power play for the Caps. And, and oh my goodness, we're going to overtime once again here. All right. So it's time for another overtime uh, game right here. Look at the size difference between Ovechkin and Jack Hughes. Just want to go and mention that real quickly. <laughs> Hot damn. All right. Anyways. So here we go. <laughs> we are here in overtime. In game number five, ladies and gentlemen, and they are ready to drop the, puck here the Devils and, uh, won the last overtime against in this series. The Can they do it again here? But they, the, the, the Capitals are on the power play for a few more seconds here to start the period. And here comes Ovechkin, scary Ovechkin coming up ice, and he loses a Giordano playing it, playing it to the side to Sketchy, and the power play has been killed off here. Marchman. Coming up ice. He tried to clap one, but he couldn't do it, unfortunately. Here comes Backstrom. He gets through to the fence. Backstrom. Ty Smith can't get it. Backstrom, uh, Backstrom keeps the hold of the puck right there. Uh, Smith. Backhands it to Brat right here. He's going to. Oh, he takes a hit, bit of a hit right there. Big hit right there. And uh, the Capitals bring it back. Backstrom. Jack Hughes has got the puck. He's going to play it to Ty Smith. And he turns it over to Mantha. Here comes Backstrom. Uh, he goes for a dangle. He has a chance. Oh, there's a, ooh, almost to Kuznetsov right there. Tofoli gets pick, gets stick lifted right there. Backstrom. Oh, and Campbell with a save right there. And he's going to hold on right there. At least the Devils got the taller Hughes brother now in the IRL. Yeah. We will still try to make that our mission to get the other Hughes at some point. That's a goal for us. <laughs> All right, face off in the Devils end, and they win it. Ty Smith playing it to Tyler to Tyler to Foley. The teapot. He's coming in here. There's a chance. Oh, and Samsonov was not going to let any ba uh, rebounds happen right there, and he covers that up right there. Johnny Goudreau has the most points in the playoffs. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. All right. Pa uh, face off in the Capitals and Dre right here. Jack Hughes wins the face off of Smith and Merkley, but he gets clobbered, and here comes Ovechkin, the raging Russian. He's coming up. Oh, oh, he he messed up that deke right there. He would he would have gone if he hit that deke. <laughs> oh boy! And here comes uh, the the Capitals behind the net here. Out Suter, but he can't do anything with it. Brat has it here, but he's held up by Ovechkin. He's playing very good defensively in this series. Uh, here comes Mercer. Playing it to, oh, 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 he couldn't get a shot off, unfortunately. <laughs> That's unfortunate right there. Toffoli couldn't do much there. Carlson held up behind the boards right there. He gives it to, uh, I'm not sure who that was there. I'm not sure who this is either, but here comes Ovechkin. Ovechkin coming in. 
And he loses it, thankfully. And Nushkin and or Nushkin always turned over right there. Holtz playing it to Mercer. And he takes a hit right there. Holtz losing has a stick away from him, so he can't get the puck. Here come the Capitals. McMitchell. He's coming up ice here. McMitchell. He's gonna play it behind the net there as Mercer's got it. He's gonna play it to uh, Giordano. Mark Giordano. Mercer, here comes Holtz. Oh, and Samsono was ready for that one. What a stop right there. <laughs> Ooh, boy. <laughs> that was a sneaky little one right there. All right, here's the face-off in the Capitals end here. Capitals have the face-off advantage in this game. J Mar Mar Japane, oh, what a chance right there. He almost could have buried that one right there. Here come the Capitals. They say clear it in. Giordano's got it. He's going to... Wait for his men to get there. Oh, picked off by Campbell there. Uh, Backstrom tried to go for a shot. Oh, what a stop block. Here's a chance for Lapierre. Oh, my goodness. Wilson, and there's a penalty coming up to the New Jersey Devils, which is not good. Panic on the Devils right now as the Capitals are all over this play right now. Backstrom, he shoots, and Campbell stops, and they touch the puck as the Devils are going to be on five on three. Oh, boy, this is a huge moment of the game right now. A five on three coming to the fucking uh, Capitals in this one. They were pressured pretty hard on that play. That They took too many penalties. The bad defense right there. It could cost them this game right here. Face off in the Devils' end. Capitals win the face off. Mantha to McMitchell and Campbell will cover that up right there. Power play went so uh, that play went so fast the time didn't even move on that power play. <laughs> My goodness. Six minutes left to go here in overtime period number one. Face off one by the Caps. Here's a shot for Wilson, but it's blocked. And he's huddled up right there. That was almost it. Game over right there. That went in. And the puck goes over the over the blue line, so they have to re, they have to retool here. Wilson to Lapierre, a uh, Lapierre. Oh my goodness, too much stuff happening in front of the goalie like that. I don't like that. Tom Wilson, oh picked off right there. Oh what a stop right there. <laughs> and Sketchy will uh, clear it, <laughs> killing us some time. But the Caps just get it right back here. Here come the Caps. Mitchell, oh what a stop by Cam. And Lapierre's got it. He's gonna shoot. It stopped again. Nick Mitchell to Lapierre to the point to Mantha. He misses it wide. Here's a chance now for Nick Mitchell to Carlson to Mantha. He shoots. It's wide. Tom Wilson to Nick Mitchell. Another shot. It's deflected wide. Giordano's got it. He's gonna just dump it down the ice there with only a minute left to go on this five on three. The crowd is buzzing for the Devils as they're killing this five on three. Here comes Kuznetsov. The dangerous players for the Caps are on the ice on the power play. Ovechkin's got it. He's going to have it still. Ovechkin looking. Ovechkin looking. He just wires it over the net. Here's a chance for Kuznetsov, but he can't get it in there. My goodness gracious. The puck is back to the point to Mantha. Mantha shoots. He scores. Oh, man. And that's going to do it as the Capitals take the win as they move on well they, didn't, they don't move on but they, they take the lead in the series as they are one game away from advancing to the Eastern Conference Finals for the second time in a few years I will say <laughs> so hard to kill off a full two minutes of 5 on 3 yeah they almost did it too they were just a minute left they almost could have did it too that five on three is what killed them, unfortunately. They got they got pressured pretty hard on the, on the defensive end that they took too many penalties and it caused the Caps to have a pretty lengthy five on three. And you don't want to give the Capitals a five on three because they're going to probably convert that nine times out of ten. As the Capitals will take the game here, five for the final. Three stars of the game, Ryan Merkley was the third star for the New Jersey Devils. Rasmus Ristolainen was the second star for the Capitals. And the first star of the game, oh damn, that was a huge hit right there. First star of the game was Nick Backstrom for the uh, Washington Capitals. Four points in this one. My goodness, he had a had a game right there. Point-wise here, Merkley and Hughes with two points. Holtz, Mercer, Bratt, Bois, Frost, Marchment, Giordano, and uh, Rango. All with a single point in that one, so there's that. 
Unfortunately, we are on the road now, heading to game six with a potential chance of elimination right here. The Blues have moved on, so it's going to be the Blues and Jets in the West final. But we are still deciding who the hell is going to play in the East final right here. And Jack Campbell's 100% healthy again here, so that's maybe good news, but we'll see what happens here. So game six here in the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. The Capitals are a game away from heading for the Eastern Conference Finals while the Devils need to win here to force a Game 7 back home. Can they do it? They did it against the Red Wings. Can they do it again here against the a, a Capitals team? Let's find out. First period of play here. Yeah, both teams have power plays. They don't convert on them, unfortunately, here. Let's see what right here. Ten minutes left. Power play for the Devils again here. Nothing, unfortunately, right there. Five minutes left to go here in the first period. Devils are getting some shots on net, so that's good to see. All right, so it's no score after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 13 to 11 for the Devils. No score to be had. No one has found the back of the net here in game one of game six. Second period here as the time goes now. Here we go. Power. And uh, Stetcher scores, and it's 1-0 for the Capitals. Ooh, that's an early buster right there. That's unfortunate right there. Ten minutes left to go here in the second power play for the Capitals. And uh, it's Kuznetsov. Ooh, and we're in a big hole here in the second. 2 nothing for the Caps. And Ty Smith will score to cut the lead to one. All right. We're not dead yet. <laughs> but we got to get another one. So it's 2-1 to one Capitals after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 22-21 to 21 for the Devils. But the, the, the Capitals have scored twice with Stetcher and Kuznetsov. And Ty Smith with the only goal for the Devils. The Devils need one more to tie it. Can they do it? Third period here. Power play for the Devils right here. They don't convert. Power play for the Capitals. They don't convert either. Power play again for the, uh, the Capitals. And it's Mark Giordano. The, and the Mercer. Oh my goodness. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Power play for the Devils right here. My goodness. Five minutes left to go right here. And oh man. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's a ball buster right there. As we're going to overtime yet again in the series for the third consecutive game, we are going to OT, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness gracious. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. This game, this series, let me tell you, it's just, it's, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> All right, so here we go in overtime here in game six. Caps are trying to move on to the East Final while the Devils are trying to force a seventh game in this series. What will happen here is the question. That is the question. Uh, and here come the Devils here. Ty Smith. Um, oh, he lost it. Who's that sub? Who's that sub? Oh, to Foley. Oh, nope. Manta. And uh, it's offside. Oh, okay. Offside. Offside. There was a penalty coming up for something, but it wasn't. <laughs> All right. Face off outside the Capitals and right here. Jack Hughes versus Kuznetsov on the face-off circle. And Kuznetsov beats him every time. <laughs> I don't think I've seen Hughes win a face-off in this series. Here's a chance for uh, Kuznetsov, but he can't pull the trigger. Toffoli. Here comes Jack Hughes. Trying to go for a dangle. <laughs> Jack Hughes. And he loses it. Oh, no. Here's a chance for the Capitals going the other way. Mantha. Who tied the game late. Playing it to Suter. Oh, Jack Campbell with a big save right there. Ovechkin. Gonna play it to Mantha. And Brat comes up with it. Brat looking. He's gonna find Tafoli. He's got Matt Mercer. Or he's got Mercer. Mercer shoots. Oh, and Samsonov will stop that one. <laughs> My goodness. Mercer has been pretty pretty good in these playoffs so far. Tried to tried to end it here in game six, the fourth, the seventh game. Face off for the New Devils. Jersey's they win it. Holtz. Ooh, Holtz. Oh, no. Carlson. He loses it. Plays Samsonov. it to Suter. Uh, into Mercer. He's got it. He shoots. Here's Here's Samsonov chance. will cover it up right there. <laughs> My goodness. Jack Hughes is third in points in these playoffs. <laughs> Face off in the, de really the Caps end. Mercer wins it New to Merkley. Oh, he didn't get a good That's shot off, unfortunately. Backstrom. Plays it to Tom Wilson. To, uh, I'm not Washington sure who this is actually. I think that's LaPierre. Yeah. And he'll clear it in. Smith to Holtz. Holtz, uh oh. Turns it over to LaPierre. Ooh, that's not good. Carlson. Ooh, good stop by Jack Campbell there. Holtz. 
plays it up to uh, Mercer. Mercer coming in. Oh, he couldn't get a shot off, unfortunately. Tom Wilson with that stick, getting that puck. Here come the Caps. Oh, right in the slot. Slap Pierre. Oh, and that one's blocked, and that one's out of play. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> this is stressful. Thank God it's none of my teams at IRL. <laughs> All right. Face off in the Devil's End. And the Caps win it. Wrist the line into Wilson. Oh, what a chance, but he misses the net. How do you miss that? You can't be missing those kind of plays. That's a wide open cage, and you miss that. Ooh, that's going to hurt you. That's going to bite you if you don't win this game, unfortunately. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. How he missed that, I have no idea. <laughs> and uh, here comes Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson coming up ice. A backhander, and Campbell will cover it up right there. My goodness gracious. <laughs> this has been a quite the series. Face off in the devil's end again here. And the Devils win the face-off. Wah wow, to Sketchy. He's going to play it to Marchment. 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 Can't find anybody. Wah. Wow. He turns it over. Nick Mitchell. And he's got the puck. He brings it up here. Here comes Corey Perry. And he turns it over there. This guy coming up here. Django, I think his name was. <laughs> I was told that's his nickname. Ekholm. Held up there. Nick Mitchell. Playing it to Sunquist. Sunquist plays it, but he lost it. Manjapane's got it, and he gets hit. Sketchy to uh, this guy here. Here comes, uh, I forgot who this was here. Uh, but anyway, he turned it over here. The Caps retrieve it. Mitch Mitchell coming up ice here to Sunquist. Sunquist looking back to the point to Ristolainen and to Ekholm to Ristolainen and to Sunquist. Sunquist playing it up here to Corey Perry. Corey Perry to McMitchell. Ooh, he couldn't get a shot off. That was a good time to take a shot there after that kind of pass. Here comes Miles Wood. And uh, he, not much can happen there. Oh, Frost. Frost has got it. He's got it. He's got it. Frost to the point oh, or to the slot, but he can't bury it right there. Samsonov playing big in his net, and he will not let that one go in. Puck gets cleared into here. Wah. Held up by Corey Perry. He's going to play it, and Gardner's got it. Behind the net, Jake Gardner to Wah. Wah playing it up to Frost. Frost loses it right there. And here comes Ekholm. Ekholm playing it to Manta. Manta still, still on the puck. He's got it, but he turns it over to Mark Giordano. Giordano playing it to Tyler Toffoli. To Foley loses the puck right there, and he plays it. To, and Stetcher's got it. Troy Stetcher turns it over. Oh, but it's offside. Oh, it was, it was going to be offside, but not. But then here's Monta. Oh, he plays it back to Kuznetsov. Oh, big stop there by J uh, Jack Campbell. Here's a chance for Ovechkin and Campbell with another save here with a minute 20 left to go in overtime period number one. This has been quite the last few games here. They three games in a row. This series has gone to overtime. As it's Hughes and Kuznetsov, and Hughes actually beats Kuznetsov in a, in a face off for once. That's crazy. <laughs> Jake Gardner to Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes skating with it. Jack Hughes held up by Ovechkin. Ovechkin just not letting the, the youngster do much with it here. Here comes Brat to Hughes. Oh, Brat. Oh my goodness, he almost <laughs> made a play right there. Uh, lean to Brat. And he can't go. <laughs> no, this is the third overtime. This is a different game. <laughs> we, we, there's been three consecutive overtimes. <laughs> and here comes Gardner to Mercer. Mercer. Oh, we tried to feed it the front, but he could not get to him. And here comes the Capitals the other way. And a big hit right there. Nice hit. And the puck goes down. But nobody's skating for it, unfortunately. The, de uh, the Devils do retrieve it, though. Giordano to Holtz. Holtz. Looking, looking, looking. Holtz. He's trying. Giordano defines Mercer to Mushiskin. He can't do anything with it. Carlson to Tom Wilson. The league's most hated man coming up ice. 
<laughs> Holtz. Holtz. He's got it. Here comes Holtz. Making a he takes a shot is a weak one, but that's not going to do much. And that's going to do it after one period of overtime here. It is still tied. <laughs> We're going to another double overtime. <laughs> My goodness. This has been a series, that's for sure. The, the Capitals do have the shot advantage now in this in this game now. The Devils did have it, but now the De uh, the, the Capitals now have that lead in the, the shot department. Face off in center ice and the devils will retrieve it and this one's underway here in overtime too brat can't do much there to trying to do something nothing there mantha and to fighting for it right there ty smith playing it to jack hughes should have plastered it there i don't know why he didn't here comes kuznetsov jack hughes merkley to brat Brat. Oh, he lost it right there. John Carlson. He's going to play it to Kuznetsov. To Ovechkin. Alexander Ovechkin's got the puck. He shoots. And he stopped right there. Held up onto the boards right there. I think Jack Hughes is held up right there by Kuznetsov. <laughs> Can't really see what's going on on the side there. Here comes Suter. And nobody to pass to. Ty Smith. It's going to slow things down here. And he turns it over to Mantha. <laughs> Who's been lethal in this series? You don't want to give it to him. Puck gets cleared into Merkley. Held up right there. Backstrom. And the puck is loose as Ty Smith gets it and he's held up again <laughs> by Ovechkin. Ovechkin just playing defense in this series. <laughs> All right, here's uh, Holtz. Holtz coming up here, but he loses it. Mantha. Plays it to Carlson, but he loses it to Holtz. Holtz playing it to Hughes. Jack Hughes to Skedgy, but he gets hit off the puck. Holtz, and Holtz takes a hit, and Hughes has got to retrieve it. He does, but Lapierre picks it up, and he's bringing it back to the devil's end. Here comes Lapierre. He shoots, but it's blocked by the defender there. And uh, Nushiskin has the puck here. He's going to play it to Skedgy. Plays it to Mercer. Mercer coming up ice. Mercer, and he can't pull a shot off and it's deflected here come the caps the other way backstrom deking shoots and campbell stops him there sketchy held, hold up right held up right there devil's not finding enough ways to get to take a shot they just they get there and then they get stopped every time here comes manjapane playing it behind the net to nushishkin Nushiskin, oh, there's a chance, but Waugh can't pull the trigger. And here come the Capitals the other way. Here comes Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson it turns it over to Manjapane, and he's bringing it up the ice. Here comes the bread man. He plays it to freaking this guy. Oh, there's a chance, but Manjapane can't get to the rebound in time. And they have to restore here. Sketchy coming up here to this guy. He shoots, scores! This guy is absolutely being a threat for the Capitals, for the Devil, uh, for the Devils, and the Devils have forced a seventh game. Wow, Top cheeses it right there. We're going to see a seventh game in this series. <laughs> My goodness gracious, this has been one hell of a series. <laughs> what a top cheese right there. Glove side too, dang. <laughs> That's supposed to be your better way to stop the puck on the glove side, but he missed it entirely. And the Devils continue to fight back in these playoffs. Number 17, Rango, with the game winner again in overtime. That's the second overtime winner he has in this series. Three stars of the game were Evgeny Kuznetsov. He was the third star of the game. Uh, Dawson Mercer was the second star. And the first star of the game. It's got to be a Rango, right? has to be him it was alex ovechkin with two assists all right never mind then <laughs> never mind then all right so let's take a look at point wise here so mercer and sketchy with two points raw smith murky giordano uh rango Hol uh, rango all with a single point there so nothing from hughes this game unfortunately so yeah what do i think of the playoff logo the new one it looks okay it's all right what else say it looks all right all right, and the and the, the the Leafs who are getting well rested here, they have they've swept the series, and they're waiting for this one to end to go to seven because it's going to a seventh game. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. All right, so game seven at the per 
Prudential Center in in New Jersey. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Seventh game, seventh heaven. The winner goes to the Eastern Conference Final to play the Toronto Maple Leafs. And probably game one will be in Toronto, I'm going to guess and assume. So, yeah. So, let's take a look here. If the Leafs don't make the Stanley Cup, they deserve ridicule for the entire rest of the sim. I agree. So, here we go. First period in game seven of this series whoever wins pretty much deserves it i will say power for the start off here for the caps not a good start for there but they kill we kill it off thankfully <laughs> thank goodness on that but that was caught up on shots here 10 minutes left to go in the first period right here this has been a series that's for sure <laughs> all right two minutes left to go here in the first period and it's no score after 20 minutes of play shots are 12 to 10 for the capitals but no score to be found in this one. All right, second period of play here in Game 7. As the shots are pretty even right here. Pretty close game in this one. Ten minutes left to go here in the second. Capitals have hit 20 shots. And Mark Giordano scores for the Devils. Huge goal by the veteran. And Brad scores. It's 2-0 for the Devils. Oh, and it's a... Rango again! Playoff Rango! Making it 3 nothing here in the second period. My goodness. So after 40 minutes of play, it is 3 nothing New Jersey. Shots are 23-22 to for the uh, Capitals, but the New Jersey Devils are up 3 to nothing here in Game 7. My goodness. Third period here in Game 7. My goodness gracious. This has been quite the series. Power play for the Capitals right there. Nothing on that one. 10 minute power play for the Devils right here. They don't score power play for the Capitals. They don't convert. Five minutes left to go. Three minutes left. Two minutes left. One minute left. And the New Jersey Devils play the trap. And they win the seventh game to move on to the Eastern Conference Final. My goodness gracious. My goodness gracious. This Devils team never says die. They keep fighting and coming back and winning games it is absolutely incredible. So three stars of the game, Jack Campbell, the former Leafs starter, is going to be facing his former team. <laughs> uh, he gets the first star in 7th Heaven game here in this series. Uh, Mark Giordano with the second star and uh, Rango with the third star right there. Very nice. Uh, let's take a look at the stats right here. Uh, Brat, Hughes, Marchment, Manchapane, Giordano, Tafoli, and Rango all with single points. In this one, very nice right there. As we take on the Toronto Maple Leafs, who I'm very scared to see what the hell their roster is gonna look like. I'm actually kind of threatened to see. So let's take a look here. Oh boy, they they, they haven't lost the game yet in these playoffs. By the way, the, the Toronto Maple Leafs have gone eight and zero so far in these playoffs. Just want to mention that real quickly. So let's take a look at their team. They got William Nylander, Austin Matthews, Mitch Mardner, uh, Joey Anderson, John Tavares. Uh, uh, Andre Kas Kasha, or I think is how you say his name. Uh, Matthew Joseph, Josh Hosang, the Ho Train. They got Alexander Nylander. They got both Nylanders on this team. That's crazy. Zach McEwen, Jesper Fast, and Eric G G G Gustafson, who's a defense and playing on the offense. Interesting. Okay. On uh, defense, we got Rasmus Sandin, Timothy Ridgreen, TJ Brody, Morgan Riley, Jake Muzzin, and Justin Hall. All right. My good Hosang versus Baton, yep. And in that they have Peter Morazic and Cam Talbot. So that's their start. That's their goaltender. Who's else is that scratch here? Let's see. They got Nicholas Robertson, who's injured at the moment. Travis Dermott and uh, Lucas Lucas Johansson is who they got on this team. All right, this could be a tough one. Again here, another tough team to go up against here. I um, just want to take a look at our injury report here real quickly here. We have no injuries to speak of right now, so that's good. We have nothing. We have we are a clean, uh, healthy team right now, which is good to see. So you'll love to see it right there. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> All right. So the last time these two teams played, I believe, was in an Eastern Conference Final. I'm pretty sure. It's the one where um, which which series was that? It, it was it was. Ah, I can't remember which series that was. Was that in 2001 or two or something like that? Let me see here. Let's look at that real quickly. Uh, playoff series. Let's see. Um, when was the last time they played in the playoffs? They definitely have. It looks like I see 2001 
was the last time they played, I, I, from what it looks like. Yeah, 2001 was the last time they played, and it was the Eastern Conference semifinals, it looks like, and the Devils, I believe, won that series, because I think the Devils won in 2001, right? The Devils won the Cup in 2001, so, yeah, that makes a lot of sense here. So, uh, I think they won in 2001, right? Or was that, no, 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 2001 was the cat, it was the Avalanche, right? No, sorry, my bad, I'm wrong on that. It was, the. Uh, it was 2001 that they... They, they faced the, the Avs and they lost. It was 2000 they won. That's right. That's what I meant. Yes. But they played them in 2000 as well. And they also won that too. So, yeah. But anyway, so game one at the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. It's the Devils versus the Leafs, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. My goodness. So here we go. I didn't think we'd make it this far. But we did. <laughs> oh, you didn't? No, no. I, I meant 2000. Or was, or was that the stars that went in 2000? No. Let's see. Who, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Stanley Cup Finals. The 2000 Stanley Cup Finals. Yeah, yeah. I meant I meant to say 2000. I, and I said I, meant, I made a mistake. I said 2001 was the Avs, and then 2000 was the Devils. Who I said that's what I meant. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> that's what I meant to say. Yeah. But anyways, game one in Toronto. The Toronto Maple Leafs actually made it to the Eastern Conference Final. Pretty crazy. And uh, this is their season to lose, really. So we'll see what happens. They are the best team in the league, I, I will say. So if we can knock out them, we have a shot at this. So we'll see what happens. But the, like I said, the, the Leafs have not lost yet in these playoffs yet. So we'll see what happens. They've been well-rested for a good little while here. So we'll see how this goes. So first period in Game 1 of the East Final. Power play for the Devils right here. And Austin Matthews scores a shorthanded goal. And then it's Jake Muzzin. Oh, man against their former starter Jack Campbell they got two early ones on him right there you hate to see that <laughs> all right it's two nothing for the the Leafs here can the Devils come back here in this one so it's two nothing Leafs after 20 minutes of play shots are 11 apiece but the but the Leafs found two of them one shorthanded by Matthews and one from Jake Muzzin that's right it's the second period here power play for the Toronto Maple Leafs here they don't score on that can the Devils find a goal here they need to get one to get back into this one Power play for the Leafs here. And Josh Ho saying on the power play makes it 3-0 for the Leafs. Ooh, this is looking pretty bad. And Mitch Marner <laughs> scores, making it 4-0. Yeah. I think the Leafs are gonna continue their undefeated streak here in this in this in this uh, playoff run of theirs right now. So it's 4-0 Leafs after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 26 to 24 for the Leafs. The Leafs get two goals from Hosang and Marner. Third period. Is there a four-goal comeback for the Devils? Frost will score, cutting the lead to three. That's an early one right there. Power play for the Devils right there. And Toffoli scores on the power play. T cuts the lead to two right there. Can they have two more here? Can they come back and score two more? Uh, we'd be pretty sick if they do. Let's see if they do. They have five minutes of power play for the Devils. They don't score, unfortunately. And nope, doesn't look like we have a full comeback in this one. So the Leafs will survive to win game one of this series right here. All right, so three stars of the game. Peter Morazic, Austin Matthews, and Mitch Marner were the three stars in this one. So the, here's the, here are the points here. Holtz, Nushishkin, Frost, Giordano, and Toffoli all with a single point in this one. So... It is what it is, unfortunately. But hopefully we can fight back in this next one here. That's all. That's all we gotta do. We just gotta. We just gotta. We just gotta. We just gotta. We just gotta t uh, shake that one off and bounce back here in game two. That's all. So game two here in Toronto, the Leafs are leading the series by one. The Devils need to come back here to tie it to tie the series back at heading back home here. Let's see what happens here. So first period in game two, nothing to show for it at the moment right here. Ten minutes left to go here in the first or first period here. Devils have the shot advantage, but now it's tied in shots right here. Shots are tied. Oh, nope. The Devils have more shots. And it's no score after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 9-7 to seven for the Devils, but no score to be had here in Game 2 after 1. Second period, power play for the Leafs right here. And nothing to show for on that one. Power play for the Devils right here. Nothing to show for it on that one. 12 minutes left to go. And Mercer scores, making it one nothing for the Devils right there. 10 minutes left to go here in the second period right here. Devils find the ball. Oh, and Holtz will score, making it 2 0 here. Very nice. This has been a good second period for the Devils right here. So it's 2 0 Devils after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 21 to 19 for the Leafs, but the Devils convert on two of them from Mercer and Holtz. Third period. 
here in game two. Power play for the Leafs, and Austin Matthews will convert on the power play. Cutting the lead to one there. Power play again for the Leafs. And Morgan Riley on another power play goal gives them the lead. And Wood will score a shorthanded goal. And the Devils have the lead in game two. Three, five minutes left to go in this one here in game two in the third period. And it is going to be tied. All right. So the Devils have tied the series heading back to back home for game three as they lead win three to two in game two. Very nice. So three stars of the game. Jack Campbell was the first star. Morgan Riley was the second star. And Mercer was the third star in this one. So all right. So here's the points wise. Mercer with two points. Holtz, Brat, Wah, Gardner, Wood, Frost, and Toffoli all with a point in this one here. So there we go. Very nice. Very nice. So let's move on to game number three in New Jersey. So here we go. Uh, we just tied the series here, heading back home. Let's see how game number three is going to go here. First period on home ice, and the uh, Jesus, the Toronto Maple Leafs coming out with a lot of shots to start off on this one. And Austin Matthews has found a goal in every game in this series. Makes it one nothing for the freaking Toronto Maple Leafs, and he's got another one. So it's two nothing for the Maple Leafs here. Oof, the Maple Leafs came flying here in the start of this one. Gotten 13 shots, but Brat will score in the power play to cut the lead to one here. That's good. And uh, uh, TJ Brody, the former Flame, makes it 3-1 to one for the Leafs. So it's 3-1 Leafs after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 15-6 to six for the Leafs. Uh, goals from Two goals from Matthews and one from Brody for the, the Leafs. Three goals, and then Brat was the only goal for the Devils in the first period here. So second period here. Can the Devils fight back here to tie here? And they got a power play. They don't score, <clears throat> unfortunately. As we got 13 minutes left to go here. 10 minutes left to go here in the second period. Devils can't seem to get any shots on net here. Can't seem to find one back uh, past Mrazic here, unfortunately. And M Alexander Nylander makes it 4-1 for the Leafs, unfortunately. So it's 4-1 Toronto after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 25-17 to for the Leafs. And uh, the only goal from this period was from Nylander for the Leafs. Uh, third period. We're down by three. Can they come back and tie this one? I don't think so. Power play for the Leafs here. And uh, 10, 12 minutes left. Power play for the Leafs again here. And they don't convert. But I think this one's going to be it for this one. We cannot seem to get one by... Oh, there's Wah. There's one by Wah. But I'm not, I'm not seeing a comeback in this one, unfortunately. So the Leafs will take the series lead 2-1. to one here as they win in game three three stars of the game austin matthews with the first star tj Brody with the second and mercer with the third star in that one having a good fight in them at least yep true mercer with two points nishkinen brat and wall all with the single points in this one so that was that unfortunately so it is what it is all right so third or no fourth game here in the series. Game 4 in New Jersey. The Devils need to tie the series to force a game, at least a game 6 at least. So they need to tie, they need to win this one here. They don't want to go down 3 games to 1 back to Toronto. That would be a bad thing. So hopefully they can uh, come up flying and tie this series here, hitting back to Toronto here. So first period here. Need a big game on home ice for our fans. And Jack Hughes will score the first one here. And the power play for the Devils right here. And Merkley scores a power play goal, making it 2-0 for the Devils right here. Ten minutes left to go here in the uh, first period of game number four here. A big first period here by the Devils here. All right, so it's 3-2 uh, to two Devils after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 16-9 to nine for the Devils as they got goals from Jack Hughes and Merkley. All right, second period here in this one here. Uh, power play for the Leafs right there. They don't convert on that. And uh, another one for the Leafs here. They don't convert. Ten minute, about 10 minutes left to go here in the second period. And Justin Hall will score, making it, cutting the lead to one here in the second period. Ooh, not a good one to let in here. Five minutes left to go here in the second period. And power play for the Devils right here. They don't convert on it, unfortunately. So it's 2-1 to one after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 23-21 to 21 for the New Jersey Devils. They lead by one, but Hall... Or they had the lead by two, but Hall cut the lead by one with 10-59 and 10 59 into the second period. So we have a one-goal game heading into the third period. So third period here in game number four. Devils getting some shots on here. And they need some, I think they need another one for sure. The Devils do, that is. Ten minutes left to go in this one. Five minutes left to go in this one. And Holtz will score. There it is. 
Holtz comes up big in this one. And the New Jersey Devils are going to tie the series heading back to Toronto. This is what they needed. They didn't want to go down three games to one heading into Toronto. That was not what they needed. So good thing they came out to play in this one and got the win. Three stars of the game. Jack Campbell with the first star. Sketchy with the second star. And Merkley with the third star of this one. So there it is. Um, yeah, so Sketchy with two points. Holtz, Mercer, Nushkinen, Merkley, Hughes all with a single point in that one. So now we head to game freaking five back to back in Toronto. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, did our, H our AHL team made the, the Calder Cup? Crazy, crazy. Damn, it's late, boy. I know. I'm, I'm ending after this is done anyway. So <laughs> don't worry. How are you doing, Cold Sex, by the way? Anyway, game five here in Toronto. It's a brand new series. Again, game five is the game that determines the series for sure. So we'll see how this one will go. This is a huge game here in this series. So here we go. Game five in Toronto. So here we go. First period. And Joseph will score early for the Leafs right there. Oof, that's unfortunate. You hate to see that right there. And then Austin Matthews has just been everywhere in this series. <laughs> Makes it 2 nothing for the Leafs right there. And then Nushkin in. Uh, cuts the lead to one right here. All right, and then ah uh, McEwen makes it three to one, and then Jack Hughes makes it three to two. All right, defense is not a thing in this game it seems, as of right now. I <laughs> uh, gotcha. Feeling pretty tired slash burnt and a bit hungry. How about yourself? Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> All right, so it's three to two after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 11 to 10 for the Leafs. As we have goals from Joseph Matthews and McEwen, and then we got a goal from Nushishkin and Hughes. All right, second period, second period here. Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> hey, I've heard that name a lot, Jack Hughes. Yep, that's him there. Oh, Marner scores, giving the Leafs a two-goal lead. That's not good. We need to get two more here. Come on, somebody step up and tie this game. Damn it, <laughs> give me some goals for us. That's what I like to see. Come on, somebody. We're getting a lot of shots, but we can't beat the goaltender, unfortunately. It's just one of those games. <laughs> so it is a four to two. Um, Leafs after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 21 to 19 for the Devils, but the Leafs have the lead here. Mitch Marner has the goal to give them the two goal lead. So third period, is there a comeback here? Come on, we just need two more goals. Come on, come on. We don't want to go down guy one in the series, heading back home. And Tyler to Foley cuts the lead to one. Is there a come on? Somebody tie it. Come on, come on. We got one. Come on, get another one, please. Somebody be a hero. Tie the game. Yo, oh my goodness me. It's sketchy. And we're heading to overtime. Holy shit, dude. That is absolutely incredible right there. Unbelievable. We are heading to overtime here in game five. Unbelievable. That is crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Though I did get something pretty exciting in the mail today. Oh yeah. What'd you get? What'd you get if I don't mind asking you? <sighs> All right, game five in OT. Here we go. Let's take a look what this is here. Ooh, that's awesome. You know, Blake Chronicles X. Nice, nice. That's awesome. Hope you enjoy that. Hope you enjoy that. <laughs> All right, so the Devils have the puck here. They play to fully. Plays it to Merkley. He goes for a dangle, but not a really good dangle. Right there, as it turns it right back over. Here comes Nylander, William Nylander, playing it. And oh my god, Toffoli almost put it in his own net. Jesus. <laughs> that was scary. Smith to Toffoli. Toffoli bringing it up ice. Toffoli to Brett. He's denied by Marazic right there. What a stop. <laughs> Sandine has the puck here. He's going to bring it up here. Here comes Austin Matthews. Shoots. Oh, and it's all. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Damn it, man. The fucking physics in EA games, dude. Are you kidding me with that? That is so unfortunate. Holy shit, dude. As Ty Smith puts it in his own net, and the Leafs are one game away from advancing to the Stanley Cup final because of a fluky physic. That is so unfortunate. Oh man, that is so unfortunate right there. <laughs> you know, there was a time it oh, seemed like it was it's like the cool game wants the Leafs to win because, you know, man, Austin Matthews is the cover athlete. <laughs> so, probably won't get to play until summer, but I'm happy to have it in my collection. That's awesome, yeah. I probably might have to get it digitally at some point if they ever, if they don't ever put it on the Switch, which I don't think will probably ever happen. But yeah, damn, that's so unfortunate that that happened. That's how you end that game. That's so unfortunate. The Devils come back to tie it, and that's how they lose. That's unfortunate. Three stars of the game, Tyler Toffoli. For the Devils, Mitch Marner was the second star for the Leafs. 
And the first star of the game is probably Austin Matthews. Yep, of course, Austin Matthews is all over this series right now. Uh, Tyler DeFoy with three points, Hughes with two points, Holtz, Mercer, Nushkinen, Brat, and Sketchy all with a single point. And now the Devils are on the verge of elimination once again in these playoffs. <laughs> We've seen this story in the past twice already. Can they fight off elimination for a third time in these playoffs is the question. We'll find out here. So game six in New Jersey. Biggest game of the season right here. Until they make it to game seven, they do. But this is a big game. If they win, they, they, they force a seventh game. If they lose, they are eliminated from the playoffs. Can they do it? Let's find out here. Come on, Devils. Do it. Do it. Make Canada pissy. That's all I ask out of you. Come on, Devils. Let's go. First period power play for the Devils right here. Can they convert on it? They do not, unfortunately. Ten minutes left to go here in the first period. Come on. <laughs> get a, get one there. And Holtz will score from a very... Oh, wow, that's really far out. That's crazy. <laughs> and Holtz will score, giving it one nothing for the Devils here. So it's one nothing New Jersey after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 14-10 to 10 for the Devils, as Holtz is the, has the lone goal in this one so far. My goodness. Second period as we continue on here. 15 minutes left to go in this one. In the second period, I should say. Power play for the Leafs right there. It's killed off right there. 10 minutes left to go here in the second period. The Devils getting some more shots. The Leafs are also getting more shots here. Five minutes left to go here in the second period. My goodness. All right, so it's one nothing after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 25-20 to 20 for the Leafs as the Devils have the lone goal that was back in the first period. Oh, boy. Second period. Or third period, excuse me. Third period of game number six. This is a crucial game in this series. 12 minutes left to go here in the third. Uh, 10 minutes left to go in the third. My goodness. Five minutes left to go. Four minutes. Three. Two. One. Power. Oh, yes. And the Devils. Holy smokes. They have forced a seventh game again in this run. That is absolutely incredible. They win one to nothing against the, the Toronto Maple Leafs on home ice. Absolutely incredible. Three stars of the game. Jack Campbell with the first star. Morazic with the second star. And Holtz with the third star of the game. My god. <laughs> Holtz, Mercer, and Nushishkin with the only points in this one. My god. <laughs> we are going to 7th heaven yet again. Both the East and the West finals are going to the 7th game. So that's crazy. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, so game seven in Toronto. Winner goes to the Stanley Cup final. Who is it going to be? This is going to be crazy. So let's see how this goes. Come on, Devils. Come on, Devils. You guys can do it. Oh, and Anderson scores early in this one for the Leafs. That's such a, not a good one there. But Giordano scores the tie at power play for the Leafs right there. They don't score on that. Okay, 10 minutes left to go here in the first. And Toffoli scores, making it 2-1 to one for the Devils. Ooh, boy. And, uh, oh, Austin Matthews will tie it there with five minutes left in the first. Holy smokes. Devil, uh, the, the Leafs are flying right here. And Pat Jack Hughes makes it 3-2 to two for the Devils. My goodness, what a wild first period. So after one, it is 3-2. to two. Shots are 15-6 to six for the Leafs as we have goals from Jack Hughes, Tyler Toffoli, and Mark Giordano as the Leafs got goals from Austin Matthews and Anderson. I don't remember what his first name is, though. So, yeah. Uh, second period here in Game 7. Oh boy, 15 minutes left to go here in the second period. Devil's getting some shots right here. And the Leafs got a power play right here. They don't convert. 10 minutes left to go in the second. My goodness gracious. <laughs> Four, five minutes left to go. Power play for the Leafs here. And oh, Josh Hosang will score the tie of the game late in the second. Oh man, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> no. Oh man, so it's a 3-3 three to three after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 27 to 14 for the Leafs, and the Leafs were able to convert on a power play to tie of the game heading into the third period. Oh boy, third period. Come on, Devils. You guys can do it. Power play for the Leafs right there. Oh, they kill it off. They'll power play for the Devils here. Oh, they don't convert on that. 10 minutes left to go here in the third. Power play for the Leafs. Oh boy, and it's killed off. Five minutes left to go, and Brad will score! Holy smokes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's a huge goal. And we're gonna intervene here, just to see it. 
just cause. <laughs> Holy crap, this has been a crazy series. This has been a crazy cup run. <laughs> or a playoff run, I will say. Holy smokes. <laughs> As we only have 50-something seconds left to go in here. 53 seconds here in game number seven. The Devils win the faceoff here. 50 seconds left. Jack Hughes brings the puck up the ice. 45 seconds left. Nylander going to play it to TJ Brody. Brody trying to do something here. Stuck in his own end. Matthews playing it to Mitch Marner. Marner. The Leafs have pulled the goaltender. Here comes Marner. Marner behind the net there. He's going to play it to Nylander. Mike William Nylander comes in. Stopped by Jack Campbell. Merkley playing it to Toffoli. Tyler Toffoli coming up ice. Can he do it? Oh, he can't put it in the empty net. 19 seconds left in this one. Here comes Marner to Nylander to Hughes. Toffoli's got it. He's going back the other way. He's going for a second chance, but he can't. Toffoli scores. Empty netter. And the New Jersey Devils are nine seconds away from heading to the Stanley Cup final. Oh my goodness, the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Leafs fans, I can hear it now. <laughs> um, Steve Dangle is having a, a higher, is having a stroke on his podcast or his video. He's, he's, he's getting that cam up right now. He's going to rage at the Leafs on his channel. My goodness. And the New Jersey Devils will get another one. Holtz. Well, put another one in and the New Jersey Devils are going to go to the cup final <laughs> in my third year in doing this already. Right, that is absolutely insane. The New Jersey Devils are going to be the Prince of Wales champions. <laughs> the New Jersey Devils are going to the Stanley Cup final for the first time since 2012. <laughs> 12 years later, they make it back and the Leafs once again do not win a cup. <laughs> My goodness. Unbelievable. This 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 freaking Devils team <laughs> never say die. And look at that Jack Hughes. Not gonna raise that trophy. <laughs> he wants to win it. He wants to win the cup, baby. <laughs> oh boy. What a freaking playoff run this has been. We have one more round to play. And that is the Stanley Cup Final. Who are we playing, though, is the question. That is the real question here. My goodness. Do I like the Italian Mafia? Bury them in the cement. <laughs> Do I like the Italian Mafia? Bury it in the cement? Yeah, it, absolutely. The three stars of the game, Tyler Toffoli was the third star of the game. He had a great game here. Unbelievable. He's, he was our deadline acquisition, and he's kind of paid off, which is great. Uh, Jasper, Jasper Bratt was the second star in this one. And the first star of the game was Jack Hughes on a Game 7, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Hughes was the, was the, was the first star in Game number 7. <laughs> to be fair, this is a typical Leafs collapse. It's true. It actually was, honestly. <laughs> uh, so three stars of the game. Uh, or no, point-wise. Uh, Brad and Hughes with three points. Toffoli with two. Holt, Smith, Murky, Wood, Giordano, and Brown all with a single point in this one. My God. <laughs> what, a, what a playoff run this was. Whether we win the cup or not, it's been a pretty good one, I will say. <laughs> all these young guns are going to get a lot of experience from this from this playoff run. Holy, and we're going to take on the St. Louis Blues in the Stanley Cup final. All right, it's the Blues and the and the Devils. Meanwhile, our Comets are currently leading the series in the in the in the Calder finals right now. So that's currently what it is. Uh, so let's take a look at the rosters for the St. Louis Blues. What are we going up against here in this series? Let's find out here. So we got Brandon Saad, Braden Shen, Paul Bunchvik, I think. Uh, Robert Thomas, Jared McCann, Clem Costin, uh, Matthias Janmark, uh, William Carlson, Sammy Blaise, Blazes, Ryan Dezingle, Logan Brown, and Axel Johansson. That name, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna try to pronounce that. Uh, Tori Krug, uh, Colton Pariaco, Justin Falk, Scott Princhovic, uh, Marcus Niemann, and then uh, Nikita Zaitsev, yeah. That was their defense. And in net, they have uh, Vili Husso and Ostras Sil Silvos, I think. Yeah, I think they say his name. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the scratches here. Jo Jordan Bennington is injured for them currently. All right. So 
They don't have their starter currently, if that is their starter. I have no idea exactly, so yeah. But yeah, but anyways, game one of the Stanley Cup Finals. The New Jersey Devils have made it back to the Cup Final for the first time since 2012. And the St. Louis Blues are back here in the final since 2019 when they last won when they won their first Stanley Cup, looking for their second one in uh in five years basically almost. So yeah. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game one in New Jersey here in this cup final. The Devils have been a pleasant surprise in these playoffs. Let's see if they can continue their this crazy run here in the in the Stanley Cup final. First period. Here in game one, power play from the New Jersey Devils. Nothing there. Ten minutes left to go here in the first. And Brett will score the first goal of the cup finals. And it's one nothing Devils. And then Krug will score to tie the game here in late in the first period. But Devils getting some more shots on net here. But not much there. So it's 1-1 after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 10-9 for the New Jersey Devils. Brett with the goal and Krug with the goal for the, De for the Blues. Second period here. Here in this one, Jack Hughes will score, making it 2-1 for the New Jersey Devils. Then it's Jack Hughes again, making it 3-1. And then it's Holtz, making it 4-1. The Young Guns are making noise here. It's 4-1 for the New Jersey Devils. And then Jack Hughes with a hat trick here in the Cup Finals in Game 1, ladies and gentlemen. And then Robert Thomas will make it a 5-2 game right here. My goodness, Jack Hughes, the captain, has come to play. So it's 5 to 2 Devils after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 26 to 18 for the Devils. Devils got three goals from Hughes in this period, along with Holt and then Thomas with the only goal for the Devils here, or for the Blues here, making it a, giving them their second goal of the game. So third period here in game one. Uh, the Blues getting the power play here. A long one. And Brendan Saad will score, cutting the lead to two. That's a pretty early goal right there. In this one, 10 minutes left to go here in game number one. And five minutes remaining. And Manjapane scores, making it three, six to three. And the New Jersey Devils are taking the first game of the Stanley Cup final. Very nice right there. Three stars of the game. Jack Hughes, uh, Jesper Bratt, and then Holtz with a with all three stars in this one here. Point-wise here. Uh, Hughes with four points in this one. Holy smokes. Brat with three. Toffoli with two. Holt, Smith, Merkley, Marchment, Manjapane, Sketchy, and uh, Sarogovic uh, with a single point in this one. So there you go. Very nice. A good start to this one. That's for sure. Game two in New Jersey. The Devils are have won game one here. We'll see how game two goes for them here. As we continue on this series, first period, and it's Mark Giordano, the veteran defenseman, coming up big here, making it 1 nothing, And then Jake Gardner making it 2 nothing. Holy smokes, right here, ladies and gentlemen. 10 minutes left to go here in the first period, and it's 2 nothing for the Devils here in game number two, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, power play for the Blues right there. Uh, nothing to show for on there. So it's 2 nothing Devils after. 20 minutes of play. Shots are 13 to 7 for the Blues, but the Devils have two goals. One from Giordano and one from Jake Garner. Two defensemen getting two goals for the Devils here in the first period of game two. Second period here. Power play for the Blues. Nothing to show for on that run right there. My good. And then Janmark cuts the lead to one pretty early here in the second period right here. With 12 minutes left to go here. The Blues are getting a lot of shots. 10 minutes left to go here in the second power play for the Devils right here. They don't convert on that, unfortunately. Five minutes left to go here in the second period right here. All right. <clears throat> and it's a one-goal game after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 27 to 14 for the St. Louis Blues. The only goal came for the Blues in this period from John Mark to cut the lead to one, hitting into the third period. Third period goes right here. Power play for the Devils. Five on three, five on four for the Devils. Nothing on that, unfortunately. They can't convert on that which is unfortunate. 10 minutes left to go here in the third period in game two here. Shots are climbing for both teams here. Five minutes left to go here in game two. And it's a win. The, the New Jersey Devils are up two games to nothing in the Stanley Cup Finals. They won two huge games in front of their home fans. Absolutely wonderful. Jack Campbell with the first star of the game, J Jake Gardner with the second star, and Huso with the third star of the game. 
Very nice. The point wise here. Brat with the with a point. Gardner with a point. Manjapani with a point. Giordano with a point. Tafoli with a point. And Saravikovic with a point here for the New Jersey Devils. My goodness gracious, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, so now we head to the Enterprise Center in St. Louis for Game 3. The Devils are up 2-0 in this series. This has been a good start for the series, but they can't keep their can't keep their foot off the gas. They got to keep pushing hard in this series. They got to take advantage in this series right now because you never know if they'll their goalie will come back soon or not. So we'll see. So first period in Game 3 here in St. Louis. Here we go. So first period. Shots are currently in the Blues advantage. They got a power play here. Ooh, boy, and then we kill it off, thankfully. My goodness, they had a long power play on that one. All right, and another power play for the Blues right there. They can't convert, thankfully. All right, so it's no score after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 16-7 to 7 for the Blues as no score to be had here after one. Second period in game two. More shots for the Blues right here. Shots for the oh, power play for the Devils right here. They don't convert on that. And Mark Giordano with a huge goal right there. It gives the Devils a lead right here with 10 minutes left to go in the second period here. My goodness, that's a big goal right there. My goodness gracious. <laughs> All right. And it's going to be 2 one nothing after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 26-19 to 19 for the St. Louis Blues. As the only goal comes from Mark Giordano on the on the point for, um, for the New Jersey Devils. All right, third period here in game three. My goodness here. 15 minutes left to go. Power play for the St. Louis Blues right here. It's killed off right there. Very nice. 10 minutes left to go here in the third period in game three. Oh my goodness. And Manja Pane scores. It's 2 nothing for the Devils. And they are one game away from winning the Stanley Cup. We are one game away from winning the Stanley Cup in our third year already, which is which would be a brand new record, ladies and gentlemen. So three stars of the game, Jack Campbell and Husso, and then Mark Giordano. There it is right there. So let's take a look at the point-wise here. Wood, Frost, Marchment, Mangiapane, and Giordano all with points right there. From the lottery to the cup, what a story. I know, and our number one pick it wasn't even in this run. Just just think of that for a moment. <laughs> the guy we drafted wasn't even part of this playoff run either, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, so game four of the Stanley Cup Final. The Devils are one game away from winning the cup here in year number three of this file. My goodness, but will the Blues try to say otherwise will they try to spoil the story here let's find out what happens here in game four of this series game first period and Costin scores the first goal early on here which is not great not a good start right there in this one power play for the devils and mercer scores on the power play right there another power play for the devils right there they don't convert on it power play again for the devils right there they don't convert on that one unfortunately and a brat will score making it two to one for the new jersey devils here my goodness gracious right here <laughs> these young guns i'm telling you this might be this might be an interesting team we have here so it's two to one devils after 20 minutes of play shots are 13 to 6 for the new jersey devils as they have goals from brat and mercer and the blues have one from costin so there you go second period here in games four power play for the devils right here Ooh, a lot of power plays here they can they convert on it they have a long one they don't unfortunately another one for the devils right here they don't convert on that unfortunately which could be a difference maker if they can't get another one oh boy nothing going on here and holtz will score making it three to one there's a big one right there so it's three to one devils after 40 minutes of play shots are 26 to 11 for the new joyousy devils as holtz will get give the devils a two goal lead heading into the third period can they do it third period here we go in the third period this is a crucial period here we'll see how this one goes right here and mercer will score giving them the three goal advantage here oh baby this might be it ladies and gentlemen this might be it this might be it ladies and gentlemen five on three for the there and all right i'm coming in right here all right CPU, CPU, all right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Devils are only seconds away from winning the Stanley Cup. Jack Hughes is going to hold, hoist the cup right here. Face off in the, in the Devils end right here with 43 seconds left. 
as the Devils will win the face of Holtz, playing it to Nushkinen. 39 seconds left to go, and he's hit off the boards right there. And McCann playing it to Zaitsev as he brings the puck up. 30 seconds left as the Devils, uh, I believe, are on the power play. Looks like, yeah, they, they are. So they can just uh, waste time here. They basically have this one. Manjapane can't shoot the puck right there. That's okay. 18 seconds left. And oh, here's Nushkin in playing it to Manjapane or whoever that was. And it's stopped by Huso with 12 seconds left right here. The Devils are going to win the Stanley Cup, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. The cup is in the building. It's getting set up to be sh to be hoisted by the New Jersey Devils. They're about to win, I think, what is this? Their third cup, I think? In franchise history or something? I can't remember how many cups they've won. I'm going to look that up real quickly here. Um, they have won. Let's see. I think this is their third. Right. No, this will be their fourth. Sorry. No, this will be their fourth cup. This will be their fourth cup in franchise history. It's been a dark couple of decades in the in New Jersey. Oh, what a hit right there. <laughs> and there's a penalty. Five on three. A dirty penalty. Wow. Justin Falk <laughs> with a dirty play <laughs> to end the game right there. Trying to injure somebody so he can't hoist the cup. That's a sore loser right there. As he's going to sit in the blocks to watch the cup celebration in there. <laughs> My goodness. And ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 Stanley Cup champions are the New Jersey Devils. Grats, any thank you. <laughs> they did it. The New Jersey Devils have won the Stanley Cup. Billy is 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 on the street yelling <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> I don't know where he went to, but I won a cup with his team. He kind of disappeared. <laughs> but what a team. This is this was like crazy run to the cup, I will say. What a team this was. It seemed like when everything when the team was gonna get eliminated, they fought back and came back every single time in these playoffs. And they won. They beat some pretty tough teams on the way there too. And now the New Jersey Devils are the league champions, ladies and gentlemen, in year number three of this final. What a run. Quickest rebuild ever, yep. We almost made the playoffs in year one, then we had a shitty whatever year, second round, or second year. We won the, well, we didn't win the draft, we traded for the number one pick, drafted a, a future center in for us who wasn't even in this run. And we basically rebuilt the team through free agency and trading. So basically we didn't have a first round pick. And Jesper Bratt is the Conn Smythe winner, ladies and gentlemen. I agree. Jesper Bratt was absolutely incredible in these playoffs. I agree. He deserves the, the Conn Smythe in this one. He he was a big reason for this. I mean Jack Hughes also was too, but Bratt was just he was pretty pretty good. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Hughes is gonna go and hoist the Stanley Cup for the New Jersey Devils. His name will be on there. And here he comes, the there he is. The the Jack Hughes, ladies and gentlemen, at least in this right this this file, is a Stanley is Cup champion. The Stanley Cup over your head. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And it took three years in this file to win the Cups. So this is a brand new record, basically. <laughs> and we still have plenty of years to go, so we can see how many more Cups we can win with this with this group. Mercer there, and then who's this guy right here? Can't see who that was. Um, oh, it's Holtz. Oh, yeah, Holtz, yeah. A rookie, a well, young gun for us. Right there. He's still gotten plenty of years to play in this league. <laughs> and he wins the cup in his second year in the NHL. Pretty crazy. And there's Jack Campbell. He beat his former team to win the to get to the cup final. And now he's a cup champion. Jack Campbell. He beat his for just keep in mind that the Leafs fans will never let this down. He beat his former team 
in the East Final to, to, get, to get to the Stanley Cup Final and to win the Cup. <laughs> Pretty crazy story. Toronto will never let that one down, that's for sure. <laughs> Three stars of the game. Valerie Nushkinen was the third star of this, this game. Uh, Alexander Holtz was the second star. And the first star of the game was Dawson Mercer. He was another one I could have said could have been there. Wow, what a dominating game. Look at that. 41 to 19 with the shots for the Devils. I just want to go and say <laughs> this was a pure dominating game. Uh, Mercer with three points. Holtz, Nushkinen, Merkley with two points. And then Brett and Toffoli all with single points uh, in this one here. So there we go. From seven, get, from seven, game sevens to a sweep. Yep. All three, like, yeah, all three series in the East were, were, um, were, uh, were game sevens. This one was, was a sweep. That's crazy. <laughs> All right. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We won the Calder Cup as well, ladies and gentlemen. We won the Calder Cup. <laughs> we are not only the Stanley Cup champions, but we also won the Calder Cup as well. My God, ladies and gentlemen. We won it all this season. We we, we not only won the Cup in the, in, in the main league, but we also won the Calder Cup as well. What a year. Absolutely. What a freaking year. That's crazy. <laughs> Let's take a look at the the awards here real quickly here. And that's the end of the year. So the New Jersey Devils, ladies and gentlemen, have won the 2023-2024 Stanley Cup. Uh, the President's Trophy winners were once again the Colorado Avalanche. The Blues were the Clarence Campbell Trophy winners, and we were the Prince of Wales Trophy winners right there. Individual awards, Kucherov was the Art Ross Trophy winner. He was also the Hart Memorial Trophy winner. Kale McCarr was uh, the James Norris Trophy winner. The Lady Bing was Kucherov. Ganey was the Calder Memorial Trophy winner. Brat was the Conn Smythe. Uh, Carter Hart was the Vesna Trophy winner. The William M. Jennings was Carter Hart. Cog Coglin was the Bill Masterson Trophy winner. Shea was the Jack Adams winner. Uh, Frank J. Selke Trophy was Kopitar. Uh, the Ted Lindsay was Kucherov. And Austin Matthews was the Maurice Rocket Richard. There you go. In the AHL, it was this guy won that, 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 and this guy won that. And also in the team awards, we won the Calder Cup. The Silver Knights won that. The we all the Comets won that. The Silver Knights won that. The Manitoba Moose won that. The Silver Knights won that. The Springfield Thunderbirds won that. We also won that. We also won that, and the, the Wild won that. So there you go. Oh, one of my guys won the HL award. Oh, which one? Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, it was it was it was Barra. Okay. Um. Oh, because he was the most valuable player in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Third year, and we won the cup, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that freaking wild? Absolutely freaking wild. And Billy disappeared, and he didn't see it happen. <laughs> well is what it is unfortunately but he can watch it in a uh he could he can watch it in the archive i guess uh over at current file all right game save now i'll save it one more time here just to make sure right here holy smokes so yeah we went a little bit longer tonight but hey it was worth it we did three seasons in our first night of this because it goes pretty fast honestly so yeah so it, it, it we kind of just got to keep doing it every keep going as long as we can if it takes really quickly because those first two years were pretty were pretty um pretty short so yeah <laughs> so yeah, it's not surprising and yeah um we still we have 11 million in cap space and we won the cup by the way i just want to mention that real quickly um we have a few players that are going to be um asking for pay raises i think let's see who we got real quickly here i think jack campbell is one of them who's our goalie we got Tafoli, mercer mcleod sketchy marchman uh, Blazers, Dustin Brown, unless he retires, foot, Jeer Down, unless he retires. Jeer Down is a cup champion at age 40. That's a way to go out, in my opinion. <laughs> That's a way to go out, I would say. So, yeah. Um, yeah, very cool. And then we also, don't, 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 don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we also have Connor Bedard on this team, and he hasn't even started yet. <laughs> so... This this team's gonna be interesting in the next few number of years. We didn't help we don't have a first round draft pick for this season, but you know what? It didn't matter because we won the cup. We won the cup, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what matters at the end of the day. <laughs> Gio will never retire? No, he'll win he never will. And if he does, if he doesn't, hey, you know what? I'll I'll I'll, I'll bring him back for another year. Because he's he was very good in this cup run. Let me tell you. He was very, very, very good in this cup run. He played like the Norris tr trophy winner like he was. <laughs> 
in this playoff run. So yeah. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, that was crazy. But yeah, guys, with that, that will be it for tonight's stream. So thank you, everyone, for coming by for the first night of TGB Sports uh, for NHL 2022. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we won't be doing this next week. It'll be the week after we'll be back to this. So we get to see if we can win another cup here in our fourth year. So we'll see what happens. It was a lot of fun. Grats again. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Yeah, that was really fun. It's a new record, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, next stream for me, I forgot to update this. Give me a second here. Let me fix that. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right, there we go. So now we're up to date. So yeah, so yeah, next stream for me, ladies and gentlemen, I will be back here on Thursday, March 10th, with a late night beatdown with Apex Legends and a viewer's choice game. That's right, and you guys get to vote for what we play for the viewer's choice portion when the website updates during the week, so look forward to that. Let's Play Nights on Friday, March 11th. We'll be here with Day 5 of God of War 2018, and we're probably going to be finishing the game on that stream, so look forward to the finale night of God of War on Friday. Saturday, March 12th, we'll be starting up game 220, and that is The Legend of Heroes. Tri Trails of Cold Steel. Yes, yeah, so we'll be starting that up on Saturday. So look forward to the start of Trails of Cold Steel Saturday here on the stream. Then Sunday, March 13th, we'll be here with week 209 of Market Deluxe, the final week before the DLC comes out. So if you want to play Market Deluxe, we need to warm up for the DLC on next on 210. Come on by on Saturday or Sunday. We'll be playing Market Deluxe with you, the viewers like you. And then next Monday here, we'll have Leftover Nights, continuing more of the Legend Zelda. Breath of the Wild DLC for Leftover Night. So, yeah, we'll continue right where we left off on that. We'll try to beat the uh, the last trial, and then we'll start up the actual story stuff for it. So that's what we'll be doing for that. So, yeah. And that's what's coming up next week in the channel, all starting at this schedule. Start times it here on the screen, so to see then for that. If anything does change, let me know my social media and Discord, and check my full schedule here on Twitch. Uh, you can check that out over at thegamingbeatdown.weebly.com slash schedule. So yeah, and if you're really enjoyed today, guys, make sure to follow the channel. Click on the follow button found up above, down below, uh, wherever it is for you. And uh, if you'd like to make my life here on Twitch, you can follow me on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Steam, Discord, or my website over at thegamingbeatdown.weebly.com. And if it's a past broadcast, I have a secondary YouTube channel over at youtube.com slash tgbdarchives. This is where I upload my passions in their full glory. So if you miss a stream or to catch up past broadcast your own time, that's best you can check out over at youtube.com slash tgbdarchives. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed uh, the first part of our NHL 22 franchise mode with the New Jersey Devils. Also, make sure to subscribe to my past broadcasts and playthroughs. And also, follow the Twitch channel in the description right down below. So watch live streams live before they get uploaded to YouTube. And last but not least, um, if you like support my channel, the donations do as you can. First, you through my PayPal donation box. This gorgeous stuff for the channels with games, catch races, consoles, equipment, and other good stuff. Uh, another way to be designed by a human store, we can purchase yourself a freaking amazing uh, gaming beatdown t-shirt and ITGB swag or designbyhumans.com slash shop slash the gaming beatdown. And also, if I don't physically or digitally, I love an Amazon and Steam wish list, which find links to provide down below. But uh, if you also like to support, my, support my channel by being a subscriber, it's 100% optional to be a sub on my channel. And by being a sub, you get benefits such as emotes of my channel. These are around on Twitch. You can also sub badge by name, and the more you resub, the better badge by name becomes. You do get benefits in my Discord server. Shout out once a month at the end of the month of my channel, and much, much more. You can use your $4.99, $9.99, $24.99, or even Twitch Prime. But as I've said in the past, subbing is optional to do, so if you wish to sub to me, feel free to, but you never have to. Uh, you just being in the channel, keeping the chat active helps the most out of anything. And if you like to see me bits and shares, you can find more information in the description right down below, along with the sub button box. Links to the PayPal edition box, is on my humans or the Amazon, and Steam wish list. So if you're feeling generous, those are the ways you can contribute to the channel and make it even more freaking amazing. Yes, sir. So before I end things, guys, going to find someone to raid. And I guess we got someone. Grady's still going right now. He's doing a Super Mario 64 ROM hack at the moment over his channel. So if you guys can come on by for a raid, that'd be awesome if you can. Just got to copy the raid message that you see here in the channel. If you are a subscriber, copy the sub message. If you're not, copy the non-sub message and just paste it in his channel. And just let him send you guys over to his stream. And that'd be very much appreciated if you guys can hear from me before you head out for today. But uh, yeah, um, with that, though, that will be it for me, guys. So thank you, everybody, for coming by um for the first night of this so yeah we'll continue more of it in two weeks which will be on the uh what day would that be that's the 21st of march so we'll pick up right where we left off here so look forward to uh the continuation of jack hughes and the new jersey devils dynasty continue so we'll see what if we can do it again in few seasons or so so we'll see but we'll see but yeah but i'll be back here on thursday night guys for a late night beatdowns with uh, apex and the game that you guys vote for so look forward to that and make sure to vote for the poll that goes up later in the week so yeah and i hope to see you all then for that should be fun so yeah uh, but with that being said, that'll be it. So thank you, everybody, for coming by. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the follows, raids, hosts, bits, cheers, subs, resubs, donations. 
I appreciate that. But most importantly, thanks for being here because that's what matters to me the most. So until next time, guys, uh, this has been Annie from The Game Be Done Sing Along, and have yourselves a great night, guys. Bye-bye.